got you feeling too much It's feeling too much for you Then all my love is gonna dance with someone Someone that shows love not to If all my love has got you feeling too much It's feeling too much for you
Good evening, chat. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you all here for a lovely, relaxing eco stream as usual. And uh, for a bit of farming, surprisingly. I tried out farming this time, and by God, I will not quit my day job for this. Okay, this is a lot of, a lot of work. Um, but the roots, pr fruits, um, seeds of my labor. I have like 20,000 flax seeds, so... I mean, we're playing on a new server, and the kitty cat has immediately realized we started streaming. How did you tell? Oh, yeah, I, I know. How, how could you figure this out? You must be psychic. Mm-hmm. There you are, chat. <laughs> Good to see you. Welcome, Abby. Good to see you. No, 30 seconds. Hey, it's only 30 seconds. Okay, could it be the worst? It probably is the worst. But good to see you, Dennis Digren, Sing, Kaisner, and Budgie. Yo, yo, indeed. Yeah, no, farming farming has its benefits, but boy, oh boy, does it take a lot of effort. Um, it's, you'd think it'd be more passive, but it's a little tricky. Beard out of control. Also, I'm graying. I am graying. Look how cute. Look at this. My beard is just, oh my god, blowing in the wind and everything. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, it's not that cold tonight. Okay, okay, you can have some cuddles. Here you go. Here you go. There you go. Yeah, you're allowed to sit there and make make biscuits. Yeah, you want to make some bread? Yes, you do. Okay, okay, you can cuddle up. There we go. See, now she's happy. She's very happy. My beard is very happy. Oh, Kaiser, thank you, thank you. Yes, she I definitely wants pets. Warmest person ever. Oh, look I at see that. cats. I ask I've been for pets. And you ask for the comb. the drill's tongue. I know, I know the drill, and it's also to get out the comb. Thank you, Kaiser, for 200 bits, man. Oh, you're happy with the comb, aren't you today? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. See, you, you, you kitty cats, as much as much as they get all fluffy when it comes to uh, winter, uh, they also, like, compete over who gets the fluffy pats. It's crazy. Uh, Kill his waifu one. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Welcome, welcome. Glad you're enjoying. Yes, no, no. As much as you guys get super cuddly, they get super cuddly and possessive. So, like, it's really funny. You saw it last stream as well, I think it was, where they just fight over who gets to sit on the human. It's like, Mom, my, Mom it's my turn on the human. <laughs> oh, they're adorable. Mal will make me poor. Yes, she'll make you poor and happy and very warm and cuddly. Yeah, you know, it'll keep you warm during the winter. It's like an extra blanket when you go to bed. It's an extra blanket. They're just sitting on top, smothering you, and you're going to enjoy it. Anyways, um, welcome to the server. Welcome to the stream. Snow's Sandy Farms look great. Yeah. I uh, guess I love your Battle Brothers videos. First time catching a stream. Hey, glad to hear it. Glad you're enjoying. This has got nothing to do with Battle Brothers, so I apologize. But we are having a relaxing eco stream at the moment. Um, <laughs> Battle Brothers was earlier this morning, and we got on the Battle Brothers stream on Saturday. So schedules like underneath the stream right now in the about section or on Discord if you want to catch up with things. But glad you're enjoying the videos, man. Still have to finish that newer one. Ugh. It's busy, busy, busy stuff. But I'll try and get some more of that done next week. And maybe if I can get some time this weekend. We'll see. We'll see what I can get up to. Um, but as you can see, my inventory is way too full at the moment. So modded servers be a little strong. Uh, there's a little interesting things to it. It's, I wouldn't say it's like super overpowered, but uh, the easy mining and easy farming thing is pretty interesting to watch. Do I need my mining pickaxe to show off the mining? Yes, I do. Let me go grab it. My house is looking pretty fancy at the moment, but it's actually just stuffed. It's everything stuffed together. It's nothing fancy at all. It just looks fancy. Extra blankets for you guys to do blanket hairs behind. Hey, 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 hey. If your blanket can make more blankets, I don't see any other blankets that can do that, Tigrin. It's blanket multiplication, and I don't even have to pay for it. Actually, I kind of still have to feed it and keep it happy. I have to pay very minimal for it. <laughs> oh, you can also see my greenhouse. I haven't used this thing yet because it needs compost. And we're going to try and make a compost farm today. Not really a compost farm. Well... It's convoluted, but I'll try and do what I can. Um, but show off the easy mining. I just... 
Whack the wall, and it picks it all up in my inventory. You know, normally when you whack something with a pickaxe, it turns into like the little pieces, and you gotta grab them all. But I can just whack, whack, smack that wall, and it gives me all the stone. So that's, that's really, really easy to mine out large amounts of things. And inventory size is upgraded on this server as well, so we can hold up to 200. Everything's like times 10 in terms of size. Uh, not in resource yield though, so it's not like the game has been easified for like certain servers of Minecraft or whatever you've ever seen. Where it's like, oh we're playing on a, no like Ark Survival, that's the way to make explanations. Or Ark Survival, like everything's at 2 times taming, 10 times resource, 15 times weight. Well, there's only a few adjustments, yeah. That's a mod too far. I mean, this mod makes it super easy. You'd never be able to do this normally. Look at that, look at that! I'm holding almost 200 in my inventory. Just a little bit more, and as you can see, I've mined all of this out just for its sandstone. Which is, which is a lot. And I've used most of that either for mortared stone or to repair my equipment. And then it breaks into that when your inventory is full. Um, but yeah, compared to normal gameplay, it's, it's a bit strong. Um, it allows you to catch resources very quickly. Collect resources really quickly. So it doesn't make the resource yield better. It just makes it easier to get them. Yeah. It's annoying as mining took me ages. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I agree, Digrin. I 100% agree. Mining under your house is a great idea to stay in shape and to keep your house uh, added basement for more storage. Just everything. Uh, I'm a farmer, so I didn't do that. <laughs> I turned it into farmland. So I went, ah, screw it. I'll just go and steal from someone else's area and mine out their spot. Though I don't think anyone owns that at the moment, so whenever they start owning it, they'll be very surprised why there's a hole under their place. Just got two blocks above the farm. I don't know how soil works, but you probably could be right about that. I probably could do it. Then I could have a snazzy basement. Okay, so when it comes to trees, I instantly gather all the branches. I instantly gather the trunk, uh, the, the stump, and then I right click, I don't right click, I pick up the tree trunk and it turns it all to logs. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I can proudly say that I built mm, 50 plus percent of my house with my own hands in terms of collecting resources because it's just that easy. So this server feels so different to official servers and vanilla servers. Look at that, that's just 60 logs. Not that logs are like super hard to get in vanilla, but yeah, it's as easy as I'll never get you again. Exactly, exactly. I'm babysitting myself way too early, Digrin, and that's a problem. So as we explore the server, I, I might have babysit myself way too much. But at least we're learning. That's the thing. We're doing a lot of learning at the moment and experiencing. So the previous server was official. It was also a dead official server, so we had to leave it, sadly. Um, and this server is a non-official, unofficial server as they call it. And they've got a bunch of mods on here. Some of the mods are pretty good and some of the setups are pretty good. So we'll have to start taking what we like and maybe avoiding what we don't like about things. Jumping from server to server to just see how it feels. But for the moment, some of the stuff I'm not hating. I, I The only thing I am finding rough to a slight degree. I mean, the server's really populated. If you want to have a look, there's there's a lot of people. There's a big town here, big town here. There's a few people fringe. There's a bunch of fringe people in the swamp. There's a town-ish here. That's the major hub. Like, that's where the start of the server was. They made a big town over here. And then there's some fringe people on the side. There's a town in the snowy areas. And there's a town over here. So that's pretty much it. And it's pretty big. There's a lot of active people online. It seems like it's a very popular server. Those two are kind of competing with their territory, which is kind of funny. 
Uh, there's no, no actual cities down here. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's quite a popular server. So, jumping onto a popular server, seeing what it looks like is pretty good. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to go cut out some jungle. Because my farms over here, which are gigantic, uh, need to be taken care of. And one thing I needed to learn... How's my trash looking? My trash is taking forever. God, trash is slow. Uh, one thing I was going to learn is because we just got a brand new star today. It took us a while, but we were at a pretty good multiplier. We are at like, we were at 90 multiplier earlier, we're at 71 now. Because there's so much good food on the server. Uh, but one thing I learned is in order for us to get into fertilizers, because not many people are doing it, in order to get the best fertilizer in the game, you need compost. And compost is painful. Super painful. You have to leave organic material out outdoors, let it decompose, and it turns into compost. That's it. You just have to leave it outside, and it takes a while, and it just turns into compost. Cooks make a lot of compost. Wait, they do? Oh, someone said it works faster in dumpster. They are incorrect. I have tested that theory. It does not work. And the admin told me that you have to just push it outside. So I've never heard of cooks making compost, though. Smexy, I believe you to a degree. How do cooks make compost? Yeah, I'm clueless in it. Yeah, me too. I didn't realize the dumpsters. I forgot about dumpsters being a thing because it's a mod. Higher text cooks have sinks. <gasps> oh, we haven't unlocked advanced cooking or advanced baking yet. So you're saying sinks are a thing. Cutting edge cooking is one that does weird stuff. That's the one that um, makes ethanol. Yeah, no, that thing's useless. Hmm. Refined towel, seared meat. Fish and chips. I wonder if sinks are a thing. They could be cosmetic. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Oh, here we are. Sink. Somebody's buying a sink. Doesn't seem like it has anything interesting in there. Small sinks people do have. I might have to go buy one to see what it does. How far away is Freak Brick? Oh god, and Pots and Glass. Oh, Pots and Glass! Rai, Ri, Rai, Ri, or whoever it is, is selling it in our town. I have to go buy a sink. The industrial sink, you say? I believe you. Where would an industrial sink be? Probably under mechanics. Because they've got stove. Mechanics is going to be unlocked tomorrow or tonight, depending on whatever time the server's based on. Sink recipe. Here we are. Products. One sink. Hmm. Ty Cooks were feeding me back compost. That's pretty good. Don't believe it was spoiling food because we played that with. Oh, yeah, yeah. Spoiling food's not it. No, no, no. But uh, this is 100% to work. This, I can guarantee, works. Leaving out stuff and letting decompose. The only issue I had with it was because... Um, <laughs> because there's a global presence of the Federation, which is the, the world government, because they have one world government at the moment, uh, to try and make sure, you know, it's, it's a global currency thing, which is really nice, to be honest. Um... You cannot litter within towns where they fine you two bucks a person. Two bucks a piece of litter. And they give you a dollar back for the litter that you take back. So I can't just litter in town. So I have to bring it outside of town to my farms. And I've got a cool idea. i got a cool idea. I figured out that if you stack trash on the floor, the trash stacks. It adds multiple things inside the trash. And then they just stack on top of each other. But, if you leave trash, 
one, two, three, fourth, they can separate. So I'm going to make like a giant trash area for compost, um, which sounds very inefficient compared to when you're explaining to me. Someone left some trash over here. So this guy over here lives here. And with some trash, or I, I might have left it. There's a possibility I left this here, but here's compost. So this is what happens when you leave trash on the ground and for too long, it turns into compost. Now, to be honest, there's a chance that, that might have been my compost that I left behind because I've been in this jungle a couple of times. As a hunter gatherer, no, as a farmer gatherer, I um, collect a lot of these plants very efficiently. So there's a very good chance that was me littering. <laughs> How goes world domination? Well, it's based off of littering at the moment, and I'm trying to do my part. That's all it is. Just make a, a room sans roof as a dedicated composter. Oh, wait, is this another one? Haha! -ha! Two bits of compost. Look at that chat. We are booming. Absolutely booming. <laughs> oh, it's going to take a while, but I really hope there's a better way to do it, like you're saying with the, um, the sinks and stuff. So I might just wait for that to happen, but also I have a lot of stuff to... Um, Harvest at the moment. Let me double check the viability. Yep, my papayas are ready. My pineapples are ready. And my other papayas are ready. And my other pineapples are ready. Sweet. So you can be filled in fresh water and compost. I've heard of that one. I don't know how they're going to do that. I have no idea. Because I think this world has very little pollution. When you log on, it tells you how much pollution's in the world and stuff. It's very little. Uh, not settings, world layers, environmental data, pollution. Uh, but I don't know, ground pollution? It's not air pollution. Yeah, this world is very clean at the moment. I don't think they have very high pollution settings. So that's probably a hard thing to deal with. Looks like a coconut. Oh, we don't have coconuts, but it does look like coconuts. Uh, we have papayas. Uh, there are palm trees. These are palm trees, this one here. You can't see the top of it. Uh, there they are, palm trees. And these things don't have coconuts. It's depressing. Yeah. I had someone making loads from oil pumps or something into a water filter way back. Oh, cool, Budgie. Cool. That's good to hear that they can actually make a bit more sustainable, easily made compost. But yeah, palm trees, papaya trees, random grasses, uh, orchids as flowers. Yeah, the jungle's got some pretty good stuff. It really does. So maybe I shouldn't work on making like a a waste area at the moment. Maybe I should just wait on it. I'll probably just go into hydroponics then. Uh, someone bought all of Budgie's hydroponics, so I might have to get him to make some more for me. <laughs> just coax him into giving me a few more bits from the hydroponics that he's got. Um, but also, we need to do a bit of farming, so... need to collect a bunch of these things so they can just keep growing more. Uh, and to be honest, fertilizers seem to be slightly important, but at the same time, my plants have been doing really well. Let me double check. Yeah, 60% soil moisture, 55 nitrogen, 82 phosphorus. Yeah, I, I don't... I don't see a gigantic need for fertilizers other than the hydroponics and greenhouse stuff. Yeah, eat the orchids. I have not tried orchids, have I? Does my character like orchids? My character likes seeds. Oh, I found more compost. Totally not my fault that I left that there. There's an orchid. Yum! My character likes flowers. Good job, buddy. I'm happy to hear it. <laughs> Just stuff his face full of flowers with zero calories. That's like how you do it in Project Zomboid. Just eat stuff that doesn't get you fat. Perfect. Find someone as nearby has boards blessed. Ooh, nice. Happy to hear it, man. 
They seem this, this world has seems like there's a lot of resources available for most people. There's a lot of trade happening. I have also profited heavily. I may be a little bit rich at the moment. Where's the bananas and banana liquor? Uh, they don't have any bananas. I know, right? To think about it. Like, the most popular plants. You'd think bananas would be up there, right? Not a single bit. Well, to be honest, bananas are genetically modified and they're hard to grow. So maybe that's why they went with the more realism side of it. This game's meant to have some sort of element of realism to it. Based on ecology, so I don't know how they would go with bananas. Oh, my inventory's full. Yeah. Yeah, in the tropics. I mean, it would make sense in the tropics. It would. It would, but... There's a lot of animals, lots of plants. Actually, there's more plants than animals. Uh, in terms of types, but, uh, yeah. They've got even prickly cactuses as, like, fruit. And I grow them under my house. I have so many. So many of them. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I've noticed, and I learned the hard way, that plants can only be grown in certain biomes. I know, I know, I tried to cheese it, it didn't work. The plants misbehaved and died. Because I tried to grow jungle food inside of the desert. Shocker, it didn't work. <laughs> I'm as shocked as you guys are. Also, my 20,000 seeds are causing inventory issues, as you can tell. Slightly. I may have to deal with this. Do I have a garden IRL? How dead is it? I don't handle plants. That's my wife. She likes the plants. I mean, I could have a green thumb if I cared. I don't care. <laughs> I had a, um... I had a cactus once. It survived a handful of years, and then it eventually just died. Yeah. We notice you don't handle plants. This is why I should not be a farmer. Shouldn't be a gardener. Shouldn't be a farmer. Uh, grain silo budgie? Yeah, I might get a grain silo. I could go put it across the river or something. Actually, put it on top of my house. My house isn't super pretty. It's just a flat piece of whatever. I actually put the green silo on top of my crops. That would look pretty cool. As long as I can make it fit. Okay, what else was I doing? Emptying out this inventory. Let's put the seeds away. Because I have way too many. Segura seeds. Pulp. Wood pulp. Nice. Everyone keeps buying that off of me, and I don't have a good way of getting it. So I don't know why they keep buying it off me. <laughs> I sell things at a fairly reasonable price. But it is, um... Funny when people come to me for that. Oh, I also need to collect a lot of, um... I'm holding too much food. Whoops. My weight is already being carried down. What is Orca Griffiths in Antarctica? Hey, 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 hey. You don't know until you try, man. You just don't know. Let's put my veggies and my bacon and eggs away. Steak and eggs. Close enough. There we go. Uh, yes. So the easiest things for me to harvest are the plants that you don't have to remove every single time. So the papayas, you just take them off the tree and it'll regrow papayas. The cactus, you'll take off the fruit and it'll grow it back. So I like those ones under the house. Uh, the pineapples, you'll just take it off and it'll grow back. Surprisingly, though, isn't it in real life pineapples take like two years to grow, which is ridiculous? But in the game, I think the pineapples, if I can double check, they have the same growth rate as, like, almost everything else in the game. Pineapples. Oh, no, 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 it's like 50% slower. Okay, it's 50% slower than everything else. But that 50%, it's not a lot when you think about it. It's really not a lot. There's a few things in the game that are 50% slower than the normal rate. 
and pineapples is just one of them. What else is super slow? Pineapples are slow. Prickly pears are slow. Tomatoes are... Why are tomatoes slow? Aren't they fast in real life? They take 60 to 90 days to fully develop fruit. 90 to 140 days to fully mature. What? Tomatoes are a fruit. Yeah, yeah, they're a fruit. Which is why people like to say they're vegetables, but they're not. Huckleberries, which is blueberries. But blueberries are fast in real life too, aren't they? How fast do blueberries take to grow? Eight to 10 years. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so blueberries are slow. <laughs> Shows how much I know about blueberries. I hate blueberries, so I don't know much about them. And I want to keep it that way. I've learned too much. And then cotton's really slow as well. Plants take, yes, a long time as they mature reasonably fast. Yeah, that's the thing. The bush itself takes a while, but the, the berries on the blueberries don't take usually too long. Cotton plants, how long does it take for cotton? No, 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 just show me the wiki. Don't tell me about Australian cotton. I don't care about Australian cotton. It's probably very similar to most other cottons. Um... History of cotton. No, 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 no. I just want the plant. <laughs> Stop. Wikipedia, just give me what I want. Cotton has been grown as ornamental stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's also very good. 50% per year. Cultivation. Oh my god, Wiki, you're so useless. It's about a year? No. No, that's wrong. I've got a moth in my room. Successful cultivation of cotton requires a long, frost-free period, plenty of sunshine, moderate rainfall. But what's long? What does long mean? You're thinking 160 days for cotton? Really? That's not too bad. That's not bad at all. I mean, it's long compared to things like that take a couple of months. But yeah. It says it requires a lot of water, though. 8,000 to 10,000 liters for one kilogram of cotton. Up to 22,000 for people in India. Yikes. It's a lot of water. But in this game, you don't have to water your plants. The, the environment waters it for you. So when it comes to uh, crops and stuff, this game isn't like as realistic as you could really expect it to. But then again, with the amount of work farmers have to do, I couldn't expect this game going into even more detail to make farmers work even harder when other people just get to do their job and click a button. So I'm definitely trying an easier profession next time we play, for sure. Uh, also, can you... Uh, yep, yep, good, you're good. Yep, good. Yeah, tractors and fun are fun. Uh, we've not gotten to tractors yet, but I have heard of them. Uh, I have a hand push cart, which I actually have fallen in love with. So if the tractors are anything like the hand push cart, uh, I might slightly change my stance on farming for mid to late game. Because early game farming sucks. Manually plowing a field. Screw that. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. Okay, that was just a bit of a lag spike. Which means I need to downsize my farming in the early game, and I didn't realize that. So I just made a giant field of one thing, and it took me forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <clears throat> I'm not used to the game, so I went with the wrong sizes. I thought bigger was better, but I didn't realize how much it needed. So I don't know what normal sizes are. Also, that wolf is sitting on top of the rock. You ready for Pride Rock, buddy? Nice. What is this? Oh, that's a buffalo. 
thought that was trash. <laughs> nice. Nice indeed. Okay, so yeah, the stuff we're harvesting, super easy. Just to write, just to hit E on it and just collect. So I like the instant plants for maybe early game and then maybe the repeat plants that you have to keep farming and harvesting with uh, the plowing fields firm later on once you get better tools because I have the yeah the hand plow that's so good can't wait to see something better I did quite okay on our RP server before the 10.0 update ah did 10.0 change farming a bit I know it changed a lot of the legal systems but I don't know if 10.0 changed a lot of other stuff. Anyone selling a hand plow? Uh, no, no. Oh, you mean like the tractor one? No. No, no one's selling any of that stuff. I'm the last person to buy a hand plow. There were not many allowed. Not many am being sold. 30 years of papayas. <laughs> uh, you should see my shop. I have like so many papayas, man. No, uh, Nobody can buy them from me enough. So I just keep outselling. Okay, I'm a horrible economist. And I don't know why I've not been banned on the server yet. Because I have been constantly bankrupting people. I know I shouldn't be saying this uh, uh, on Twitch in front of a live audience uh, where I'm being um, possibly incriminated, but I've been bankrupting people on the server, and the server doesn't say there's anything wrong with that, because that is just normal economy. But you've seen that I have 20,000 frickin' flax because I have f efficiency 4 upgrades, and therefore I make so much flax from so little. And I've just been selling to people who infinitely buy it, and I've been bankrupting them. Completely. I go until they have no money left. And... And do you want to see my bank account? <laughs> One second, I'm almost done with my inventory size. I mean, it's going to tell me I can't fit anything more in a second. I have a really big backpack on. There we go, no room in your inventory. Uh, I have 2,700 talents. Which is the, the global currency. Did I get taxed? I need to double check if I got taxed on anything. Sales tax... No, 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 I didn't get taxed on anything. There's a wealth tax in this game, so there might be a little bit of communism going on. Or socialism. Um, but yeah, I've got 2,700, and for context... For context... You start the game with 500 free dollars. And you work your way up from there. I sell my flax for 0 0.1... For 10 cents. 10 cents to the dollar. And I sell all my fruits and stuff for 10 cents to the dollar as well. So to get 2,700 bucks, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of flax seeds being sold and a lot of fruit being sold. So I am, I'm supplying at least half the world or something. Yeah. Can't just pick up everything and need more storage? What's a Soyu? This isn't going to work in a normal server? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This doesn't work in normal servers. No, no, it does not. The amount of stuff I'm holding. I mean, uh, it's not 10 times inventory space, unless it is. Okay, hear me out. I am not used to tailoring. But a backpack that increases your max carry weight by 160 kilos sounds a little big. As you. Okay, okay, thank you, Diagram. <laughs> it's all good. It's just no typing tonight. It's not working. <laughs> Just the fiddle fingers. Um, but the big backpack gets me into 160 kilos. But it doesn't, because that's lying. I'm at... 131 maximum. Probably because of my equipment being... No? I don't know why my maximum is different to 160. But anyways, um, that's how much our bag's giving me at the moment to 131. But I don't know if that's normal. So we actually have to get word to get paid streaming. I know, Digren. I know. The worst. The worst. Some people don't stream. <laughs> but it's 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 a big world out there, man. It is a big world. And we shall fill it with extra extra seeds. Seeds for everybody, boys. 
Gather round for the seeds. Oh my god. Okay, does this fit here? Yeah, it does. I gotta stop. I gotta stop farming. I've got too much. I, I need a I need a silo. Budgie, save me. I need to buy a silo from you or something. <laughs> it's too much stuff. Uh, Captain Angar, welcome to the stream, man. Thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Blue sharks extinct? No, no, I've not gone and extincting animals. I have murdered a bunch of animals, but I have not extincted any. Okay, there's hydroponics from Budgie, but he doesn't have... Oh, he's got a barn that he could possibly make, but he doesn't have any... Um... Yeah, he doesn't have any silos. I could quickly check the world to see if anyone's selling a cheap one. Okay, someone's selling it for 100, someone's selling it for 50. So that's a bit of a difference. 838 meters, 954, 1100, or 1000. Okay, so everybody that's super far away from me is selling a silo. Then again, price is no object when I'm this rich, so I might go get myself one. Yeah, I got so little money because I have to buy all your mats. Yeah. Yep, that makes sense. You have to live off the profits. Unless you can find, like, super cheap profits from somewhere. Like, I think people are selling boards for, like, 10 cents. So if you can find some way to make that a profit. Yeah, someone's selling boards for 10 cents for 2,300 of them. The desert shop's pretty good at that, but they're so far away. So far away. But you can make profits with certain things. It's just the distance. Like, here's the other thing. If you wanted to go trucking a bit, you could buy a bunch of boards from the 10 cents person and sell it to the 20 cents person and double your money. But it just takes you time to go from one place to another. And I've done that a couple of times. It's just a great way of the economy working there. Oh, oh, did I get him? Nope. Did I get him? I did. I got him, but he escaped. You stinking moth. Anyways, Dorama, thanks for the reset to your one for six months. Glad you're enjoying, man. Nearly at your six month streak. Oh, wait, no, you're at your six month. Oh, but not six month streak. Right, right. Congratulations, though, and thank you so much for the resub, man. Appreciate it. But yeah, trucking around the world is pretty good, and there's a way to join a trucking company, I think, in the game. It might be modded or whatever. Uh, where is Ancient it? Ancient traps lie in wait, unsprung and thirsting for blood. Just a little bit of blood, but this sins. Trucking isn't without its blood prices. <laughs> uh, where is it? Where is it? Here we are. I want to truck. Grants you the trucking profession. And it makes you earn extra coin for trucking instead of just... So, like, if you buy something at 10 cents and then sell it somewhere else for 10 cents, I think you get paid, like, a little bit of a premium or something. A little bit of a tax every time you buy something. So, I don't know. I haven't done it much, but I have been paid by the trucking company for some weird reason. I don't understand it. But trucking has paid me $4.80 for selling something that was literally close to my house. I, I don't know. Get your HR license and buy a rig? Yeah, I'll buy a forklift and then it can travel a world <laughs> for me. That'll work. But yeah, no, it is, it's very confusing. I don't know why the trucking's paying me. I'm not a trucker. But I got paid seven cents from that, that price of me buying one single campfire stew. So there's ways of earning money. I, did, I just don't know why I'm getting paid so much. But I'm not complaining. Not complaining in the slightest. I'm only complaining about how hard it is to be a farmer. So, mad respect people who farm in real life. I ain't gonna do that. That is that is hard work. <laughs> they supply us with food, and I'm eternally grateful. Food is lovely. And very important. Emerald Star, have you stopped playing on the server? There's a possibility of that. No, they've got other farmers. They've got other farmers on the other side of the world. People are farming all over the place. It's actually kind of easy to do. I've never tried the hydroponics, so I do want to buy it from Budgie. So just give me one second, chat, as I fix this inventory. Somehow. Oh, is that it? You're just going to pat me and run away. Wow. 
I'm being betrayed. Utterly betrayed, chat. She comes up, turns around in a circle, and just leaves me. I don't know what I did. I, I didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, let's, uh, let's put this over here. Oh, actually, I should probably do it like this. Yeah. Because I find the importance of the papaya more than the seeds. Not that I can make more money off of it, it's just the fruit needs to be staying fresh for longer for people to cook with and stuff. God, I need to buy a silo. Okay, inventory sorted. There's still so many more plants to harvest. But uh, let's go check out this hydroponics to see how people are doing it. Because I saw some other people doing hydroponics. I didn't know what it did. It did something. This guy's got a cool-looking silo. Budgie, what you got? I will buy one hydroponics table and see what it looks like. Thank you very much. Because according to the greenhouse uh, mod, the greenhouse is the bigger version. And it is more expensive to make. This is a baby version. As you can see, it's really small. It's pretty cool. Um, but that's the greenhouse over there. And it requires some fancy stuff. Unfortunately. So it requires you to use the highest end fertilizer, which, like I said previously, is annoying to make because of the compost. Um, but it's very efficient. Like you can make 10 agave leaves in 10 minutes. And you can put a farming upgrade in here to make everything 50% faster and 50% more efficient. That's pretty good. So I'm assuming that this early game version, the hydroponics, it needs to be in indoors. Okay, thank you for letting me know. No freaking way. That is slightly inefficient, but that's how people have been making their food? I should have done this from the start. I should have never gone farming. I've wasted my life. <laughs> I wasted my life waiting for plants to grow when you can just use a freaking build order. Oh my god, this is this takes vanilla way out of proportions. You just take four seeds, it gives you ten crops. And then ten crops can get you five seeds in the worst ratio possible. So it's always a positive feedback loop. Which is, this game is kind of built around positive feedback loops for most things, so you can't ever run out of something. Which is kind of interesting to think of, because that's not always how ecology works. When humans are involved, at least. But yeah, interesting. I could definitely make a lot of money out of this. But, for another day. But it's very cool. People are worrying about pollution. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I've got a car. Because I bought it from somebody. And it slowly makes pollution over time. So the server is slowly gaining more pollution because there's like... A good handful of cars in the world. How many in the world? 29 powered cars in the world. And this little baby... It's actually pretty cool. It's got a little oven. It, you cook things in there, and it drives. <laughs> I mean, it cooks like wood and stuff and charcoal. But it creates 0 0.02 ppm per hour when enabled. Updates every 10 minutes. CO2 is 475 parts per million per day. Plants do minus 500. Oh my god, we're still not even causing pollution. There's that many plants that we completely balance it out. I don't know how people pollute their worlds. I've heard of people rising sea levels. I guess people just with putting trash around the place probably would make a difference. Temperature rises one degree for every 20 parts per million past 340. Sea level rise for you, 20 parts million per 420. 
Okay. I guess if you start going to more late game. Yeah, machines probably would. I'm thinking that too. Like this is just basic. So it's probably just, you know, it's cooking wood. It can't be that polluting. I wonder how much pollution the bigger machines would be doing. And then maybe I could see the sea levels be rising. But luckily for us, where we live on this lovely upgraded area, uh, in terms of height, we are at least a few levels above sea level. Worst comes to worst, we just move to the mountains. That's fine. Somebody else's problem when it comes to uh, all that. <laughs> Not my problem, chat. Sea levels, just go into hydroponics. There's a sea rise layer map mode. Ooh, there is. Environmental data, world, height. Seawater, saltwater spread. Interesting. It shows you the saltwater spread. Uh oh, uh oh, that person took out the beach and the saltwater is spreading, which is bad. Oh, that person's running out as well in their area of saltwater problems. Is there any more saltwater spread down here? Oh, they dug that out. They dug that out and connected it. I, that's not natural. Okay, cool. Uh, oil fields. Can you find oil fields on the map? You're not allowed to settle in oil fields early on. Ooh. Wow, there's a lot of oil. Holy crap, there's oil everywhere. Some hot spots, though. Cool. I think it's the web interface. Oh, it could be. I don't know how to get the web interface for a uh, normal servers. I've only seen it for the one. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? What's the shrub space? Oh my. Lots of shrubs. We almost made a plant go extinct though, chat. I could bring it back. Or I could destroy it. I'm actually slightly interested into being like monopolizing a certain species. We could do that today. Fertile ground. The desert is not very fertile, I'll tell you that. Canopy space. Cool stuff. Yeah, I know there's, there's so much metadata on the world. Yeah. Very cool stuff indeed. Uh, specifically, though, uh, we were going to try and get that silo. Let's see if we can do that. G brings up the web, inter web interface. Oh, thank you, Sins. Uh, Budgie, I mean. Sins says save it so you only you sell it. Exactly, exactly. The only problem is this game is built around sustainability. So as soon as I sell a piece of a plant that is, like, extinct, People can repopulate it. So I should make a museum where they're forced to look at the plant forever. Where they can look but not touch. And therefore, the extinct plant will always be mine. But then I can't make profit off of it. That's the only sad part. That is the very sad part. Okay, G opened up the map. Oh yeah, and it shows us. Okay, cool. Very cool indeed. Tense jungle should have wood pulp plants. I have a faint recollection. Nice. Okay, so how can we tell the height? Environment? No, not environment. Custom statistics? No. Uh... Civics? No, that wouldn't make any sense. Not economy. Not trees. Player actions. No, it's not really showing height. But that is our world. And it looks very nice. 
Now we can look inside the ground. Nice. So I'll take us to the museum across access. Exactly, Seo. Exactly. That's what the British do. <laughs> Collect wonders from the world and then make you pay admission. It works like a charm. But yeah, that's really cool that you can look at anybody's world on the server just by hitting G. Cool stuff. Uh, but yeah, speaking of a rare plant, I will quickly show you that before we go and continue. There is a specific plant that is almost completely extinct. And it is called the Chrysote Bush. It is a desert plant. And there are... How many in the world again? Let me double check. I think there's like 27 left in the world. And I've cut down a handful in my time. Oh my goodness, I can't go to the top of chat. Oh, the top of chat is when you've logged in. I was AFK for a bit for the stream, setting things up. There it is. Yeah, every time you log in, it tells you what's up here. Crazy bush. There's 27 left in the world. We could go extinct it today. Get the achievement. Because people want it for color, because it's a yellow color, I think, when it comes to um, paints. Uh, how much seeds in the world? I swear nobody has it. Because nobody's buying it, nobody's selling it. Used in basic upgrade one colored powder. It would take a little bit of effort because you gotta travel the whole world to get rid of it. But we could try. We could definitely try. Okay, let's go run and get ourselves a silo. Uh, unless Budgie's making one. I gotta see if he's gonna do anything with that. I do love the hydroponics, though, Budgie. I'm not sure if I'll use it too much now, because I already have way too much stuff. <laughs> Got way too much stuff at the moment when it comes to food. But I'll consider it. I'll definitely consider it. That huckleberry extract, though, is good for fertilizing. And we got a star. That's right. We got a star just before the stream. So I'm really considering going into fertilizers. But I'll do that after I go running. Berries. Yeah, the biomes are pretty cool. Unique plants to unique biomes. Unique stats to the ground. Multipliers, all that kind of stuff. Unique temperatures. Not that most of that actually impacts your character. But it impacts the plants and the environment. Okay, storage silo. What are we looking at? What's the cheapest one? That is... Oh, somebody bought the $30 one. Dang it. Uh, which means we're going to try and go for this one. Oh, I know where that is. I sold them a lot of stuff. <laughs> They're going to happy to have my business because I've almost, I never bankrupted them, though. I wasn't even close. Oh, there goes Budgie. He's getting a lot of stuff. Hey. Nice. Have fun, man. Hopefully you're doing well with all your trades and or whatever he's trying to build. Onwards. But uh, I found a lazy way to get around the world chat is to just swim. I... <laughs> it's very funny. Because in all honesty, the game decided to update to level uh, to, to 10.0. And they invented boats. Boats are great. And boats are needed to cross the deep ocean. So, you can't just build gigantic bridges across the world. Because the deep ocean gets in the way. Um, 
But there's a problem with that. There's only a slight problem. Because the deep ocean is only in that little spot. Um, only in that little spot on this world. Only Death in that waits. little spot. And in that spot. So I swear the admins of this server really, really, really change the settings. Get a boat like a normal person, I have the money. I do have a boat. I've got the cheapest boat in the game. I spent no money on boats, but I did buy a car. And death awaits. <laughs> Trace this, it definitely does. Um, so normally, normally, the deep ocean should be more elaborate. But I swear the server people changed that. Which is funny, because they did that so you could actually have cars across the world. Which, to a degree, I understand. Which then defeats the use of boats. And then it also lets me just swim across the world. So I used to just be the one that was uh, using a boat. In the early games, I was. What server are you badmouthing the admins of? Ah, uh, nothing, nothing. You don't need to know. No one needs to know. No, I'm not doing anything. I'm not badmouthing nobody. I don't want to get kicked off. What are you talking about, Diagon? You snitch it? You're not snitching at all. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it seems like they made this a bit more easy to play, this server. Yeah. Boats are better than cars. I agree. I agree. I think the boat system is really cool. They're more efficient, and I like that the accessibility of water is really easy in this type of gameplay. But the way that this server's done it, I can just swim, and I realized that too late because I was doing a lot of boating and then went, wait a minute, why boat when I can just swim? I don't even know. But you know what? I could buy a fancy boat to see how fast it is, but me just running around is pretty fast anyways. But I would like to test it out, because I am rich. And when you're rich, you can do frivolous things, chat, like buying a fancy yacht. So we'll buy a yacht. Also, we will, um, we're buying a silo, right? Where's the silo? It's got to be this one, then. Barn, butter churn, crop greenhouse, sapling greenhouse. Oh, that's different, budgie. I only bought the normal one for me. I don't know what the sapling one does. Probably it makes more seeds. No way. Or is it trees? Oh, it could be trees. Yeah, it's grow, grow trees. You can grow trees inside of a greenhouse. That's weird. But okay. Storage silo. There we are. That's what we're after. 50 bucks. Easy money. Large lumber stockpile, food locker. Food lockers are nice. I did enjoy getting those for my kitchen. Barn is used for the ranchers. And lumber is a dollar a piece. Interesting. Also, this is the food place I usually buy when I'm over in this city. They sell all the good stuff. They're doing a really good job. Like, there's so many different foods in this game. And to a degree, most of them are pretty relevant. Even up until well, the stage that we're at. Like, my character, because it really depends on what your character is like. My character really likes the root campfire salad and the fern campfire salad. And I, I will just keep buying all of them. Because it's 20 bucks for 50. Because these guys are selling them for so cheap. That is so cheap, 40 cents per salad. So I, I will not say no to that, especially since the other stuff I buy sometimes is like a dollar to two dollars per piece. Yeah, like two dollars for cake, ste campfire steak and eggs. When I spent 40 cents on this one. Now obviously this one goes for more vitamins and carbs, and my character is carb loading a little bit too much, so I need to get more protein. And the way I get my protein and fat is from, well, I mean, the campfire steak and eggs is pretty good. But it's $2 a piece. Hmm. I could go short rib stew. Because that one my character finds good.
The smoked full rack of ribs is 1,500 calories. And the stew is 1,150. And my character likes this one. Chat, we're eating ribs tonight. Easy. Yep, we're eating ribs. Normally, I would go for the uh, the charred sausages, but they are less in calories, and they don't provide me as much. But moving up from sausages to ribs is a great move, for sure. So, like I said, when it comes to uh, food, server's got a pretty good amount. And I have a lot of people buying from me, but I'm not sure if it's these guys here, because they've got probably their own farmers and whatnot. Because there's this hydroponics guy on the ocean that, um... Oh, someone bought my ice thing. Very nice. I don't need it anymore. Uh, this guy does a lot of hydroponics on the ocean, and he sells things for super cheap. So I've been exploiting his economy and making a lot of money off of him. <laughs> so it just works. It works. Having excess money just lets you do stuff. So it seems pretty chill on the server when it comes to everything. Uh, they seem to be a little bit more strict when it comes to like roads and stuff and pollution. I don't know. I haven't seen too many crazy things happen, so that's kind of a good thing. But it is intriguing to find situations like this, though. This guy living on an island by himself, I think I noticed. Yeah, he doesn't protect all of his crops. So I could just steal all this stuff. Eh. When the vehicles become a thing? Yeah, it might make things a bit interesting. People are very keen on finding the steam engine, I think it is. Whatever's the next level above the powered cart, which is the wood-powered cart. Wood fuel stove. So things might just go a bit crazy after that. One could say it becomes steamy. Oh, ho, ho. you know what? If I'm anyone, I could probably help uh, smoke out the world a bit. I mean, they can't really trace it to you, can they? No, wait, they can. But hey, I'm rich. I can pollute the world. I did get taxed one time for driving my car. I got like taxed like 25 cents for driving it because it was polluting. So, I think our goal, chat, is to get rich to pollute the world. It's it's a great evil rich villain thing to do. Isn't that like all villains in most movies and most shows where the rich guy is just like, I don't care about anything. I just like being rich and ruining things for everyone else. Could be our villain arc. Show us your pollution car. I mean, my pollution car is not very good at polluting, so I've got to figure out a better way to do it. Maybe I just buy like 10 cars and have them all running at once. <laughs> and maybe I just cut down all the trees in the world or something. Maybe. Okay, how do I do this? The silo. Oh, is that going to take out a chunk? This is gonna work. If it takes if it destroys my plants, I think it's gonna destroy my plants. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Um we'll check. Uh let's see. Yeah, yeah, let's just take out some of these plants. Because I'm gonna replant these as the um the the flowers. The flowers that I want to extinct in the world. Man, we have some good evil goals today. And no one on the server knows. I see no steam cart with your name on it. Oh, it's in my inventory. It's right here. The powered cart. I just don't have the better version. Because there's no mechanics on it at the moment. They haven't unlocked it. So steam truck. People are trying to buy it for 500. But it's not out yet. Don't be evil. Evil's bad. What are you talking about? This is a world about economy, ecology. Being evil will be good. 
The meteor's gonna kill us all anyways. Use it, you'll love how it handles. Wait, the steam truck, is it faster? I'm assuming it's faster. Aha! We did it! What does this do? That's it? I spent 50 bucks on this? Wait. Never mind. Never mind. I completely rescind my statement. I was like, it's the same size. And then I'm like, wait a minute, what if it stacks higher? And it stacks five times, which means it's five times the size. I completely apologize for my first assessment. Oh my God, this thing's amazing. I might need another one. <laughs> I have 20,000 flax seeds, man. I might need another one. But we'll see. We'll see. Does it stack everything to a thousand? Oh, everything. Does it actually keep them cold? Wait. It doesn't keep them cold. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'll just keep the seeds in there. Because the seeds don't need to be fresh. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll just keep the food safe because I don't have as much food. Get back here, you silly agave. Uh, the cotton that I have is not going to deteriorate, so we'll put that in the silo. Can I put the hay bales in the silo? No. Sure, why not? But my flax seeds will not deteriorate. They'll take, like, what, two weeks? Just under two weeks. Eleven days. But look at that. Okay, one silo should probably hold us over for a bit. But the food locker is huge. Because they hold all the food and keep it cold. Yeah. Okay, I gotta go check the art gallery, supposedly, so I'll go to that in a minute. Once I hand over my seeds to be sorted. And then I'll probably go collect the rest of my papayas and pineapples, because I forgot to finish that because of inventory problems. What if I, like, control click? Is that gonna work? No, no, that doesn't work. I just have to click and drag. It's the easiest way. Some of these seeds I care about, so I think I'm not going to put them up there, because they're already starting to slightly deteriorate. But these ones up here, they're fine. Anything else that doesn't have a shelf life? No, everything else seems to have a shelf life. Okay. I have a lot of dead animals in my stockpiles that aren't deteriorating. I think that's hilarious. Dead animals don't deteriorate, but if you cut them open, they deteriorate. It's an interesting, interesting interaction for sure. Also, somebody left ham, sand, and a cart inside my public stockpile in front of me. I don't know who did that, but it's not my stuff. But it's in front of my house. <laughs> so I'm confused. You know what? Quick transfer between stockpiles, right? Snow, stop doing it. Shift and move one flax. I was control clicking, shift clicking. I didn't think of shift to moving it. Diagrant, you're amazing. Thank you. I didn't even know that was a thing. Well, today I learned something very valuable. Appreciate it. Dennis is playing War Thunder. Nice. Are you playing airplanes, uh, tanks, or ships? Because technically there's ships in War Thunder, but I don't think anyone plays them, do they? I don't think actually people play the ships. Because I like ship combat. You're playing tanks. Nice. Nice. What tier? What tier of tanks you doing?
Because I know like tier 10 are like Abrams and stuff, and then like tier 4 is like... No, tier like maybe 5 or 6 is KV. Yeah. Tier 8 Sweden? Nice! I don't know about War Thunder, but I know that the Swedish tanks in War, War, World of Tanks, they're cool. Swedish tank 3 War Thunder. Sweden ground vehicles. Here we go. There's the STRV M31s, yep. Let's have a look, shall we? I gotta highlight it all, or else I can't see it. Uh, wait, the Leopard is Swedish? Oh, it's a different type of leopard, probably. There's the STRV 122B, very cool, for tier 10. Wait, that's only tier 8. Swedish don't have tier 10? Wait, what's the, wait. What's the highest tier in War Thunder? Is it only tier 8? Or is there tier 10 in War Thunder? Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a good question. Um, because I'm used to World of Tanks, which has ten tiers. But the STVs are really cool. Okay, that's all sorted, that's all sorted. I have so much food. Which is not a bad thing. Okay, and then I'll put those away. For the time being. Yeesh, too much food. You have 8.0 BR? Nice. Glad to hear it, man. Yeah, I, I never really got into War Thunder because I got into World of Tanks. And the idea of having... Ooh, art gallery. Nice. The, uh, the idea of having airplanes and tanks on at the same time was a confusing thing for me. So I went... I, I'm okay with just playing tanks normally. Bright agaves. Very nice. Also, where's Budgie? Did I put him? There you go, Budgie. I got you some reputation. Yeah, giving reputation to the city which increases the city's borders, which is lovely. Nice. That's what we like to see. So that means the city will slowly get bigger. Ever so slowly. It's actually pretty big. Look at that. I think when I first started, it was actually just barely reaching this edge of the water. But now it's grown to be like an extra 20 tiles in all directions. It's pretty good. It's kind of enveloping some people's places, so they might annex them. <laughs> you never know. You never know. I won't be there when it happens. I'll be like, oh, whoops, how did that happen? Okay, got to collect all of these underneath the house. Now that I have a silo, this might be easier to deal with. Oh, plus I need to get the, um, the other stuff. Papayas and the pineapples. Uh, the other good thing is there is a couple of cooks in town for our curtain town, so I don't have to run across the world to sell my produce. So we might do a little bit of profiteering inside our own town walls. Uh, once I'm done collecting all of these. 
Now, the real question, though, is when farming gets better and gets, like, harvesters and combines and stuff, do they work on plants that you have to harvest by hand? And my answer, I'm thinking, is no. But if it's yes, that'd be interesting. Because I'd assume combine harvesters would just chop up any plant in front of them. Like a reaper tool. No, uh, like the scythe. The sickle. And that would probably destroy these types of plants and not get the resources. Budget game reputation. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. It's a lot of a scratch your back type gameplay when it comes to this game. But there's also a bit of individualism to it as well, where you want to try and be the best profiteering person as possible, which kind of has helped me a little bit. <laughs> to profit off of people's... But that's the thing, It's as much as I keep saying I'm the evil villain in all of this... Silly moth. Um, people have been profiting off of me as well. I've made mistakes. And uh, I don't know the best prices for everything. So I've had people buy from me really cheap and sell to someone else. I come logged in and I'm like, wait a minute, where's all my stock gone? And someone's taken it and just literally sold it across the river's way or something and I didn't know about it. So, it happens to everybody. You just gotta be more than them, that's all. You gotta exploit more than you get exploited. And that's how you survive. Because <laughs> you can't be on 24-7 checking prices 24-7, so you don't even know how the economy's going half the time. You just gotta let it flow. Okay, how's the rest of these plants looking? No pink, no pink, no pink, and then we get to the pink over here. But yeah, the economy's pretty interesting. It is always tricky when people, like, undercut, though. Because then it, like, devalues the coin, devalues the work. So, but then I just exploited the people who undercut by buying off of them and selling. So, th there's ways around it. There are ways around it for sure. And that stops people from exploiting because you start exploiting them so much they realize, oh, they gotta change their prices. Which is funny. That's that's just how it goes. <laughs> okay, let's put this stuff away. Add it back to the storage. I can put this in the fridge because I finally have space for it. Seeds into the seeds fridge. Uh, what else are we working on? Why is this in here? Oh, I know why. Because I should put it down here. That's where I put my flowers. Okay, that's a little bit more distinct. Okay, good stuff. Uh, let's go do the papayas and the pineapples now. And then we'll try and sell a bunch of that to people who live near us. Uh, hopefully some of the cooks are still buying. Ooh, someone claimed all of that. Interesting. That was not claimed previously. A lot happens in a day. New people keep coming on and expanding. It's good to see. Have I taken all the papayas? I have not. Okay. Game, I am clicking here. Thank you. I put my plants a little bit too close together, and therefore it's tricky to gather them. I don't know what overcrowding does, though. I am not a prolific farmer. I am a farmer that just sets it, sits it, and waits on it. And as long as I get in the right biome, I'm happy. But yeah. Okay, but thanks for the rep. Snow gang rep. Exactly. Exactly. We gotta usurp the population and uh, take over the government. Shadow wizard money gang and shadow government will uh, be incorporated by the snowman and his fellow peeps. His fellow snow bros. <laughs> they won't even see it coming. 
Tree attack, trace pain, missing tanks in 3.7, 6.0, 6.3, and 6.7 battle rating. Ah, uh, okay. But I wasn't sure if there was any, like, tier 10 tanks or anything like that. So I didn't know the tank ratings as much. Is 8 the highest you can go? Because I don't play War Thunder. 11's the highest? Sheesh. That's pretty high. That must be all the modern tanks. Because I think you get like rockets in War Thunder, like tanks with rockets on them and stuff. It's, it's crazy to think. You can get helicopters in World of... not World of Tanks, in uh, War Thunder. Fighter jets... Yeah, no, I I can't fly planes in games. I don't know, can any of you guys fly planes in games? I, I can't do it. And I always admire the people who can. Because I think some people use joysticks. Like those, um... The ones that look like stick shifts in cars, those types of joysticks. I don't know what they're called. We called them joysticks back in the day because there were not many of the choices of types of sticks. But yeah, you play Britain War Thunder, tanks is just pain and misery, but planes is heavy, heavenly, easy killing. Ah, you're one of those people, Budgie. You're one of those good flyers that takes advantage of all the people who can't fly like me. <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't stand a chance. I can play tanks. I played World of Tanks for many years, on and off. So I, I'm used to tank gameplay. It makes sense. It's pretty simple. You angle your tank, you shoot, the other tank takes damage. In airplane gameplay, it's up for grabs. Nobody knows what's going on. There's just a bit of burring and whirring, people falling out of the sky, people doing whirly twirly twirlies, rockets flying everywhere. Nobody knows what's going on. It's it's just crap flying around in a, in a windstorm. So that's 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 what I look at. I say tanks make sense, and flying doesn't make any sense. You just can't lose Spitfire though, getting to jets might be painful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some people that like earlier tier things versus late tier things, so yeah, that's that's understandable, man. Later jets and all that, when you're just shooting rockets at enemies, it's just like, who shoots the rocket first wins. That's kind of like modern jet stuff. But when you're playing in a Spitfire where it's like machine gun and you have to actually aim your shots and doing a barrel roll actually makes a difference and climbing makes a difference, stalling your plane makes a difference. Yeah, that kind of stuff. I just want to say like tractor. <laughs> I don't know that one. But yes, yes, the more planes, the better. Oh, I think there's SAMs as well, isn't there? Service to air missiles. I swear I saw a rocket car in War Thunder. Rockets, artillery, War Thunder. Rocket launchers, there we go. Yeah, these things. They're like SAMs. Except they're not SAMs, but you know what I mean. Yeah, these things. You can drive those in War Thunder. And just run around with rockets on your back. Horrible anti-air things to, that really annoy people. Also, do they do good against ground? 24 rounds. There's 24. Yeah. The light tractor is a tank disguised as a tractor. The Treaty of the Versailles Germans weren't allowed to have tanks, thus they had a tractor. Adding more tanks, planes, and boats. It's always been they're going to be adding Russian bias planes. 13 BR. 13. Yay. Sheesh. That's pretty crazy. But the like tractor is a tractor. That's an interesting tank. You don't see too many rear rear mounted tanks with its turret. But you do see a few. I don't know how they pulled that off as a tractor, though. That looks nothing like a tractor. They must have done some magical bullcrappery to change people's minds into thinking that's a tractor. It probably was based off of a tractor with like a tractor motor or something. 
It's a cute little little tank. I've not heard of it or seen it in any of the those types of game like war world war war tanks and stuff. It's probably more like a World War One tank. Is it? Is it World War One? Usually the uh, more simpler tanks. You would find those. It says World War II model maker, though. They used them in World War II? Interesting. You said Treaty for Says. Sorry. I... My history is rusty. Very rusty. As much as I think tanks are cool and some guns can be pretty cool, I'm not a gun nut. I'm not a car nut. I'm not a tank nut. I, I don't remember these things. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> And in Australia, you only learn about, like, Anzac stuff. I learned about a lot more World War II stuff in Canada. And I learned a little bit in my World of Wars histories class. I took a weird class in high school. I loved it to bits, but it's a weird class. It was Battles of History. That's what it was. We learned about battles of history. We watched battles on TV. And we even played a board game at the end of the, the semester. A battle... I think it was like Risk. It wasn't Risk, but it was like Risk. A fancy version of Risk. And that was amazing. We learned about amazing battles, but... Not all of them were, like, super hip and relevant. <laughs> In terms of, like making sense. There's they're spread across history. Is what I'm trying to say. Different time zones. Yeah. Where's a tier one tank in World Tanks? It is Bimble? No way. I've played a few tier one tanks. What is all the tier one tanks? Or I can just go like tractor World of Tanks. Oh, it is in World of Tanks. Oh my god, if I've played this... If I've played this tank, I'm gonna kick myself, but that's just because I haven't played Tier 1 in so freaking long. The Like Tractor is Tier 1 for which... It's German. Which makes sense, but had to confirm. I might have played this tank at one time. It's the Light Tractor VK-31. I've gone up the German tree. I think, I think I've played this. Ages ago. Like, literally ages ago. Years and years and years. Yeah. War Thunder, why Swedish Tanks World 1 looks ugly? Swedish Tanks in World of Tanks look beautiful, man. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. British get some nice Canadian, Australian, and South African tanks in War Thunder? Really? Canadian tank World War Thunder. Oh my goodness, the Canadians have tanks. Special Canada Day news. That's a cute little tank. I'm sure they've got maple syrup inside. Hello, Canadian tank. Okay, if I zoom in... Let me zoom in. That's a cute little tank. War Thunder 1.6. I don't know when that was. 2016? Ages ago? It's nice. Uh, and then you also said it was Australian. Australian tanks, War Thunder. They have the... The Aussie Ace Thunderbolt. Which is... I don't know what these ones are. Cool. I don't know about them. 
What YouTube videos have I opened without hovering over the tabs? What YouTube videos I have opened? Those are my VODs that I'm working on on the left side. And then I think I've got a music one on the right, the middle middle side. Yeah. So I gave us the Matilda Hedgehog. Look at that one. Um, Matilda Hedgehog. Oh my, that has rockets on its back? Okay. Very small caliber plus rockets. Is that a machine gun? That looks like a machine gun. <laughs> I don't think that's what the tank's meant to look like, chat. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I don't think that's what the Matildas look like, but it probably is how it feels. It's a giant cannon on the back of a baby cannon. <laughs> that's good. That's good. I like it. Uh, Dennis says, look at this tank. What do we have? The USH-405. Twin fully automatic rocket launcher. What in the futuristic dystopian world is this Mad Max thinking? What? I don't, what, what in the hell is this? I've never seen this tank before. Those are rocket launchers? Dude, it looks like somebody just went to the gym and went only for arm day. It, it looks like an ant that has his head misplaced. It only has a bunch of big feelers on top of him. How does this do anything? It's got four wheels. This thing probably topples over. It probably gets bogged down in bad terrain. And you're telling me this thing has rockets on top of it. It probably runs out of ammunition. How How is this... I know this is from a different game, but it's the same concept. Where do they store the rockets? <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Um, is it? It's you're saying it's Swedish. Okay, that's an ugly, funny looking tank, but it's Swedish. See, if you go to a world of tanks, we've got beautiful looking tanks in the um, world of tanks one. Yeah, like, my, my favorites are the STRVs. These are beautiful tanks. Okay, can I have the 3D model? Okay, the 3D model does not look good. Where is the... screw it, I'll just... I'll just Google it. STRV-103B. Yeah. That's a beautiful looking tank. Look at this beautiful thing. Absolutely gorgeous. And then you go to World of War, World of War Thunder over here. And you see this little box. <laughs> Mind you, the STRV 103B is a tier 10 tech tree. So if I go to the UDES 03, the UDES 3, this is a tier 8. So this is like two tiers from the top. And it does look like a matchbox, but it's a very pretty matchbox. So this is the difference. Pretty matchbox versus... No, 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 I said open in... How do I do this? Here we go. So pretty matchbox, which is nice and square, versus... Oh, that's what it is. It was bugging me. I know what this is. Chat. Okay. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on, put two rocket launchers on top of this and tell me that's not the Swedish tank. Come on, you have to tell me that I'm not wrong. 
Here it is. Here it is. Two rocket launchers on top of that. It's the same thing. It's the exact same thing. The mouse droid is Swedish tank confirmed, just de-armed. They disarmed the Swedish tanks, put them into Star Wars. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, War Thunder, um, you're going to get sued by Disney. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, oh, that's hilarious. Okay, where was I going again? I think I was heading back with the loot. Yeah, yeah I was moving back to home. <laughs> oh man, tank games are fun. Very funny as well. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, I haven't I haven't played World Tanks in a little while. I think I played a little bit last year though. It is a fun game. And I can imagine why people enjoy War Thunder too. But they're just from what I've heard, they're very different games. To the point that if you play one or the other, they're not like completely cross-transferable. Cross-compatible. You you'll feel so different playing them. Uh I did play a little bit of World of Warships at one time. I didn't hate it, I wasn't great at it, but I do like ships, so I thought it would be fun. It was fun. I guess because I did get sponsored one time by the World of Thunder, I should probably try it sometime to see if it actually is good. <laughs> but I know a bunch of you guys play it, so it's good to hear that you guys are having fun. Uh, oh, I need to put this in here, and I need to put this down here. You over here? Am I missing anything? Oh, I did the art gallery, like I was mentioned earlier. Yep, good. People are doing scrolls. Okay, yep, I didn't miss anything important. Uh, oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the um, taking over the world with an extinct plant. So I need to take out this agave at the moment. And I also wanted to sell a bunch of stuff to the shops. So I will do that and make money from the chefs. So let's clean out this agave field first. Oh, hello. You've returned to us. Hello. Welcome. How are you? Yeah, you're being a good man today. But are you going to stay this time? Are you feeling a little bit energetic? Because I don't blame you. I think you are. Alt Z. Well, Z brings up this. Alt-Z doesn't do much. Alt lets me move my mouse because I changed the uh, keybind for it. Maybe that's why. Alt-Y? No, Y is economy viewer. What controls are you thinking of? Toggle cursor I changed to alt. Skid steer. Boats and vehicles. We're not in a boat, we're not in a vehicle. Chat log, Ecopedia. Switch chat tabs is H. Store trades. Show hide markers is equals. Never used equals before. Oh, that changes the markers on my map and my mini map. No, I like the markers. They're pretty good. You rebound hide UI. I did. I probably did. Because I didn't need to do it. Where's hide UI? German tech tree looks weird. V2 and the rock and stew up. I'll have a look in a second. Um, oh, I know why I rebound it. It's because I changed toggle cursor to alt, and that probably breaks a few things. 
If I change that to control, no, no, no. If I change that to the... zero, no. Uh, if I change it to minus, there we go. There we go. Now we can make it look more cinematic. More ASMR. Nice. I normally don't play games without the UI on because I like the uh, visual feedback, but if I'm just farming, if I'm just collecting some stuff, we can make it look pretty. But Dennis says, oh, fudge, I have to unbind my stinking keyboard. Uh... The VT12. German tank. <laughs> I already love it. And then the racket ten automat. Close enough. It's the same idea. Oh, I've seen this tank before. I think I've seen the rocket ten. In, where did I see it? Maybe it's like a remote control tank. Maybe it's like a toy. I might have seen it as a toy before. This is the, um, this is the tank with antennas, but at the front. Which is also a double-barreled rocket launcher. It's the same thing as the Swedish, except the Swedish put it on the back. And the Germans put it on the front. Well, the Swedish put it in the middle. I, why do you guys have obsessions with just putting rocket launchers on wheels? Then again, can I blame them? And then you're saying the VT is just a double barrel tank on each corner. That is funny. That is very cool. But they, okay, hear me out. Hear me out. This is kind of stupid. But if both gun barrels didn't fire at the same time, that would rock the tank and ruin the shot for the other shot. So you'd have to shoot them exactly at the same time. Or else you'd be ineffective. But I guess it would give distance off of the barrels to try and hit the target. Maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. It just it seems weird. It also seems like the tank couldn't really handle the recoil. Is that just a snippet of the VT? It's just a tank on a bed of tracks. <laughs> That's funny. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh boy. People think of everything. The Starpilot Control drag your left hot leftmost hotbar item into it. Control drag, you say? Shift drag? Alt drag? Control drag? You're saying I'd like to empty my entire inventory into the stockpile? Could be a control drag or something? Hmm. Hmm. I tried shift control and alt. And I'm doing it to a roof stockpile, which allows everything in there. How about control alt drag? Control shift drag? Shift alt drag. Control alt shift delete. No, didn't work. You just take out the whole row? Nice. But your whole control drag one like this. That was a shift drag that you said? Yeah, shift drag. That was really nice. I'm on board with that. 100%. That would have saved me a little bit of effort. Well, it definitely saved me effort for the 22,000 that I had to move. But other than that, I haven't had to move 20,000 before. That's just an accumulation over a long period of time of me having excess flax. 
at a high efficiency level. Yeah. It was control shift plus drag. Oh, I thought I tried that. No. It doesn't like me. No. That is unfortunate. Shift. Shift works for the backpack. Where's my seeds? There they are. There we go. This game is actually pretty nice. Pretty nice looking with its graphics and everything. I do like it. Can make some pretty pretty buildings with it. The plants look nice. Yeah. So in this mode, I like it. It's very laid back. You feel like a farmer some days. Just without the back breaking work. Just have to hold left click. If real life farming was just holding left click chat, I think I think we'd have a lot more food around. And a lot less a lot less farmers worrying about their poor backs. Use combine harvesters, but you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, I, I am still interested. I still want to play this server for a decent amount of time to try and see what late game looks like. But I'm kind of interested to see what the combine harvesters and the. I'm assuming they have other sorts of tractors or something. Maybe a fancier plow. I wonder what they'll look like. Farming simulator stream when. I, to be, to be completely hypocritical, I don't play many farming games. But maybe... Uh-oh, my stone sickle broke. Maybe. Uh-oh. No, not you. I need to go to my tool thing to fix this. Nah, you've returned, you silly moth. Contrary to popular belief, I do like moths. Moths are adorable. They are slightly annoying, though. When they get in the house. But they are very cute. So watch me cutting a tree, and he pointed out no cutting sign. He planted them. <laughs> is that over to the east in the cold area? That is funny. That is very funny. Also, I am lagging, apparently. There we go. I have little lag spikes on this server. I think this is a European server. Because I have like 300 ping to it or something. Yeah, there's some small ones. Next thing I was light. Oh, Vug. Okay. <laughs> You're right. Okay. <laughs> Wait, let me have a look where you are. Oh, these trees near Mongo's place? <laughs> He's been planting a lot of trees over here. Dude. I think he can survive. I think he'll survive. He has a lot of freaking trees. Yeah, I, I'm sure he'll survive. And the best part is, if you just replant it, he can't get upset at you. Like, when I'm not being lazy, I'll replant trees. But I'm a farmer, so I'm lazy. Oh, I need to change it back to alt. I need to. It's killing me. Toggle cursor, go back to alt, please. Thank you. And I can still hide my UI. Yes, I can still hide my UI, even with alt. Okay, good. All right, let's do some plowing, boys. In game, in game chat. There we go. Time out. Are you getting cut tired? Yeah, she's getting a bit sleepy. 
She's staring off in the distance for no apparent reason. But wait, Budgie, aren't you a logger as well? Yeah, you are a logger. Which means... You should be able to do trees. <laughs> no, you took milling and lumber? Oh, no, that's right! That's right, you, did, you didn't do logging because you let other people do it this time. Right, you took carpentry. Yeah, carpentry is different to lumbering. Uh, to different to logging because it works with lumber and it makes uh, advanced pieces of wood out of wood that other people have cut. Understandable. I found a cheating way, chat. It's not cheating, but I can do two sides of plows at the same time if I just wiggle. Look at that. Two rows at once. Oh no, I missed one! That's the other problem. If I was good at this game. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Come on, come on. Twice the effort, twice the speed. No, half the effort, twice the speed. But yeah, imagine if you do this hand by hand, chat. I couldn't dream of it. And then imagine if I could have a machine to do it for me. But yeah, that's the difference with some of these plants. Some of the plants you have to replant them, and some of them you can just harvest. And the plant stays there like the prickly pears. So... The prickly pears have less yield, but less effort. Whereas the agave have like twice the yield, but twice the effort. Actually, like ten times the effort. So I'm thinking like the non-replantables are just the easy way to lazy, lazy farm. And if I'm ever to do farming again, I think I'm just going to go lazy farming. <laughs> uh, hydroponics is like super lazy farming. Didn't even realize it. But mods, mods have made this server, server very easy to play. So it's very beginner friendly. And I think to a degree that's good for us. Because we're still learning to get used to things. And I'm okay with that. Okay, we'll take that back. Fields are plowed and ready to go. Okay, chat. Next phase of the plan, we sell a bunch of our produce. And then we go steal the world. And no one can stop us. So, produce, where can I sell this? Farmer's Market is buying it. Is Farmer's Market selling? Yeah, they're buying it as well. As well, selling it. So, Farm to Market is too far away from us. Beach Bistro, I've already bought from them. Ducking is too far away. Beef is too far away. Almost edible. Oh, I know where almost edible is. That's my food place over here. It's not mine. But that's the gentleman that I have ripped off countless times. So, I'll, you know, I'll be nice and sell to him. Oh no, I can only sell 198. Dang it, he has a... <sighs> he was smart. He learned from last time. Does he have his flax seeds? Yeah, he's he learned. Dang it, I can't exploit his money anymore. I've earned so much money off of this dude. <laughs> okay, he's not buying very much. Okay, is anyone else buying a crazy amount of these? No. Once again, chat, I have too much food for the world to consume. I have gone and goofed. Okay, so we'll put the agave back. How about papayas? Anyone crazy for papayas at the moment? 
No. No, people just want like a hundred. What? How about prickly pears? Oh my god. I think people are realizing. They want ten. Uh, they're finally realizing that I make too much food for the world and I can't exploit my economy anymore. Yeah, they're putting maximum values on the things they're buying. How about pineapples? Take him to take the truck to take more. I could do that, but they're not buying enough. People are wanting more pineapples. That's kind of good, but I don't have that many. And they're only buying one person's only buying it at a good price. Uh, fine. I'll just leave it here for anybody to buy. Can I still exploit flax seeds, or is people dried up on that side of it? I might have flooded the market too much. Yeah, I flooded the market. There's too much flax seeds out there. <laughs> so screw it, chat. We're going to corner the market, because I'm not earning any profits anymore. I mean, I am rich from my previous profits, but that's besides the point. I'm not making any more profit. So let's go and harvest the world. We'll empty our inventory. Uh, keep some food with us. Repair our sickle. Although I don't think there's that many bushes in the world. There's only 27. So I may as well repair my sickle and go find them. Okay. Onwards and upwards we go. We shall. S the evil stone has been stopped. Overproducing has been stopped. Yes. Overproducing has been stopped. I've been cornered. But that doesn't stop the evil snowman. He will find a new way. He will corner the population of rare things. So chat, put on your looking glasses. Have I cornered all of it from this desert? I think the answer is yes. There was one piece over here that I already got. There's none of it over here. There's none of it here. No, nothing. 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 I swear, if it's going to be in a town radius, I'll be pissed. Because then I won't be able to mine it. Okay, nothing here. Where's the next desert? There's the next desert. We're looking for a little bit of bluey purple. God, the world is so void of the gray outs. Bluey purple. No, that's not bluey purple. There it is. One, two, three. We found some bushes. Just have to snag them. They look like they're not on anybody's property. It says one, two, three bushes to grab. Good, good. The oblivious citizens don't know they're sitting on a gold mine. But then where's the rest of it? There's not that many deserts, chat. Maybe they'll respawn slowly. That might be it. But this desert seems to be the last hiding hole for the creosote bushes. I'm going to have to go steal some. What's the economy on coal? Uh, probably pretty, pretty heavy. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look here. Coal... Actually, it's not too bad. It's only 144 that somebody has excess of. Charcoal's pretty high. They got a lot of charcoal. Crushed coal is pretty good, but they haven't converted it to coal yet. 1,300 crushed coal. Yeah, so crushed coal, gigantic. But no one's converting that to coal as much. And I don't know how to do that. Ah, uh, the mills. I see. 
crushed coal and crushed mining rock. Crushed coal is used in steel bar recipe. Ah, that's what people are doing. They're setting up for advanced smelting. It's not been unlocked yet. Okay, cool. 1.3k crushed coal isn't enough. I'm out for some more. Oh my goodness, people are still going for more. So yeah, it seems like there's a lot of coal out and people are just wanting more and more and more. Understandable. Okay, what are we doing again? Oh yeah, going down to that spot. Can I do two birds with one stone? Because this area is close to where I go shopping, which is down here. Um, no crashes though, Ray. Not today. We're having every now and again a lag spike or whatever, but luckily, luckily no crashes. But welcome to the stream, man. Good to have you. Is anyone selling? There's somebody selling two compost. Um. Let's just change my price just to make sure it's not crazy. Yeah. Uh, what can I do? Sell trilliums? I don't have many trilliums. I ran out of flax fiber. Oh, I should probably farm my flax to make for flax fiber. I could make some money off of that. Eh. I'll deal with it later. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to bring corpses with me. Okay, chat, we bring out the car. We bring out the pollutionator. It's pollutionator time. Flag. Thank you very much. In the pollutionator we go because no one at all is buying my carcasses. I, I've been farming carcasses since day one randomly. And nobody freaking wants them. Because they're all horrible. So I'm going to go to the butchers and sell them to them. I have 49 coyotes. Because the coyotes just lie there and take it. They don't even care. So I'm going to go sell all these. How's the crab empire doing? We've we've ditched the crab empire, unfortunately, and gone into, um, gone into farming. And then I've also killed random wildlife along the way. So I've tried, okay. We haven't been able to exterminate the crabs, but I've been trying to kill everything randomly within sight. And now I'm going to profit off of it. I've made 20,000 flax seeds, and we're now going to go try and extinct a plant in the world. So you know what? We're trying our best. We are. I'm trying to remember what's the next plant we can extinct. So let me quickly log off. And log back in so it resets my chat bar to remind me what I can extinct. This is, this is like next level strats, chat. You constantly log out and log in to check the strats of the, the population of anim animals and plants. And then you go and see what you can kill. And corner the market on. It's genius. It's genius. <laughs> see, after I've gone into feeding the world, I've gotten rich, and I now want to destroy the world. It's just a natural progression. And when that fails, when I can't destroy the world, I will just corner markets for myself. And that's it. Extinct everything? If it wanted to survive, it would have been gunpowder. <laughs> Baron, exactly. Exactly. Imagine animals with guns. I mean, you don't have to imagine if you play Pal World, but animals with guns is a thing. If they wanted to survive. And nuke everything else, exactly. If they invented guns, just use nukes. We have to farm any of the humans. I mean, isn't that the like the premise of the Matrix? <laughs> It kind of is. If you, if you boil it down, it kind of is, Digrin. And I don't see the problem with that, as long as I'm not the one getting eaten. Not everybody gets eaten in the Matrix, so you're good. Yeah, glue. Glue is good for you. Most of us have eaten glue in our lifetimes. It's, it's yummy. It's great. See, I, on the other hand, I don't think I ate glue, ate glue when I was younger, but I definitely stretched it over my fingers and covered my hands in glue because it was fun. All right, server's been on for five days. There's a lot of active players. No admins are online. 
Uh, Lucian has gone up to 20 ppm. We can get that higher, boys. We can get that higher. If we drive around a lot, we can get it higher. Okay, how's the species looking? Plant species. Fireweed is extinct. I like to see that. I wondered why I could never see it on the map. Creosote bush population is 106. Wait, what? Its population went up? No. No. What did you do? Who did this? Pumpkins at 120. White Brissage. It was at 27 today. Who did this? Somebody did this. I think some farmer did this. I blame the farmers. Son of a biscuit. Can't ruin my evil domination ideas. Oh! <gasps> my own mayor! How could I not have seen it underneath my own nose? He's revived the population of Creosote. Damn it, and he claimed some of it too. Heard glue makes cheese stick to my pizza. <laughs> it definitely will. Son of a biscuit. Okay, our world domination got usurped by my mayor. He had to ruin everything. Uh, where's my tile thing? Because not everything is controlled. Where is it? There it is. How do we get elected to the mayor? Yeah, exactly. So the different tiles that are controlled by people. The mayor has only claimed a single tile in each of these zones so that nobody can steal all of his plants. He must have been the one that bought my flowers way back on day one. Or he bought it from the seed bank, because I might have sold some of them to the seed bank. I was a fool. I was a fool to sell some of those seeds. Damn it. What's our next best option? White Bursage. I don't know. Where is the white brassage? There's a little bit of it here. A little bit of it here. Oh, it's a desert plant. Oh, it's like a foliage plant. Or fo foliage. Oh, I've seen that before. That's going to take a bit of effort to clear out. But it's doable. But it's not like a plant that people can profit off of. It's just one of those, like, plant fiber plants. Yeah, spread your seeds and alimony will haunt you down the line. Ooh, it will. Don't you believe it. I mean, you should believe it. Pumpkins, though, I think people have. Alligators. We could kill all the alligators. It's only 122. Alligators are ancient creatures that have virtually remained unchanged for millions of years. And you and I, chat, can make a stop to it. The real question is, have weapons been invented? Damn it. No one's selling bows or buying bows? What? What happened to all the hunters on the chat? Chat, may I remind you? There is seven level seven hunters on this map. Seven. 
and none of them are outsourcing bows. Sheesh. Well, I can always ask one online to just be like, hey, can you make me a bow and be an accomplice to me extinguishing the alligators? I could ask. They wouldn't they wouldn't need to um know what I'm using it for. Where's the creosotes? Ah, they definitely saved the freaking plants. I had a I had a possibility, chat. I had a big possibility. I can't believe it went from 27 to 106. All right. Well, the white brassage is going to be annoying to do, but so is the alligators. What is the other easy ones to kill off? Everything else is just too high. Without a joint effort. We kill all the Joshua trees. It's a lot of trees to cut down. Old growth redwoods. That would piss off a lot of people if we cut those down. Yeah. Uh, let's just go alligators, I guess. Because there's not much to do. I mean, I wanted to go into some fertilizer stuff, but there's no real point. There's no point to do fertilizers. When my plants are infinite, um, hydroponics is a thing. This server makes things a bit too easy. That there's not much point in doing many things. <laughs> And when it comes to farming life, holy crap, is it a big life of just sitting around waiting for plants to happen. So, with my evil boredom and an extensive wallet, let's go kill some animals. Uh, but more, more importantly, let's get somebody to build me this. So lock is on, I think. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, I just realized something. If I get a fancy bow, I won't be able to repair it, will I? I'd have to go back to the person to repair it. Let me double check. That's one annoying thing in this game that I would love to see fixed, is a repair station. Wait, no, there is a way of doing that. You can lend out your repair stations in front of your house. God, you know what? Next time, I'm going to go somewhere that makes a repair station and make money off of people repairing at my place or something. There's got to be a way to make money off of that, to be efficient. But let me just quickly check. Recurve bow. It's repaired with flax. Damn. Okay, let's make our own bow. Let's do this the hard way. But also the easy way, because I don't want to rely on other people's stuffs. Because then I have to keep going back to them every time it breaks. Just buy a new one, trash the old one. Yeah, I'd like to do that, but nobody's selling them. It's the issue. I could ask him, though. I'll ask him just in case. Can't believe how active the server is. So many players last night and people still joining. It's the once in a year server. Oh, did we get lucky with this server timing that this server's only on once a year? Wow. Okay, nice to us, chat. We got to learn experiences once a year. Cool. Consume the earth? Exactly. I'll just keep trashing things. Um, but I will ask him. Let's go and get... Grubbinsdale. Is Bandit close to us? No. Smokey's logged out. Locke is logged in. Okay, let's just ask Locke. And he is... Oh, he's down here. That's not too bad. Recurve bows. It's always a good question to ask. Oh, you've returned. Hello. I know it's not that cold, but I'm sure you're good for fluffs. 2000 agave for composite bow. Do we have a deal? <laughs> exactly, exactly. He's a hunter. 
I have a ton of um, dead animals that I want to offload, and I've got a ton of lovely greenery that I want to offload. I'm sure you're okay with the um, the trade. It's a great trade. It's called bartering, chat. You have what they want, and they have what you want. Totally makes sense. <laughs> Is there a calculator? Can you see my big food prices are sustainable? Um, it's called math. <laughs> double check your price input, double check your price output, and that's economy. Make sure you're making either a slight profit or keeping close to neutral, and you're good. Well, usually you want a profit. Usually. And you should be set. Alright, where's the bows? I will make bows and arrows whilst I wait. Uh, I can make 200... Make 100 arrows. Fletchery tables are better. <gasps> are people selling arrows? Oh my god, the hunting business is useless! Does no one understand how important hunting is to exterminating the environment? It's like nobody cares, chat. Nobody even cares about killing things. Wait, do people undercut your prices? Uh, that's happened to me already, man. It's horrible. <laughs> it's absolutely horrible. But there's nothing I can do about it. Except what I did was I bought from the person who undercut me and sold it. Coming in like a meteorite? Yeah, I'm going to kill everything, man. It's easy. It's easy. But no, undercutting prices is, is not a bad... Th well, it is a bad thing for the economy, but you just... You just use it against the person. They undercut you, you buy from them. And then just make the profit. So, that's how I got rich. <laughs> Infinite wealth and build a bridge? You know what? It's very funny that you say that. But with my infinite wealth, I could actually buy more land. If you may notice already, chat, um, currently, there are plots about this size, this size. People are having some pretty okay plot size. That's the government plot. That guy's got a pretty nice sized plot in his land. There's some pretty good sized plots. Now, what I did is I took a little bit of an exploit. Okay, this guy's got some pretty good plots as well because he's a farmer. And farmers get a cool little thing. They get bonus plots for their farmlands. So, now, this doesn't look right color-wise, but it is. This is my land. This is my very first plot. Not too shabby. This is my other plot. Not too shabby. And then this is my plot. And that's all bought with farmer tokens. I have not used a single dollar out of my account to buy land. Whereas these people would have bought land with their actual money. So with my money, I could buy land. I could go and grab, actually, how much did they cost? I think it's 40 bucks. Why does one of those say a dollar? Oh, it's one farmer token. You, you made me panic. Yeah, that's that's how much I spent. The one farmer tokens. 40 bucks. Here we go. 40 bucks. There's also 51, $50 ones at Sandy Shores. Yeah. So for 40 bucks, I can get a single plot of land. And I have how much money? 2,640. So if I can run my calculator, because I'm too lazy to do math in my head. Uh, 26, 40, divided by 40. I can get 66 blocks of land with my current input. My current wallet. That's pretty good. It's not insane, but it's pretty good. So this block of land over here is how many plots? 69. So I could double this size with my current money. It's enough to make a gigantic bridge that's mine, and I could, like, tax people that walked on it. <laughs> Although that's a very useless build bridge to build. Nobody wants to go across that. Hey, Salsa, welcome to the stream, man. Good to have you. How could I, how could I try and... 
I would get in trouble because I think there's people doing road stuff and there's like a road money. People get paid to build roads, so building my own bridge might get me in trouble with the government. Ah, we'll think of something. Maybe we build a skyscraper chat to the moon. Yeah, we could do that. Because you want people to see it. Building underground is what I want to do if we ever make our own server. I want to turn into the miner that just builds, like, freaking mm, Minas Morgul. No, wait, is it Minas Morgul that's underground? The Mines of Moria. Just build the Dwarven Kingdom. But, if you want people to notice on a server that's as big as this, you build a skyscraper. Something they can't ignore, that's like in the render distance, always. So with my infinite wealth, I should try that. Also, I need to put this wood away. There we go. Keep making those arrows. Yeah. You want a fun fact on how I found the Reddit post on Lord Sword Lances? How did you do it, Salsa? I read the post. I didn't read every part of the post, but I did read a, a bit of the post. And it was very funny to read. I liked it. What's a fun fact, though? Okay, 40 is pretty good. Joshua seeds. We were thinking of cleaning out all the Joshua trees, so I may as well start. If we're going in for extinction chat, we may as well start. Is anybody... Oh. I'm going to be honest. I don't think anyone cares about the Joshua trees. I'm going to start extincting them slowly. Just, just without anybody noticing. There's just going to be less and less Joshua trees. This is all because we hate Joshua for some reason. <laughs> you sorted by most controversial, the community disagrees. Are you kidding me? You actually did that in Reddit? I didn't know Reddit was able to do that. That is funny. I like that. You can search Reddit by most controversial. Man, how many people on Reddit have no life? Like, honestly, honestly, if you can do that, I'm sure people would do that all day. I'm sure of it. That somebody would log on to Reddit for the day and be like, you know what? Let's see what's most controversial today. And then just go there for no other reason just to read the gossip or be a part of it. Not saying that that's what you do, Salsa. No, no, I'm not calling you out. But I'm saying that's very funny that's how you found the post. <laughs> just specifically that one post. For the lovely sword lances. But it's great. It's great that you saw it. And I did have a good laugh of it, for sure. For those who didn't see it, it's in the Discord. Um, it's about... The sword lances that we made fun of earlier today. Hey, 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 I still, to be honest, wait, someone's growing Joshua trees. They must come down. They must come down. To be honest, I, I still think sword lances are okay. Okay. I still think they're fine. I just don't think they're as overpowered as people want to believe. Yes, there was a, actually, to be honest, this is why you look at other sides of the table. You look at other sides of the coin. Because in that Reddit post, there was one thing that opened my eyes to being like, oh, that's a pretty cool idea. Because I don't do that build very often. But it is a strategy that people like to do in vanilla that's kind of meme and or meta. It's a meta build that I don't do, which is a full polearm frontliner. And I don't I don't like it. But I can see the value of it. And it's actually pretty strong. So, we might have to do more... Oh, whoops. Ignore that. I'll go pick it up later. Um, but that's the thing. Kill the tortoise. Wait, just the baby tortoise? Oh, that's, that's a snapping turtle. He's a big one. Thank you, snapping turtle. Uh, those are hard to extinct. There's a lot more of them out there. I think there's like 400. The tortoises, though, I'm trying. These little guys, I kill them all the time, just because it's a one-shot kill. But I think there's a ton of them. I'm going to be honest. How many normal tortoises out there? Uh, 
There's no changes since I last logged in. Okay, if you say so. Population of plants, animals. Aquatic, no terrestrial. Uh, tortoise. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to extinct the tortoises. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. But when it comes to the alligators, which should be aquatic. Yeah, there we go. Alligators, it's possible. Maybe. There's still a lot of them over here. Oof, there's a lot of them here. But that's only two per eight meters squared, so it might take a bit of effort. Defish the sharks. Uh, how many sharks are there in the world? Probably a ton. Yeah, way too many. Way too many sharks. Yeah, it confuses me why this game has extinction events when, like, almost nothing goes extinct. I think trees will be one of the easiest things to do. But I wonder, like, this is a pretty common area for alligators. It's probably going to be hard to clear up. But with little section... Wait, how are they on the ocean? 0 0.28 per 8 meters squared. I don't know how that works. Redwood protection laws are usually the first. Yes, redwoods. Makes the world feel alive. It does, but it also makes it seem impossible to extinct. At the same time, because they just breed. They breed so quickly. See, here's what I would love for settings in this game. I would like high pollution, low repopulation, which makes it easy to extinct things. Which means, well, not completely easy, but easy enough that you have to put in sanctions, you have to put in laws, you have to put in protection zones, like animal conservation zones. This game doesn't have that. I mean, you can do it. The possibility is there. I guess the possibility is there for due to pollution. Because um, pollution will start killing the animals. But there should be server settings. I've heard there's a lot of server settings. Yes. So I would definitely believe that lots of opportunity to allow those settings to be changed and adapted but to be honest this is a more casual server it's a once a year server so obviously getting things extinct wouldn't be super easy to do i will still consider trying to make a dent in this um lovely alligator population i want to see how i can do it i want to go to a spot and see if i can kill as many alligators as possible and see if that makes a difference because it's the lowest population of animals um, available, and I want to see if I can make a big dent. If not, then I'll be sad, but I can understand. Uh, there's all the arrows. Let's put all of you away. Let's put the Joshua seeds into our <laughs> into our stockpile to hold on to when everyone runs out of Joshua trees and they have to come to me. Uh, but there's my bow. I want to make a couple of bows because if they break, I could just like, if I have like five bows on me, then I don't have to come home as often to repair the bows. I need more animal plant fibers. Plant fibers are easily gotten from the jungle, so I'll go to the jungle, get some plant fibers, then go chop down a couple of trees. Yeah, we'll do that. This person's new, and he's already got iron... Oh! Sawmills and everything. You know what? I might... I'm rich. I'm gonna be nice to this brand new person who has got very little money. I will buy an iron axe from them, and I want to see if this is better for chopping trees. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for your help on the extinction. I appreciate it. You don't know what you did, but you're fueling me. You're fueling the extinction man himself. Also, how's that meteor going? Eh, it's taking its time. I think it's like 15 days or something still. But yeah, I think I figured out really quickly that the iron host sucks. 
absolutely horrible. Do you need do you make make curve bows? Also, can only a hunter repair them? That's the real question. Can a hunter repair the bows, but nobody else? Because that's annoying. Because if I can't repair my own bows, then I'm sad. I might just live with the crappy bow, because 20% damage is not that much. And alligators don't run very fast. Yeah. If there's a ability to wage war, this would just become a Minecraft server. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It has much better durability. <laughs> he doesn't know what I'm going to use it for. Um, but I've used a recurve bow before, and I'm pretty sure you have to repair it as a hunter. Whetstone. Oh, whetstone. Hmm. Does... Consume to repair iron hand tools. Um, uh, oh, it says iron tools. What's recurve made with? I'm just going to act like I don't know because I kind of remember. I think it's blacks. Uh, linen, no, flex, uh, it's linen, yarn or whatever, lumber, iron. Oh, wait, I, do you, wait, you might put iron with it. Oh, it might work. Then I can buy whetstones. Oh, go away. Sweet, then I'll grab a couple. Can I grab a couple bows off you? We'll pay well. Okay, TYVM. Which means I shouldn't make my extra five bows. Because he's just going to fuel... Once again, chat, these lovely enablers are just so kind on this server. When they're not exploiting you. And, um... It's fine. It's better he doesn't know. But in terms of waging war, there kind of is a slight way to wage war in this server. Um, I mean, not on this server. This server won't allow it. This server's too nice and hunky-dory. Uh, and also a bit strict to a certain degree, for everyone just to have fun because it's a yearly server. But, on normal-ish servers, because of the different settlements and without a one-world government, you can make trade wars, yes, to a degree. You can impose insane taxes on anybody who's not in your nation. You can take over key resources on a map. If you saw, the way you would do it is you'd set up server settings to where um, you would close off biomes to make biomes really small on like a small, small world. Because this is like a four kilometer world chat. It's not going to be easy to pollute. It's not going to be easy to have exterminations. But on a small world with overcrowding, you would totally do it like that. You would make a small world. You would have everybody um, corner off into their own sections. You'd have the biomes be small, the water be big. And then you would have towns fighting for locations. Cornering off super biomes, which makes... Without these weird hydroponics... Hydroponics breaks the game way too much. Uh, without hydroponics, you can't grow wet things in certain areas. So, like cotton. You can only grow cotton in swamps. So you'd immediately corner off the swamps for cotton. And for pumpkins. 
you would immediately corner off the snow biome for huckleberries. Like, for, for greenery sakes, and then for animal sakes, certain animals don't spawn in certain biomes as well, so you'd be like cornering off animals, and then resources are a bit more scarce in other areas. So if you cornered off the desert or the snow biome, you'd get a lot of mining. But another town that didn't have access to those areas because you had horrible trade laws and horrible taxes and not letting outsiders into your place, you would corner the market for these certain resources. Yeah, mercantilism, exactly. It'd be bureaucracy, capitalism, and, and trade wars. So that's what I'm trying to learn. How to make this game fun, competitive, hilarious when it comes to that sort of stuff. Build some server lore. And um, also see how far you can push it. Everybody plays games to have fun. And eventually, when you're having enough fun, you try and push the game a little bit. So, you yeah. know. Should have a team of five and upset the giant panda server? Oh, I mean, that would be way too easy. The giant panda server's dead. A team of five could easily take over the panda server, and they already did, though. That's the funny thing. They took over the mining area. And people were complaining about it. It's like, dude, the server's dying. There's not much to do. You're just gonna have to live with it. Yeah, piracy would be an all-time high, but that's the other thing. Like, what if, what if you had traitors inside of your village? And someone contacted one of your villagers and they said, hey, buddy, I know you have all the iron there. If you smuggle iron out of your civilization to my civilization, I will pay you a high price. Stop making this into EVE Online. <laughs> I've heard some stories about EVE Online, man. I've heard about it. There's some crazy stuff that goes on with that game. But no, like, this game has the potential. This game has so much potential to it. You just gotta play it the certain way you want. And, and I believe. I'm feeling like this current modding situation is a little easy on the eyes. A little easy on the gameplay. You collect things very simply. And that's perfectly fine. It's a good, relaxing gameplay. But if you wanted a bit more conflict, a little more interest... You could definitely set it up that way. Also, my inventory is full, so let's head back. There we go. But yeah, the, the, the law system is pretty convoluted in this game. You can punish people for littering. You can punish people for breathing, I think. Probably you can punish them for breathing. You can definitely punish people for not being in your civilization if they come to your civilization. Insane tax laws, like everything. Like, you can do so much stuff. You can disallow immigration. Like, once your server's set up, after, like, the fourth day or something, you can just completely cut off immigration for all people. And then everybody just has to live within their societies. Yeah. You really rain civilization in the rainforest, then die to smallpox? <laughs> Wouldn't we all? No one would survive. They got no doctors in this game. You sneeze once, and it's just curtains. Curtains. Roleplay Tri Tech and Star Sector. Exactly. You just corner the market, man. Corner all the markets. And use tech to aid you. I see nothing wrong with this. Nothing. In my new empire chat. <laughs> in my glorious empire. Oh no, I need to stop making those bows. Because the dude's actually gonna help me. Stop, stop making the bows. Stop. Thank you. Now I have too many bows. Oh well. Uh, I'll keep the axe on my hands so I can uh, murder the Joshua trees. I will take all of these arrows. Oh my god, I can carry so many arrows. <laughs> oh, this is going to be beautiful chat. We will kill. All right, how's our multiplier going? It's up. It's down to 70. Ooh, I've been eating bad food. I was up to like 80 or 90 at one point. That's eh, fine, I don't need any more stars. The guild is a medical profession. If you suck at your job, the whole town dies. Yep. The guild is pretty cool for that. I played as a medic on the guild. It was very fun. Um, but I did it to try to be nice to people. I wasn't trying to be evil. I know, for once. It feels weird. 
Also, how's Locke doing? Let me go double check his shop. Uh... Does he have a shop? Small canoe homestead. Why is it not showing me where he lives? He's here. That's weird. It wasn't showing me where he lived. Is he the one that does the beach bistro? No, that's JP. I'm the one that uh, likes to collect from him some good food. Where's Locke's shop then? Oh, it's these little ones. Yeah, okay, I've bought from these, I think, before. Wow, he's got a lot of hides. Crazy. No. He's doing aero bundle projects. Okay, understandable. I don't see him making the bows, though. He might need to get some resources. Alright, he'll let me know whenever, I guess. But yeah, it reminds me of RimWorld when I get useless artless. I can't do dumb labor. <laughs> you can't do your job, everyone dies. Yep. It's like when they can't do firefighting and they just have to watch the whole freaking town burn down. Then the last guy alive after your war party in RimWorld is fighting. And he can't do firefighting, so he just sits there and watches the world burn. What use is art? It makes your people happy. Two bows on the skin show shop. See why I'm on my way over. Oh, he's too kind, chat. So so innocent. So innocent and unexpected non expected. Uh, let's go and grab a bit more food for my inventory. Also, is there a way I can turn this car on and just leave it there? Because I will do it. I will do it, chat. Where's the rest of my wood? Uh, let's... is that the fireplace? That's the fireplace one. Dang it. It only uses when you're operating it. Crap. Ah, but it, it drives too slow. It's easier just to run places, so driving that thing is so inefficient. I'd love to try and drive around a bit more, but it's not going to be. Our pacifists are just funny because IRL, I'm a pacifist, is Blood Angel. Nice. <laughs> it just works. Oh, there's Joshua trees here. Wait, are they claimable? Damn it, he protected the Joshua trees. Why is my mare already protecting against extinctions? What's he got against extinctions, huh? Dang it. Okay, well... You can't save all the alligators, okay? That's for certain. I will find a way. The alligators cannot be safe forever. You can you can claim the trees. You can claim the darn bushes, but you can't claim the alligators. Also, this house sprung up in no time. Holy crap, who lives here? Oh, they're selling meat. And carcasses. Not a bad price. Also, I didn't check that little place. Nice. Me and Pierre suddenly don't have the D&D server anymore. It seems we got kicked without even being told. D&D server? What D&D server? You had a D&D server. On Roll20? What, what platform were you using? I didn't even know there were D&D servers in the world. I'm used to playing D&D &D in person, but I have seen things like Roll20 and stuff. You play with Fantasy Grounds with Discord. Is that official? Fantasy Grounds. Let me have a look whilst I put auto run on. Fantasy Grounds. Oh, Fantasy Grounds! Isn't that the thing you have to spend a lot of money to play on? No, or am I thinking of something different? Fantasy Grounds Unity. 
Wait, it's only 29 bucks? Oh, but it's DLC's gigantic. That's right. Holy fucking crap, chat. Yeah, that's the gigantic expensive one. Yeah, okay, let me turn off my auto run so I don't... Actually, no, I can keep it going. Let's just show chat. This is the one that I remember seeing ages ago. So Fantasy Grounds is the really nice looking one. It's got D&D traits. It's got D&D this. It looks beautiful. I've never seen it like this, but that looks pretty cool. Pathfinder, D&D, Starfinder, D&D Classic. It's $29.50. $29 and then all of the DLC is like $40, $40, $30, $20, $7.50. $21, $20, $30, $50, $30, $28, $40, $30. 40 and it just doesn't freaking stop. There's 3,000. 3,000 DLCs, man. 3,000. Yeah. So that's the one that I remember. Oh, I'm stuck on something. That's what I remember seeing before, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Oh, crap. I'm probably not going to buy that. Um, but yeah, if you've played it without all the DLCs, it's probably okay. It's probably, like, survivable without the DLCs. But I was just like, I don't really play online D&D that much. And for the little bits that I've needed, I've done either homemade stuff or Roll20, which is, I think, free according to my last memory. But yeah, I'm glad it's working for you, man. But it's weird that they have servers up, but you just got kicked from it. That's that's very weird. It's not FG's fault. That's just the official books and stuff. Oh, yeah. No, when it comes to like the uh, what you're saying, W.O.T.C., which is um, Wizards of the Coast. I was just trying to remember the anagram. Uh, they're pretty, pretty pricey, and the, the amount of stuff, the amount of content they've gathered over the years, it makes sense. Also, the person who did all this is pretty good at looking at it. Yeah, he's got some nice stuff. Yeah, it's by his bows. Thank you very much. Oh, he's only selling 15. Oh, that's not that bad. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it very much, Lee. Time to go murder, chat. DM doesn't want to the game anymore, I guess. Oh, wait. Oh, the DM kicked you out. Were you playing regularly? Were you missing sessions? Prefer your to own physical books, but the only person needs the digital stuff to use it online. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. When it comes to physical books, it's a bit nicer. I like having apps on my phone. Uh, I just like the quick accessibility of it. I still like the physical books, but I don't... I don't think I own any physical books. No, my friends do. They have the physical books. You didn't miss any more than anyone else? Weird. They could have just pulled the plug. D&D &D is very... Very unreliable, because it's built around people playing for certain times of the day, certain schedules, and if nobody shows up and people start waning off, or the DM loses interest and stuff, or people lose interest, it's... You gotta get a good group of friends, that's the thing. That's why I also don't really like playing it online as well. Because you're not... Unless you have really good friends over the internet, it's just not gonna be stable. Yeah. Was that a bison before and a wolf? Yep. There's a lot of cool animals here, but I'm not here to kill them. I'm here to murder the alligators. But I'm to PZ. PZ, I've been weaning off a bit. I'm not. I, I might be slightly dying because of the zombie curse. I'm not sure if the if the zombie slash twenty five percent got me. I might be, but with PZ, it's just it's just so laggy to play it, man. It's really a struggle. I don't hate PZ. I don't hate the server. I think the server is difficult to play on with my current settings. Not my current settings. My connect connectivity and the server connecting to me problems, but don't hate the game. Yeah. Don't even play IRL, and it's really hard to find people online. I agree, Blood Angel. I agree. It's not the easiest thing to do. Not everybody else has a good passion for D&D. Some people play it for different reasons. Some people just don't like it all, and some people just want to play a little bit. That was a big ass Australian <laughs> Wait, ass Australian was a term that wasn't allowed? Australian. I love it. Yeah, no, there's actually tarantulas in the game too, but you can actually kill them. They don't give you anything because it's not 
Because this game's still in development. I know, it's the weirdest thing to remember. This game still has so much more it wants to do. And the developers are bringing out free updates with, with a bit of time in between, unfortunately. But they're still bringing out free updates constantly to the game. And they're hoping, hoping to bring out a 1.0 um by next year i think it is crazy to think it but yeah i think this game's got some good potential to it in the right hands with a good amount of settings with the right community you could really do some crazy stuff um also how's my arrows going wait do i bring the corpses back i should Okay, keep the arrows at home. Maybe take 156 arrows for our first trip. Put the normal bows back. Put this back. Go buy the whetstone, and I want to test if the whetstone works. Because the new guy in town is a blacksmith, and I mean, never had a blacksmith before in town, according to my memory. I will buy the whetstone. I will want to see if this works. See, there's a tarantula. You can kill it, but it doesn't do anything. But murdering for the sake of murder, chat. Dang it, I can't shoot on his homestead. Missing to miss, exactly. I Because I have a slight amount of lag. You gotta aim a little bit ahead of the thing. I know it's still on the homestead. 1.8, not bad. 1.2, okay, tarantula's dead, and then when you try and pick it up... Stop running away, it says the carcass has nothing to pick up. So killing tarantulas is just for the fun of it. But there's so many of them, it's hard to extinct them. Very hard. Okay, chat, we're on the lookout for alligators. There are some alligators around these parts, I've seen them before. We need to put it up on the, here we go, population map. Yeah, there's supposedly a lot here in the desert. But you gotta find them. And they don't always spawn in. Mm -hmm. Come on, Mr. Alligator, where are you? It's a lot of bison, which is nice. There's a coyote. But extinctions don't happen overnight. They need to be orchestrated. Where's my stinking alligators, dude? Do I have to kill everything but alligators so they spawn in? Probably have to do that. That's annoying. And yes, the stupid, the stupid sheep have horns that reflect the shots that you do. Thank you very much. You can extinct creatures in this game? Oh yeah. It just takes a lot of effort. Because this is a big server. And uh, on smaller servers with a different types of settings, It'll definitely be easier to extinct animals. But on this one, it might be a little tricky, but I still want to have a go. Okay, I can't sink down. I might be lagging slightly. Oh yeah, I am lagging slightly. Mr. Otter. Need to move out of the way, buddy. Might be the lag. Okay, thank you. I am sorely disappointed that I've not seen an alligator here. I've seen them previously. This this is not a big area for alligators, but 
I think the game soft caps the amount of animals on screen at one point. Which also makes it hard to exterminate them. Yeah, most of my arrow friends have moved away or joined the army. Yeah. When people grow up and people move apart, it's tough to keep together. But if you can get those types of people into like an online D&D, that kind of works. But it, once again, if you're in different parts of the world, time zones, timing, yeah, I can understand it, Blood Angel. I can understand. It sucks. This game's janky. It is a little janky. This game's not built for combat. And look, chat, here's the fun part. Okay, can I sink? It's not letting me sink. But I'm able to shoot arrows at a shark, though. Why is control not working? Add labor 3,000. Oh! I changed it. Okay, let's, um, let's do shift. And then we put control back to sneaking. Okay, that's better. Oh, there we go. I gotta stop changing my settings. Uh, I wanted to find stuff I to see if you'd contact me instead. I haven't heard it for years. Also, my child with nice respect. You seem like you have a lot of interesting situations there, uh, Blood Angel. It's definitely enough to be interesting. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to comment on that much more. And we got a shark! Which is weird, because we're in the desert, but fair enough. Alligator extermination plan is not working as well as I'd hoped. Can I find an area where alligators are like super thin? Because this is not a super thin area. I want to wipe them out from like at least one small area. There's a lot of them here. They really spread through the swamp. This swamp. I could kill them off in this area, but I think they're probably going to have laws against hunting. Hmm. Yeah, probably. Can't a guy just completely destroy an ecosystem? Is it that hard, chat? Yeah. Okay, I'll run into the jungle and see if they've got a few kills for me there. We'll see if we can dent them a bit. Hmm. Just promise you won't hurt the foxes, Rosh. Uh, yeah. You yeah, don't don't look at any of my previous streams. The fox is one of the easiest things to hunt. <laughs> I may... Oh, also, you probably shouldn't look at my... Um, yeah, we played as a hunter last... Last... Um, last server. And the foxes and the wolves are the easiest things to hunt. Completely. One headshot and they just popped. Completely into my backpack. But yeah, I totally didn't hurt them. They willingly went into the backpack, my good man. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. I never was able to kill the fox population. There were plenty, plenty extra, even when I was a hunter. God dang it, where are these flippin' alligators, man? No wonder they're easy to extinct, but they're hard to extinct because there's not many of them. But whenever I've been around these areas, I've seen alligators. They are, there he is! They are real, chat. You wanna fight me? You wanna fight me? That's what I thought. That's what I thought, dude. You can't. You can't fight me. That's one alligator down, chat. Another... how many? 200 to go? <laughs> no, it's like 100-something. 
It's not that many, but they're spread across the world. So it's a little tricky. Stop killing all the animals. Hey, 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 hey. Maybe they should fight back. Hello, alligator. Yeah, come on. Fight me, dude. Fight me. Okay, that was a cool ragdoll. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's a snapping turtle. That's not an alligator. That's an alligator. This is where they all are, chat. Look at this. We found him. And they're very good at ragdolling. It's a very funny ragdoll. Let's do a barrel roll. Do a flip. Okay, it seems like they're wandering from the jungle a bit. No, that's not a ragdoll. It's not an alligator either. Oh, 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 there's one at my feet. How did I step on you? You know, casually living in Australia, stepping on alligators. We got crocs down here, though. Thank you. You know, stepping on extinct animals is fine. <gasps> that's compost. I didn't bring my... Dang it! Didn't bring my shovel. No compost for me. Stop killing the poor pup amp swamp puppies. They are swamp puppies. But if this game was a bit more violent, they would be killing me, so... I don't think you'd be complaining if I was the one dying to the swamp puppies, would you, Sins? Why did you bring a prego goat? Oh, no, 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 that's not a prego goat. That's a baby goat. So I killed the bighorn sheep, and on a chance of killing um, animals, there's a chance you steal the baby from the mother's womb. Apparently, even if it doesn't have one. Uh, and then that's used for ranching, because that's a mod. And ranching's a way to do animal husbandry. Which is a thing that the developers said they were already going to do for 1.0. Uh, but some people modded it in already. As a thing. I've not tried it. I could try it, because I have a spare star. And I don't want to go into fertilizing, because I'm bored. I've already got way too much greenhouse and way too much greenery. Farming's way too overpopulated for this game. So I will jump into something new. And I could actually go into Animal Husbandry. I could try it out. I know a handful of people are going into it as of late. Um, which is... There it is, ranching. There's three level sevens already. So I mean, there's no market for it. Oh, he said no worries. There's no market for it, but it could be something cool to look at to see if it's worthwhile enjoying. Breed the swamp puppies? I could try. If I steal a baby alligator... I don't even know if baby alligators are a thing. Baby agoutis are a thing. Chat, I could, br I could extinct the alligators and breed them. I could corner the market on alligators. Oh, that would be a monumental task. But think of the profits. Think of all the people coming to the zoo to see that I single-handedly destroyed all alligators known to existence, and I'm the only one who holds the last few for breeding. That's some Jurassic Park crap right there. <laughs> Except he didn't really kill the- I mean, he didn't have to do the killing part, but it's implied, Chad, it's implied. Okay, coyotes in the jungle doesn't make sense. Where's my alligators? Somebody built a road here, very nice. Mm, alligator, alligator, where did you go? It shouldn't be in the desert like this, but on the fringes of the biomes, it seems to be where these animals are wandering, so... It's probably worth checking. What's that? It's a coyote. Jaguar. More compost, because I am could have been me that made the mess. Mm hmm. Yeah. 
Let's see if we can do this all. Just hunt for alligators in its natural habitat. This also actually improves my field of vision slightly. So I can catch it. They blend in with the color of the trees. Maybe I should cut down every tree in the jungle and then I can kill all the alligators. <laughs> Chat, there's always a solution. It might be a convoluted, effort-filled solution. But there will always be a solution. Lots of bighorn sheep. Lots of jaguars. I wonder how many of those are in the world. But yeah, alligators are the scarcest. And you can definitely tell there's there's not many here. But they do like the beach usually, so I'll just I'll check the beach again. And I'll also check to see if we made a dent in the population. Mm, it looks a slightly dented. It's not much. Still says there's a lot on the beach side of it. A little bit of the water. I don't know how to deal with that. When it says there's like 0 0.49 per meter squared, that means there's maybe like a couple randomly wandering the ocean. That's going to be really annoying to get rid of. Excuse me. Also, I haven't harvested my wheat or my beets yet. Eh. Not the best biome to grow it in anyways, but it's still a good biome. I was able to grow some wheat and some beets. Obviously, hydroponics would just be Super easy to do. Yeah, on random occasions, you can see things floating on the water, so I will check the water as well as we walk back this way. No, nope, that's a snapping turtle. Anything under the water? <gasps> oh, I should have checked under the water. They're aquatic animals, chat. Why did I not think of this? Alligators know how to swim. Genius snow, why didn't you check the water? That's why it was showing blue icons on the ocean. Swim. The sneaky little suckers. How many more of you people are swimming? Now I can't go too deep. If I go to the deep ocean, I'll kill myself with a uh, calorie reduction. But we may as well keep looking in the water area. Because we just might find one more. Just can't go too deep. Uh-oh. Am I out of calories? <gasps> oh no, I'm out of calories. Oh no, I'm gonna drown. I should have thought about this. I'm not a good hunter. Eh, get me to land, get me to land, get me to land. Okay. Whew. Yeah, okay, I gotta remember. My character is very inefficient at doing things that are not part of my, um... Not part of my class, so I will be using up a lot of extra energy. Hey, Slim, welcome to the stream, man. Good to have you. 
Good to have you indeed, man. We are on a super secret mission. That is totally not allowed. We may be on an extinction event, but yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to write home. <laughs> Nothing to write home about. But if you see any alligators, do let me know. <laughs> just there's just a few that need to be reduced. I mean, I was thinking of extincting. There's some other ones that are easier to deal with, but the alligators is the best animal one we could possibly do. Uh, we were going for the crayout bushes, but my town mayor decided that he wanted to protect them. He did a very mean job of that. Protecting the last of them. I almost got rid of all those crayout bushes, but then I forgot. Um, and then I was like, okay, maybe we could maybe get rid of Joshua trees, but he protected some of those too. And then I was like, okay, well, trees are kind of okay. And then alligators are good, but we can't find any. They're just... It's all red in this area, and we killed, like, how many? We killed six of them. There's still more hiding. I think the server doesn't like, to, or just any part of the game, doesn't like to bring all the animals out at once. Yeah, you did, you did. You did a good job <laughs> saving the extinctions. So, for people who are unaware, I think Slim Trico's our mayor for the town. Yeah. So he's definitely saved everything that he tried to. I'm also bad at hunting. Yeah, my character doesn't have any hunting skill, so I shouldn't be doing this. But it's funny, so I'm trying. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'll have to kill more things than just the um, than just the alligators to make things spawn. So I'm gonna go over to the water's edge and just kill like little things. Last season we flooded. Oh my goodness, you actually did. I heard this server's like a yearly server thing, is it? Do correct me if I'm wrong. You want to prevent it from being flooded? Dang it, you ruin all the fun. And here I was going to leave my car on all day and all night just to get extra pollution. <laughs> 30 days? Oh, this server resets every 30 days. Then why did I read in somebody saying this chat is like, the chat said this was a yearly event of this server. Then I was completely wrong. I apologize, chat. I thought that somebody in chat was right. Not ch not my chat, the, the game chat. Come here, you stupid wolf. I hate big horns. I hate them so much. That stupid ting sound is the worst. Okay, yeah, I'm a very bad hunter, I know that. We tried it last a while, but people die after industry. Oh, that makes sense. People die off after industry. People don't come and play as often. And also the pup, the puppy, the population, not the population. The PPM, parts per million. Pollution. Population is not the same word as pollution, Snow. Uh, that would probably go up insanely in industry. Yeah, that makes sense. Once kids just come out, meteor goes bye-bye. People leave. Oh, well, that makes sense. The server continues even after the meteor. Oh. Well, no wonder people leave. There's nothing else to do. Stupid jaguar. Oh, come on, that should have hit. God, I am bad at this. Maybe I should go hunting, chat, just to go for the extinction. Maybe I should, because I have a free star. I'm not doing anything with it. I probably should just go hunting. Some of us stay in play. Ah, understandable. There is little so as you continue to build it lol, not trying to find not try from pollution or extinction. It would be interesting to see if the game naturally, with all the pollution, gets extinction to happening. Because from what I've seen in the early stages of um, maps, because I've not gotten to Industrial Age yet, that it's very hard to do bad things. It's very hard to ruin the world. But I assume that over time... Thank you very much. Oh, come on! 
I'm so bad at hunting. And I hate rabbits. I hate them. I'm assuming over time, it gets easier to kill things off. Depends on the world side, how many people on the server. Yep, that makes sense too. I think this world's like four kilometers or something, isn't it? It's huge. One of the biggest, I think that four kilometers is the biggest size. Last one was a 1k, a lot of people got in my town. Ah, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yep, that makes sense. A 1k world would probably be a lot easier to kill off. Which is what I was thinking would be very funny. Oh, he's dead. And you're not. You know what? Screw it. We hunt the jaguars as well. Uh, the lag. There we go. Oh my goodness. It's so hard to track monsters in this. Yeah. I like the bonus headshot when I'm playing as a hunter. But in the jungle. Tracking could be a little bit better. Yeah, first time struggling with money being a carpenter. Yeah, when it's a big server, there's just so much resources, man. And the mods make it way too easy to play. Yeah, if they start first with mods, yep. There is a major advantage to people that get up a big industry going. The catch-up mechanic is still okay. I think the game with the trucking side of it is decent. Where you can just, like, ferry goods and earn money off of that. It won't help your industry, but it'll help your pocket to maybe set up an industry. Nice. Works best when you have a group of friends. Yeah, that too. That too. People working together and buying from each other. Exclu well, not maybe exclusively, but like trying to work towards a common goal. Especially on a bigger server, that would make sense. Yeah. Uh, why are you guys killing jaguars? They're gorgeous animals. The jaguars are gorgeous animals, but they're taking up space for my darn alligators. Also, I need to double check how many jaguars are in the world, because maybe I could go crazy with this. Jaguar, 615. Nope. <laughs> There's no way I clean up the Jaguars. There's no way. Alligators is 122. It gained one since we last logged in. But we just killed six. So we're working on alligators and doing a great job. The Jaguars are just in the way. And once again, I don't think I've seen another... Stinking turtle. Uh, another alligator. Which is annoying. Hmm. Maybe I check the ocean again. There was one hiding in here earlier. Yeah. That's what some are doing. You've worked to get the feed the entire survey, you'll never fail. Yeah, they're kind of doing that. Um, my job as a farmer is completely just like obsolete. I've made too much produce, and everyone else is making too much produce. The hydroponics is way too easy. I didn't realize how good hypotronics were, so I never used them. But I'm seeing other people use it, and it's just... It's so strong. And it's so AFK compared to normal farming. My farming was so much effort. <laughs> and a lot of waiting. That's the other good thing. It was a lot of waiting, so I could just do a bit and then just leave it. But with the hydroponics, it's even easier just to leave it behind. Yeah. Different jobs get supply everyone. Yeah, different jobs is good. I, I went farming because I didn't think anyone in the farm town was. I could have been wrong with my initial assessment. But when I initially looked at the town when I joined, I didn't think there was a farmer. So I was like, oh, great. There's no farmers here. I could be a farmer. And I kind of was correct. But at the same time, like food wasn't a big issue. Only have the scene because the greenhouse mod we made ourselves was broke because the updates. Oh. 
Interesting. Interesting indeed. Yeah, update 10 must have changed a few things. Maybe in some of the smaller updates too. Dear God, where? Where? It's one alligator per eight meters squared and they're not anywhere. It shouldn't be this hard to extinct animals, man. Just murder. Murder! They're nowhere. Oh, Grace of Bush. Where did that come from? They're repopulating. No! I was so close. The world was down to 27 crayo bushes. And then they boomed right back up to 100 due to a couple of people's efforts. So now when he sees automation, they're taking our jobs. Exactly! They're taking my jobs! To be honest, I automated 20,000 freaking flax seeds, so I took people's jobs as well. But they're taking my other jobs. <laughs> How dare they? Yeah. We have a mod that you have to build a greenhouse from scratch. It uses heat lamps, spring system, and greenhouse glass. But since the update messed up, they got to fix it. It's going to take time. So people won't have to want to place it. Oh, yes. No, I've seen that. I heard someone talking about it. And I also saw it in the F1 server infos. I think there was one that explained. Um... Was it somewhere that explained greenhouses being super fancy? And I was like, no, they're not. They're just, you just put it down and you just do it. So I see what you mean when you're saying it's, um, oh, where was it? It was here. It was under mod documentation. Here we are. What does a greenhouse do? It allows you to ignore temperature and moisture. How to create a greenhouse. It needs to be conditioned, be great. Room area needs to be a tier of this, means a certain amount of glass, this, 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 this. And I'm like, no, you don't. You just plop the piece of thing down on the ground and it works. So that's the confusion that I had when I was reading that. It's because the mod's broken. Ah, so it's a bit more complicated to make a greenhouse. But it's still possible, though. That's the thing. It's still There's still a way of circumventing the natural order of things. Fair enough. Our glassworks will make the glass for basic engineering, made the heat lamp and sprinklers. So that means a few jobs are out of jobs for that reasoning. Fair enough. But I mean, still, to be honest, the glassworks is still needed to make the greenhouse. I have one outside my house. Um, because Budgie made one for me. And it's pretty cool. But I can't make the compost for it, because it's super hard to make compost at the moment. Excuse me. Okay, these alligators aren't real. I I'm declaring alligators extinct, okay, chat? They're not real. They can't hurt you. There's this no more. There's a different case I'm also make a dumpster. I made a dumpster, but it doesn't work. And the admin told me how to do it. He told me you just have to leave it out. So, yeah, the dumpster only makes spoiled food. I'll have to go double check my dumpster at home, but I'm pretty sure it just makes spoiled food. I had a bunch of stuff spoiling earlier. Alright, we'll do one more lap chat in this area that's supposedly mediocre of alligators. It's a bunch of lies and deceit. It's a lot of sharps. Yeah. Didn't fix that either yet? No. And there's a littering tax to dropping things in town. So when I tried to make compost the first time by just dropping it on the floor, I got taxed a couple times and I'm like, this is a very mean way to do this. Never able to make compost. But then um, the admin told me to do it outside of towns, and then uh, I talked with the chat. And they said that there's ways that you can do later in the game with, like, cooking to create compost. So cooks can eventually make compost with, like, sinks and stuff. So that seems pretty cool. A way to allow you to create a bit more. Yeah. Don't you also garbage collection to come and pick up your trash? Cool. I didn't know that was a thing. I know that spoiled meat, uh, spoiled food is good for 
uh, fertilizers, which is why I cared about the compost to begin with, because I was looking at going into fertilizers, because I'm like, okay, fertilizers could be good, and also could be good for the greenhouses, because of the current greenhouse mod that we have. I was like, okay, we could try and get into that, and then I just, it was just, it was too annoying. Because I left this stuff out, and it's taking forever to rot. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go home, check the dumpster, and see if it's working. I'm pretty sure it just turns it to spoiled. If not, then the dropping on the floor is the problem. That would take forever. Want to live inside because his skills are trash? They <laughs> live inside the dumpster. <laughs> Thank you, Diagon. Thank you. I'm not saying no. I mean, if there's a bed of something, I'll take it. That's not Oh, no, no, that's fine. Not, not your problem, Trico. Not a problem, man. It's perfectly fine. Like, someone left some random stuff inside my stockpile. I don't know why. That's not my stuff. Uh, let's check my dumpster, though. It should be over here. Yeah. Just can't accidentally the rules against it. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, no, it just went spoiled food. See, I put organics in here. I put flax stems. I put some plant fibers. And I put a bunch of flax seeds, and it turned into spoiled food. That's it. You thought that stuff was mine? No, no, that's not my stuff. <laughs> I have that, um, okay. What's my stuff is everything within this area. The stockpile is mine, and the two bits of dirt are mine to set up for fertilizers if I wanted to get into it. But the stuff inside the stockpile, I don't know. I don't remember having this piece of ham. I only bought two wood carts, so that's, that's not my wood cart. And I've never collected sand in my life. So that, that puzzled me when I logged in today for the stream, and I'm like, I guess nobody wanted that. <laughs> you can have it because it's public? Nice. I, I'll just put it in the rest of my stockpile then. I may as well just yoink that. Thank you kindly. I'll eat the ham too, because my character thinks it's okay. So we will have a piece of ham. Nice. All right, you know what, chat? You know what? I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I could maybe go into hunting to start killing more stuff. There are so many hunters in the world. So little alligators. See, I would go into hunting if I could find these alligators. If they were possible, if they were visible, I would consider hunting them. But, like, the heat map says, there is... 0.77, almost one alligator every eight meters squared, which is every tile? A tile is five blocks, so I don't know what eight meters squared is. Maybe it's a bit more than a tile. But there's no alligators. They're invisible. Oh, there's a creosote bush. No, it's all repopulating. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. Putting stockpile outside your property is public to everybody. Oh yeah, it is. I didn't care about that stockpile. I didn't care about it. I put that stockpile there expecting someone to steal it or use it or whatever. I don't care. I use that stockpile as a cheat code to get to my roof. So I don't have to climb inside my house. <laughs> That's what I was using it for. So that mini stockpile, I don't care what people do with it. Yeah. Diagram, what'd you do? Making on animals inside allowed, but it costs 50 currency every kill. Oh, God. I mean, that's the way of stopping extinctions. Don't tell him to do that. That's ruining my plans. See, that's the thing. I went, I, I know there's a way that you can cheese it so you can try and get extinctions, but it's really hard because you can just chase animals off of a property. Because I played hunting on my last server. We played on an official server that died after a bit. So I never got to late game, because just the server just went dead. But we played hunting, and I figured out some little hunting tricks to cheese it. And uh, hunting's fun. Not super profitable, but it's fun. And butchery's okay. Slightly more profitable. But yeah, killing animals and all that stuff's pretty cool. But uh, it's annoying when you can't hunt on people's properties inside towns. So all you do is you just shoot the animal. It says, oh no, you can't shoot here. The animal gets spooked and you just run it out of town. Obviously, if you're in the center of town, it's going to take a lot of effort, but you don't kill it on the property. Therefore, you don't have to pay the $50 fine and you can just chase it out of town. It's fine. It's a win-win for everybody. 
extinction happens, the person still gets his loot. Nothing to worry about. But yeah, it does seem like I am I am struggling. Fish traps, eh? These are not my fish traps, but they're public at this point in time. I could steal from them, but nah, it's fine. You know how to snow can't plant hog a plant to extinct it? Yeah, that's why. I tried. I almost had it. I almost had it too. I did it by accident. That's the funniest thing. As a gatherer, I went, okay, the best way to level a gathering is to gather everything. So I went through our entire desert and picked up like everything. And I accidentally almost pushed the creote to extinction. And then was like, wait, I could totally. And then you you cornered that little spot. <laughs> I had a lawn town that allowed you to pick up it up, but my laws got deleted, so I had to redo them. Forgot that one. It was only if you're Hunter 3. Oh, interesting. So no normal person like me right now could just go hunting. Yeah, laws are pretty cool. They're really flexible. And they can do exactly what you want them to do. Sometimes a bit too strongly. Yeah, Hunter's level 3 and above. Cool. Definitely interesting to do that. So they would have to go and outsource their hunting, but then they could hunt back at town if they wanted to. But to be honest, when it comes to hunting, it's always better to hunt outside of towns anyways. It's annoying to run through streets. Animals, some... Most of the time, animals don't like being around towns. It's convoluted. Running in the middle of nowhere and hunting animals is just so much easier. I mean, the jungle sucks. I've learned this firsthand today. Jungle is the worst freaking place to hunt. Screw all these trees. But hunting everywhere else is very fine. Very fine indeed. Yeah. So, I, I've never chosen the track your, an, track your animal trait. But if I lived near a jungle, I would totally take it. Because I'm like, who would take this trait? No one needs to track your animals. And then today, it's like, where'd that freaking jaguar? He's sitting in my freaking fields, dude. Go away. That's what I thought. But yeah. Unless you're Hunter 6. Yeah, the Hunter 6 is the one that gives it to you. Yes. So Hunter 3 gives you the 50% ammo save. And then Hunter 6 gets you either the 50% headshot bonus damage and or or the tracking. Yeah, till you go to the jungle, exactly. All right, well, alligators are non-existent. So much for our extinction shot. I, I can't even think of a better way to go extincting. Uh, probably the trees. Because you don't have to hunt down trees. Trees are just always there. But, as stated previously, our lovely residential mayor has decided to save some. So I can only go so far. Also, let me fix this inventory up. There we go. You go here. You go here. Okay. There, there. Keep the corpses good. There we go. There we go. Uh, what else am I missing? Yeah, the babies. Yeah, I never got a baby alligator. That's, uh... We've got baby bison, baby hares, baby turkeys, baby agoutis, and baby bighorn sheep. But sadly, nothing more. Next trees, next lull up, I mean, the big redwoods that's federal, you gotta be logger four. Oh, nice. Is that actually a law on the server? If you're logger four, you can cut them all down. I mean, there's a lot of them, so it would be tricky. The easiest trees to cut down is the, uh, the Joshua trees. That's the lowest population that we've seen on the server. Uh, here we are. Current population. Joshua Trees, 214. Redwoods is at 366, so it's a little bit higher, but still possible. Alligators at 122. Fireweed is extinct. I did not expect that. But fireweed is extinct on the server. But it's not completely extinct. Because I have some fireweed in my inventory, and I know someone else has too. So technically, fireweed is extinct. But it can be revived very easily. 
Cryostotes were revived, which sucks. Uh, White Bursage is, or Bursage, uh, that is just crappy plants with um, plant fibers, so it's not really needed. Pumpkins, I don't know how to deal with that. Uh, salmon and trout, those are hard to get rid of. The Amanita mushrooms. Yeah, I'd say Josh was the easiest thing to get rid of. Yeah. What happens if everything becomes extinct? Uh, the world just goes into chaos and everybody dies. Because um, pollution can reduce things. So over here is the info of what's happened since I've been last logged on to the server. It tells you how long the world is, how much population is, meteor impacts in 16 days and 22 hours. But it also shows you all the changes. So things are populating, things are breeding behind the scenes, things are dying because people are killing them. And if things no longer are in the world, you can't use them for food or resources. And then the population, uh, the once you start killing all the trees and stuff, they act as a buffer for pollution. And then the sea levels rise. So yeah, sea level rising is bad. Uh, where did I see that before? Oh, there was an explanation on pollution. Uh, eco development? No, not eco development. Plants? No. Did I happen last season? I mean, that's it's so funny to think about that. Ecosystem? Pollution. Here we are. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Fudge. Uh, I need to go into the car. The car tote tells me about it. Here we go, here we go. It shows it in the car. I knew it was somewhere. Okay, so CO2 emissions from this powered cart is 0.02 ppm per hour when enabled. That's really small. That's not going to do anything. Um, total, total CO2 per day is 427, including all of humans plus normal life. Pollution adds 47.24. That's gone up. Wait, when did that go up? Oh, it's starting to get a little bit polluted. Nice. Mechanics came out today, that's why. Oh, is Mechanics actually started? Oh, people are actually working on it. When did that start? It is day six. Actually, what does it say on the server? Day five and one hour. Oh! So when we re-logged at 9 o'clock, which was like 40 minutes ago, that's when the server ticked over to the next day, and people jumped on mechanics. 4.20 EST time. I live in Australia, so I, I don't get the numbers correctly. But nice. Okay, so people are on mechanics already. And that's going to pump up the uh, pollution immensely. Maybe I don't have to kill the environment. I'll let other people do it for me. <laughs> but yeah, so animals across the world give plus 25 ppm per day. That's not much. But previously, our pollution used to be very low. See, it's 4.47 ppm global lifetime. So over the past five days, we've gotten like less than one ppm per day. Animals have given us 25, so 25 times 5 is 125. The fact that pollution went up to 47 within not even two hours... Also, somebody's parked into me. I blame the mayor. No, I blame Budgie. Okay, I can blame both people. <laughs> hey, Budgie. You're trying to add the pollution. Nice. What you got? <laughs> what you got? You got a cool car ready for some pollution. Actually, we need to get the better cars to keep going more pollution. It's going to be great. You just ran out of fuel. <laughs> I can put some fuel into my... Um... Here you go. This stuff's super cheap anyways. You can take the wood from here, man. I'll be nice. Hey. Save you some dollars. Actually, wait, I put it in my inventory. I'm an idiot. There we go. Cactus. Cactus fuel. Cactus fuel's good for you. Anyways, to explain, um, going from less than 1 ppm per day to 47, it's now 83! It just doubled! Okay, I can see how maybe your last world, um... <laughs> okay, um, obviously minus 500 from plants is good. 
But if you cut out all the plants in the world and start chopping them down, that's going to make a difference. But we have a buffer. The buffer of the plants is 500. So we're getting 391 now per day. Going to start planting some trees? I might start cutting some trees, chat. Um, so yeah, if you start beating that 500 threshold, I think it is, from the plant buffer, then you start going crazy. So here we are. Temperature rises one degree for every 20 ppm past 340. And we're at 391. Wait, does that mean... It says negative 391. Oh, because we're not above 340. Okay, okay. When it's positive 340, we're still at negative 39 because we're at... Oh, okay, I thought that was positive 390. Never mind. I, I can do math. I can do math. Okay. Already on it? No, no, don't plant trees. No, don't tell the mayor to plant trees. I already planted trees. I'll cut down his trees. I'll do it. It's public property. He can't stop me. They're right here. I'll do it. I'm cutting his trees. These stupid Joshua trees I wanted to extinct. There we go. It's gone. It's gone. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? <laughs> oh no, I can't chop that one. It's it's on a homestead. Wait, can I chop this one? Yes, I can chop this one. And by god, this iron axe is actually pretty good for chopping trees. Those are pretty nice. See, I'm foiled again because I can't chop all of his Joshua's. And you know, Budgie, running into the tree doesn't help. <laughs> it doesn't chop it down, but I will fix it for you so you can drive past. There you go. There we go. There you go. Now he can drive past. He's all safe. And is that a dead rabbit? Did you run? Did you run over that rabbit, Budgie? You're doing your part. Good on you, soldier. That's one less bunny in the world. <laughs> Crap, I can't chop these ones down. No. No. Crap. Stinking eight trees survive. You saw that? Wait, you saw nothing. You saw nothing. The mayor does not have eyes everywhere, chat. We can get away with things, okay? Don't believe his lies. He can't stop us all. We have the power to rebel. Chat always has the power to rebel. Also, why do I have a random snapping turtle here? Move down, buddy. You go back to this box. Good, good. He sees all, of course. Like GTA, yeah, just, just run into trees, run into stop signs. Your car can take it. Your car can totally take it. All right, so Budgie, you are doing your part for the pollution, and I appreciate you. Um, but in all honesty, uh, 0 0.02 is not affecting 83. So what we need to do, Budgie, what we need to do is we need to go and find these mechanics people and buy their machines and add them to our houses. And now the true test. Hold fast. Or expire. We're working on that expire part with Stan here. We are. We're working on it. So, that you dare? I dare. I dare, Slim. I dare. And then what we can do is we can run them. I don't know. I don't know what they use. I've got no freaking clue. But I'm assuming... Machinist table. Does this thing produce po pollution? Or is it just the steam engine that they're making? I'm assuming it's just steam engines. You'll add the pollution tax back. There already is a pollution tax. I got taxed driving from the other city to my this city. Oh, but wait, here's the best part, Slim. Here's the best part. I've already broken the system. You can't control me. I have rigged the system completely. Because, because, as a farmer, there's something called farming tokens. Now, would you like to click on the pop property of the map and just have a look at some cool things? Some people have some pretty nice, pr nice sized properties inside of our town. Yep, your nice jurisdiction of the town. Um, what's that over there? <laughs> a lot of farms. And that means I can put a lot of polluting things outside the town's jurisdiction. <laughs> we have the ability. We have the technology, chat. We do. I can go off the grid. <laughs> polluting off the grid it's possible the technology is available and all i need to do is find a mechanic that's willing to sell to me and be like hey, hey i want to go into mechanics too just totally wow he's level six already what the hell is this dude 
This guy is a grinding man. He logged out 15 minutes ago, but he's level six. And there's two level fives. That's insane. Weren't they like level three a few seconds ago? Crazy. I'll be there soon with your circle so slim. I know. But guess what? I can just pick up and move. Ah, <laughs> uh, but I have all my stinking farms there. I can pick up and move this one, though. That's the thing. I don't really care about what's over here in this spot. But don't worry. I will find a way. I will always find a way. The world's four kilometers wide. You can run. I can run and I can hide. That's the fun part. <laughs> if you pollute your plants will die. Yeah, they probably will. I could go and pollute next to other people's cities, though. You wouldn't be against that. You don't want your city to be polluted, but what if... What if I went to one of the major cities and just, you know, just just jumped over there for a bit? Yeah, you won't mind. Exactly. If I went and secretly built like a little tower in the corner of this area or my competitor, because there's a there's a farmer over here that competes with me a little bit and I built something up in the mountains, it could work. Oil drilling. Oh, that's right. Oil dr drilling is really polluting for the world. Wait, is anyone oil drilling at the moment? Has that been unlocked? Maybe that's what's causing all the pollution. Day nine. Oh my goodness, it's three days away and we're already doing crazy good pollution. You're oil drilling, Abby? Nice. Definitely ready to not be invaded by um, a certain US of A for where you're keeping your oil stocks, Abby. But surprisingly, the world has a ton of oil. I realized that today. We were having a look around. Where is the thing that I'm looking for? World? Yeah, there's this there is a setting, not the setting. There's a there's a rule on the server that you can't settle next to an oil field and claim an oil field. Now, can somebody explain to me what that rule means? Does it mean just for this? This white one? Because there's so much freaking oil. It's everywhere. This guy settled near an oil field. Is he getting in trouble? Tisk tisk. Only if he turns into oil drilling, maybe then they'll see like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Not worried they're bringing democracy with them, Abby? Of course, of course. The Helldivers will always bring democracy. Always. But yeah, no, like the world has so much oil in it. You could oil drill anywhere, but I'm assuming the white ones are the best spots. Like that's a pretty good spot. That's a pretty good spot. That's a really good spot in the oh the snow fields. Well, that's pretty cool. White spots some people didn't notice. Yeah, it could be not noticed. You never know. People like me joining the server. Like that's a really good oil drilling spot. I joined in just just went and like hey this seems pretty good. I'll join here. Didn't didn't think of logistics. Didn't think of anything like that. Wanted to try out a new set of uh, ways to play. Went into farming because I'm like, hey, I actually wanted to go into milling first, but the stinking dude over there stole it from me. Not Budgie, it was the other guy on the town that's doing milling and he beat me to it. And I was like, oh, I don't want to compete with another miller. So I went into farming instead. Sometimes you check. Eh, it makes sense. It's good to check up, but we're, we're new to the game, so we haven't been playing it a long enough time to get used to these things. It's understandable. Next time I get my oil, they bring Moxie with them, says Abby. Oh, but that's a good thing. You should celebrate it. <laughs> and make sure you sell it at a reasonable price or else they um, might take it. <laughs> but milling just for flaxseed oil, never bothered, lol. Still can't make it and there's loads available. Yep. Yep, there's so much flaxseed oil out and I made way too much flaxseed. So I still have 20,000 and you can you can buy it at a reasonable price. And I, I don't know. The market's just flooded with a lot of things. I think that's what's on this server. Everything's just flooded. And soon to be the server. <laughs> Alright, let's, um... Steam engine. Oh, they're selling them. Zero point eight four per hour when operating. That's not a lot. Hmm. Hey, re welcome back, man. What's good? Um, we're trying to kill the world, kind of. 
We're not succeeding, though. But we are considering options. Lots of options. But that is a, that's a step up, though. With flax? I mean, I've already overflowed and polluted the flax market, so I already destroyed the economy for that reasoning. Not on purpose, just because I needed to get some money out of everything. Um, but now with pollution, like actual pollution, and we tried to do extinctions, but the stupid alligators don't want to spawn in. We killed a handful. We killed like six alligators, though. We did good. But our cars produce... Where is it again? 0 0.02. And the steam engines that are being produced by the mechanics at the moment produce 0 0.84. Steam trucks produce 0 0.2 per hour. So the engines do a lot more. Yeah. Can you breed animals? Yes! You can do ranching. That is a mod that's added to this server. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Under hunting. Ranching. You can breed cows, chickens, dairy cows, dairy cows. Why are there two different dairy cows? I don't know. Goats, pigs, rabbits, sheep, eggs, butter, cheese, turkeys, cows, goats, upgrades... Sheep, cow, dairy, chicken, goat, pig, rabbit, sheep. Dang it! No alligators. So we were right, chat. We were very right. No alligators on the mark. What's even the point? See, ranching should be built about revitalizing species. Hmm. Game crashed? Oh dang, man. No, we, we just get lag spikes, so it's fortunately we don't have the game crashing at the moment. Yeah, in stables, yeah, like barns and stuff. Make sure to name the title of the stream to try and pollute as fast as possible. I know, right? What if you overbred the animals? Um, actually... That might be too slow. That might be too slow. By the way, welcome back, Mal. I can't get my keyboard. Okay, here we go. Because animals only give 0.25... Oh my god, that jumped up to 106. <laughs> it's happening, chat. I'm not even doing anything and it's happening. I want to contribute, though. How is it jumping up so quick, though? Oh, I know how. That's per day. I was looking at per hour. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 0.84 per hour. You bought the two and two steam engines. You did? Oh, that's so kind of you, Trico. That's so kind of you to add to the pollution. And here I thought you were against it. Oh, I misjudged you. I completely misjudged you. <laughs> All you have to do is just build a seawall, okay? You build a seawall and the rising seawater makes no difference. That's it. That's it. That's simple. Super simple stuff. You cut off the fresh water from the seawater and you're good. You're buying a steam truck as well? <laughs> All for you thinking of putting a pollution tax back on. And you bought more steam stuff than I have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, all we need to do, chat, is just build a wall around our house. Nobody needs a seawall. We just protect ourselves. Build to the sky of the world. And we're fine. That's it. You have no problem paying it? Hey, hey, have you seen my account? My account's pretty good. I've got no problem paying it. <laughs> Steam engines first 20 per day. Is that the math, Kelly? 0 0.84 times 24 is 20 per day. It's, is it possible to manufacture artificial and not natural disasters and others? Salsa? That is a goal that the dev team is working on. And I can't wait. Because currently in the game, there is a, there's a myriad of things you can do and a myriad of problems that you can create. But the dev team is working on more, and I love the sound of it. They're working on trains eventually, they're working animal husbandry for 1.0. 8.25 times 24 is 20.16. Thanks, Kelly. So that's why it's jumping up so quickly. I'm gonna have to buy some of those steam engines. Um, but yeah, to explain, the dev team is working on things like oil spills, natural disasters, maybe volcanoes. I'm excited for trains too. I think trains is amazing. But I'm also very excited for natural disasters because the more complex the game gets, the better it is. The better it is for everybody. The more interactions, the more variability, the more fun, the more stuff you can do. Yeah. You supply to power for the town, Sizzle Slim. Oh, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. I will supply pollution for the world. You supply power for the town. 
We are not the same. <laughs> but we can have a common goal. <laughs> Smudges and his wife's already polluting. I believe it. I believe it. Steam engine. Holy crap, dude. There already there's five available. Where is this place? I know where Route 66 is, but where's adorable shopkeep? Oh, I need to turn off oil fields. <laughs> oh, I've not been to the snow mountains. We could go visit them. I've only driven past them once. We will have to go make a visit, chat. How heavy are steam engines? Five kilos. That's easy. I can just run there. Yeah. I slowly prepared to liberate Raven Creek from the zombies, but I broke my legs, Scissory. Oh no, not legs. Legs are valuable. And they take forever to heal because you walk on them all the time. That sounds rough, man. Also, I'm carrying logs. Why am I carrying logs? I don't know. I have an idea. Export power to everybody. I cut it randomly. Destroy the world economy. Ooh, salsa. That's evil. That's evil. I like it. Because think of it, because we were thinking about like settings for a small server and stuff where like you have to be buddy, buddy, elbow, elbow to everybody. And if you take over natural resources and like maybe one town is very good at making power, but can outsource it, but then they start having beef with another town, you can just cut their power or tax it, tax their power higher. It's happened before, Slim. I, that sounds amazing. See, you guys said you had your previous server reset on a very small world. That would be so different. That'd be so cool. That's what we were thinking about. Car accidents, just can't, you can't stream it. So it's sad you can't stream it. Says re, understandable, man. Understandable. Yeah, no, PZ is, it's an interesting one sometimes when it comes to multiplayer. So I hope you're doing okay. It's, it's issues with the jankiness of cars. Was, there was a dude who died in Gen 1 where his car was like in the earth. Had a horrible car accident. I don't remember who that was. Yeah, we were just role-playing a terror for trade war. Both. Everything, Kelly. Everything. Political intrigue, trade wars, mercantile express. Dude, that you make a small world, you rub shoulders with everybody. You have to do a lot of work and be friends with a lot of people, or not. And then chaos. Chaos. Some people can pollute the world, you can't stop them. As the Adeptus Mechanics says, production issues. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. The crab army is still viable? It is. It is. The crab army is always viable. Except on this world, it's going to be almost impossible for me to get rid of the crabs. Unless we heat the temperature, because what's a crab's minimum temperature? Because you can boil the oceans for coral reefs. But can you boil the crabs? That's the real question. Can you rename your land? Yes. You can rename your own personal land. You can rename your cars. You can rename signs in front of your house. You can rename nations, but only by the people who own the things. So I don't own the town, so I can't rename the town. But re 100% building a wall. I will pollute the world and then I'll build a wall to keep myself safe. And then I'll tax anybody who wants to live on my land that has been savified from the world problems. <laughs> Rename your land to big pollution. Uh, it might be a bit telling to the server admins, but yeah, I could do it. I could do it. Stock market, you say? Uh, uh, I, caught, I don't think they've invented a stock market for this game. No. That would be interesting, Salsa. I wonder if the devs have considered it. Because that would be very complex. If, if imagine early on in a gameplay, you would realize that one person that you know was going to get it big. He knew he was going to be rich. And you bought 50% of his sale, 50% of his stock early on to give him a boost. You'd be freaking rich. So now it's becoming the Lorax. I'm the anti-Lorax, thank you very much. <laughs> I speak for the trees, and the trees want death. They want to die. They're done. They don't want to take this pollution anymore. 
Way too lazy to walk far. Venture capital. Yeah, yeah, the one, the, the, the opposite of the Lorax, the guys that wanted to pollute the worlds. That's what we are. We're definitely those guys. Also, um, that's five steam engines. That's 125 bucks to pollute the world shot. That's not a lot of money. Do you, do you see how much money I have? I've got 2,400. This doesn't dent me for the amount of pollution I can do. Use the car? Ah, oh, they're not selling me a car. They don't have a car available. Or the boat? Wait, they've got a boat? Ah, oh, I don't see them having a boat. No, Budgie has one? Oh, nice. Nice. He wants to walk. I can walk. Walking is faster than the car. So much faster. Oh, but the new car. Are you saying like the steam car is faster? Oh, you're talking to Budgie. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry. I'm jumping in on conversations here. We make a generator. These are generators. Uh, re. These are. These are steam engines. They are literally just generators. And they produce 20 ppm per day. So with these five generators, I can produce the same amount of pollution as the entire population of the world currently. But we can do more. <laughs> yeah. We can do more, chat. We can do more because someone else is selling more generators. Um, Steam. Someone else is selling three of them. I know where Route 66 is. I can go there. So 20 ppm per day, more generators. Yep. There's three more being sold, and here's the best part. Because this is the initial, like this is the literal start of mechanics, everybody who's getting into mechanics is jumping right into it. And they're none the wiser. They're like, oh my god, I just sold five generators. I need to make more. I made such a profit, and I sold them for such a good price. And I'm just here going, yep, I'll be there when you're making them. <laughs> Chat, the farmer who fed the world has gone chaotic evil. Did you expect anything less? Nothing. Nothing less. I could also outsource this power and sell it to the town. I don't know how to do that, though. But I could also charge the world to kill it. Snow the scalper. Exactly. I build them up. I cut them down. It's, it's just a... It's like Sheev, you know? He enjoyed the political growth, and then he enjoyed tearing it all down. Palpatine had it right, chat. <laughs> you got your truck slim? Nice. I need to check and see how fast they are. Oh, wait. Was I just there? Oh, fudge. 500 bucks for the... Oh, wow. I forgot the truck. I need to get the truck. I just want you when I think of my 3060. <laughs> What's your 3060 doing? Helping with the pollution, I hope. Rich people desperately want poor guy to go to the other side of the planet for tiny pay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Rich people do want that. And you can stop them. If you got me a truck, I'd go. <laughs> hey, trucking is a business in this game. You can do it. <clears throat> also, getting swarmed by cats is a possibility too, except there's no cats in the game. Okay, I am on auto walk now. Are you gonna find your spot? Yeah, you're gonna be cute? Yes, you are. Oh my goodness, you are so cute. Most definitely have you seen these graphic cards. <laughs> it's too late, he got someone else. No! No, don't tell me somebody already bought it. No, it's still there. Quick, run! Run! I need to get that car. I can't believe I walked past it, you fools. Give me that car. But yes, I'm getting it. I'm getting the last car. I could give it to Budgie. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use it a little bit to see how fast it goes. If it's faster than running, I will use it for a bit. But I could rent it out to Budgie for a bit. Like one cent a day or something. Something basic. Actually, can you rent out your cars? I know you can rent out properties. And you can rent out crafting tables. 
But I don't know if he can rent out cars. You think so? Cool. Because that makes sense, like higher tier heavy head tech stuff that's super expensive. For people that don't have enough money, they could be like, hey, I need to borrow this to increase my land or do a big truck thing thing. 500 gold per hour, Lunatic say. I bought it for 500, you can have it for an hour for 500 gold per hour. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Makes perfect sense. And this is the trucking company. I'm stealing this from the trucking company as well. <gasps> no, they're buying it for 500! No! I thought they were selling it! I'm an idiot. Uber service, yeah, Uber service for sure. Kitten, Goo, and Recyclops bought them. I will have to wait till the next one comes out. Also, did they make another steam engine whilst I was waiting? Adorable shot. They made another one. Not you guys. Where the heck am I? Oh, I'm over at the wrong place. They don't know, chat. They don't know. I don't even know if he's online. Now the steam engine, thank you very much. Very nice. Rent a car from the commies? Hey, 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 just if it, it's, it's good for... Oh, it's, I'm buying this from the admin. That's the best part. And the admin and his wife... It, his wife's kitten, isn't it? Yeah. They're the ones polluting the server, and I'm just helping them. Yeah, yeah, that's the right. That's the married couple that are playing on the server. There's an admin. And the admin's polluting it. So if the admin's doing it, what I can't... What I'm doing is not wrong, chat. I'm not doing anything wrong. It's admin sanctioned, okay? Chaotic evil is perfectly admin sanctioned, and you heard it here first. If he's enabling me, it's his fault. He's an accomplice. Hmm. To be honest, it'd be really funny to see a four kilometer world just go underwater. Because, as expected, it's probably a lot easier to do it on a 1k world. But a 4k... Sheesh, that's a lot of water. Also, am I going the right way? I went on an unbeaten path, just for the fun of it. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Yeah, we found a road. We're good. Yeah. How's my domestic production? Way too high. I have way too many plants. Want to ride? Wait, are you on the road? I don't even know where I am at the moment. Oh, you're over there. You're going to be able to catch me. Actually, how fast are you? You're the one with the steam truck. You're actually not that fast. It seems like it's the same speed as a normal truck. There's no way you catch me. Clearly, it's the common folks' fault for pollution since they breathe there for the cost of 0 0.001 pollution. <laughs> exactly, exactly. No, 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 no. We blame the animals because the animals do 25 ppm per hour. Or is it per day? Per day. 25 ppm per day. The animals? They're the worst. We gotta kill them all. I know the mega corporations are polluting a hundred thousand or a hundred, and then I'm gonna be polluting an extra hundred, maybe two hundred. At the moment. I'll try and go further. But come on. Come on. There's no way you catch me, dude. No, you went the wrong way too. Yeah, you are so slow in that truck. <laughs> you ain't got a chance. No chance, Surrey. Yeah, I, I would be very interested in buying the steam truck if it was faster. But it looks like it's very similar to the speed of the first truck that I just bought. And I'm like, eh, not worth it. And it's only at 0 0.2 per hour, which is like one quarter of what these engines can do. Also, I never looked into, what do these engines need to run? If it's coal, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> I hope it's wood. I hope I can just put wood in there. I will cut down all the trees to destroy the environment and turn it into steam. 
Steam engines could have been worked on wood back in the days. It's got to be okay with the wood. You're going for the lab? What lab? Advanced lab? I know you're building a lab for the town. Oh, the lab lab. Oh, you just bought it. I don't know what the lab does. Water definitely charcoal. Charcoal could work. Charcoal people have a ton of. Yeah, people are selling charcoal for super cheap. Are you sure? Labs, how you make upgrades? I already have upgrade, basic upgrade level four. Oh, you're telling me that you can get better than basic upgrades? Interesting. I'm already way too efficient. Basic upgrade level four already has me super efficient. I should make the charcoal myself. I can't. No, I don't think I can do that. Can I? Charcoal's crafted at a kiln. Requires logging or requires logging. No, I can't make it myself. Need to turn the flax into power? Yeah, I do. If I can turn flaxseed oil into power, <gasps> I could I could tell Budgie to make all the flaxseed oil for me. Sell them at a cheap price. Buy it at a cheap price. I don't know if that'll work. Okay, you know, I have to science this chat. Am I outside the town? No, I'm not outside the town. Fudge. Also, do I have my hammer with me? Nope, I shouldn't put this down. Okay, we'll, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. Some tables require advanced upgrades and modern upgrades. Ah, I see what you mean. I'm just but a simple farmer doing a simple work that does not know much more than basic upgrades. <laughs> I don't think I'll learn anytime soon. But that's cool, though. So much lumber, no one buys it. Yeah, exactly. Like, if I can run these steam engines off of lumber, we're set. We are 120% set. Also, who cares about wind turbines and water wheels? We go pollute the world. Thank you very much. That is nine steam engines, which is nine times 20 is 180. Slightly above 180 ppm. And there's already three trucks running around the world. And eventually boats will come in. Wait, can I check to see if anyone's selling it? No. No, it's all done. It's going to be beautiful. And here's the other part, chat. This is the other sly bit to it. Is because I'm buying out all these stocks, with the way economics works is, I've created a demand slightly. And I've also created a false demand to make the people who are making it, I know this is super evil. I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> but I'm having fun. Um, I've created a false demand. And I falsified the demand for the employers to make it. And therefore, they think they need to make more because they instantly got sold out. And obviously there's the Russian bush of um, the brand new mechanics just coming out anyways. So they're going to make more. And then people will actually use it for normal reasons. I'm going to use it for illegitimate reasons. And then I might even buy some more because they think they're still going to need demand. So if I can log in tomorrow whenever I have a chance, maybe before the stream, just for a little bit, um, I could maybe buy a few more. <laughs> and that's how you ruin economies. I mean, not completely, but it's it's funny. It's funny. It's so evil. It's a little. It's a little bit evil. It's not the most evil thing I could do, but it's 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 just a tad. It's just for fun. <laughs> Besides, when it comes to a four K world, it's hard to pollute it anyways. And if people actually put effort into doing renewable energy and pollution cleanup, I'm sure there's ways of doing it with this game. Um, to remind myself, there is. Oh, uh, what is it? There was like cleaning sewage stuff. And I'm sure, is it industry or like, I think it's electronics. It might be in electronics, but there are some ways of like cleaning up the world, going to cleaner energies and stuff to try and protect the world. Waste filters. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, you got my eyes on me. <laughs> hey, I was being a good person until I went too crazy into the economy. And then I went, eh. Let's light the world on fire a little bit. Just a little bit. Get a bit toasty. 
see anybody like uh, have to change a pair of their pants. Make the tailors work. Something like that. Have fun building a seawall. You know, all the good stuff. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you want to talk about things being evil, excuse me over here. Whoever lives to this place, I think it's those engineers that live on this hill that are really nice and they sell good stuff. But I came home the other day and I noticed that outside this engineer's place, there was a ton of sand removed, which is against the server rules and it's griefing. And they removed the entire beach sand. Where is it? It's over here, is it? Oh, maybe it's not exactly over here. Is it here? It's this one. Yeah, here it is. The beach is gone. It's just gone. So on my way home the other day, or was it today? It was the other day. Yeah, I looked at this and went, that is 100% grief or neglect. They broke the rules and I'm like, that's bad. All these plants are eventually gonna die to salt water. Anyways, I'm off to burn the world. <laughs> No, I just looked at him like, oh dear, people are getting away with little things like that. Yikes. And people are undercutting in economies and stuff. It's fine. It's just a game. We're having fun. Um, I'm not trying to be malicious with things. I'm just having some fun with it. Worst comes to worst, the admin tells me to stop. That's it. But yeah, you got undercut so much? I got undercut insane. Dude, this guy over here does not... I, it, it, the hydroponics, like this dude. Nice guy, probably. He's gone around and undercutted everybody and just totally ripped everybody off. Oh, it's horrible. But then again, the way you beat undercutters is you buy from them and sell to their suppliers. And that's how I made a ton of money. That's how I got rich. I sold a bunch of my product because I built a ton of farms and, and I had too much farming. And then I realized I was getting undercut and then I went, screw it. I'm going to buy their stuff and sell it. It works. It's it's just how you beat that. It's not the perfect solution, but it is the better solution um, in an economy situation. Because then you're making more profit. Because eventually people have to buy to you. Yeah. They take my tiny beach, I destroy the world, says salsa. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. All I'm doing is I'm saying that one person negatively affecting the world is no different than the rest. One beach completely saltifying an entire miniature landscape down there is no different to nine steam engines working tirelessly to waste power and to add 200 plus pollutions into the air. No difference. I, it's fine. One bad deed deserves enough. <laughs> it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Um, and speaking of bad deeds, um, I wonder if there's going to be a pollution tax in this lovely little city. But oh, it's just, I can move, I can move a little bit. I'm going to move my pollution just in case, just in case. Want to cut me okay, I buy your stuff and sell it. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you have to do it. Because unless the admins do something about it, because they said you got to be fair with your numbers. It says it in the rules. Don't go crazy with your economy numbers, but eh, whatever. People do whatever. So then you just circumvent the problems that you have and you make profit off of their profit. And they, at the end of the day, lose more profit than you. They think they're doing well. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm getting so much stuff for cheap. And then you're just going, yeah, but I'm making money off of it. So you keep doing your thing. And that's the other thing. Um, other people who are doing the trucking companies are enjoying that too. So, the truckers are getting rich off of the people's negligence, and, um, yeah, it works. Uh, I did shift-click. Oh, I can just left-click it. Ugh, inventory. I'll have to move that to my silo. Actually, can I put spoiled food in a silo? I sure hope so. Go away, you silly... You can't shift-click drag spoiled food. I am sorely upset. Today I learned, chat. The game hates me. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Anyways, 
<clears throat> That's just real life trucking. Don't do that in real life. <laughs> hey, I saw this Walmart down the street. I saw them. S <laughs> I saw them sell you some chicken nuggets for five bucks a piece, and the one down the other street is buying it for seven bucks. I'm just gonna go between these two WalMarts. <laughs> Nothing's gonna go wrong. It's fine. There's no laws against it. It's just free trade, right? <laughs> It'll totally work. I see nothing wrong with my ideas. As the person once said to shovel that spoiled cornmeal out of Shiloh, don't you dare. Oh, oh, putting that as well? Yeah, okay, so the trucking and the cornmeal. Okay, I see what it is. You're just jealous, okay? I understand. <laughs> You're just jealous of my spoiled food swag here. Maybe that's why I'm not allowed to put it in the silo, because it just doesn't come out. Oh, imagine if that's a thing. Because the thing is, the developers are trying to go into more of a degradable society. Like, right now, my house, I built it. I know, so proud. Um, It'll last eternity. If I put this log on the ground, which that's not my property, this is my property. That log will last for eternity. Um, This silo will last for eternity. But someone took time and effort to make it. So the devs will eventually, I think they're trying to add that into their system, hopefully before 1.0 comes out, of more need, I know it sounds tedious, but to a degree for an economy-based game, it makes sense. The need for maintenance, which also means there's gonna be a really cool job called maintenance guy or something. That would invite some interesting jobs for sure you can probably get paid a lot too yeah building materials can be wholly reliable industry because of maintenance yeah exactly but at a certain point in the game certain things start just like dipping food's not as valuable as it used to be building materials not as valuable as they used to be industry's not as valuable so getting maintenance and relying on people to keep things maintained would be really good which would then invite more repairmen and people actually opening up the shops for shops for repairing things as well. It's pretty cool. I like the idea. Okay, what are we working on now? Pollution. Yes, that's right. Uh, let's go over and move our claims. So uh, the lovely, lovely mayor, who I'm not trying to circumvent in any way possible, uh, I will move it out of his town of influence. So I'm not polluting his town, of course. That's That's what I care about. That's 100% what I care about, but I can't move it too far because I have to resupply it. So I can't pollute a nearby town. I don't like this red town. They've been undercutting and doing a lot of weird trades. And these guys ruined this area. Nah, I'll just go to the empty desert over here. There's a weird tunnel through the desert, which... Wait, nobody, this one person that lives, that's not a property? Unowned. Oh, the person went AWOL. I'm getting there first. No, 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 distracting me, Trico. I'm getting there first. You can't stop me. It's free stuff. It's free stuff. It's, it's unclaimed. It's probably useless stuff, but it's still free. And that's the, that's the kind of currency I live with. <laughs> it's probably utter garbage, but I want it. Oh, it's hewn logs. Actually, I might take that down. Yoinky yoink. Ooh. Anything good here in the storage? <gasps> Ooh. They got some babies I can steal. Thank you very much. They have a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Fish traps I can't make myself, so I may as well... I'm going to grab one of those. Wood pulp! I, I ran out of wood pulp. I actually need wood pulp, chat. Not going to lie. I do actually need wood pulp. Because I need to stock my store back up. Okay. 
I wasn't able to take everything. Trico, you don't know. No, you ran out of wood pulp. I know, but I got to it first. Ha! That's what you get. Sell it to you. <laughs> Only if you're buying at a good price. I sell it at like 20 cents a piece, I think. I think that's reasonable. I can't remember. I have to go check my prices. I gotta check my prices daily or else people keep changing things. Yeah. But that's the thing, Chad. If somebody's been offline for like a week or however long it is, or they leave the server, their stuff is free game before the admins just like give it away. Upcharge 500%? I should. To the mayor that wants to tax me? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I will not stand for this. I will upcharge 500%. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. I'll have to keep to the side path when navigating this mayor. Definitely. Brigand. He's a complete brigand. <laughs> Actually, what is my price at the moment for wood pulp? I actually have 146 in stock. Yeah, I sell it for 0 0.2. I know Sweatshop sells it for 0.3. Seductive sells it for 0.1. Yeah, I sell it at a reasonable price. It's fine. Didn't miss your streak, Stefan. Welcome to the stream, man. You did not miss it in the slightest. Came at a good time. Shift left click isn't working. What? Oh, I think I know why. Because I'm at my shop. What if I interact with the inventory completely? That's being weird. I don't know. I don't know. Confusing. Very confusing. I shouldn't have put my food away. Very confusing. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I took all my corpses because I was going to go and sell them. Uh, I can't be bothered. Actually, if I need money for keeping my fuel active, I should still sell my corpses. Eh, I'll do it later. Let's do this to organize. Let's, let's be organized and civilized people, shall we? You go down here. You go over here. Uh, what did I forget about the corpses? Corpses, corpses, corpses. Is that everything? There's more wood. Yeah, I don't think I forgot anything. Alright, we're good. We're good. I still kind of want to steal all those hewn logs, because I could turn it into resources. What if I just claim his place? Oh, that could be genius. It's a bit of a walk. I can still name the- oh, I didn't turn it off today! Oh, fudge salsa, thank you. I paused the Battle Brothers stuff, but I didn't turn them off. Salsa, you're the worst. <laughs> I totally forgot about it. Then again, I'm the worst too at the same time. Now I have to give you back your points. Actually, I don't want to give you points back. No, no. You don't deserve them. <laughs> ah, fine. Organize is a new symptom. It's a new symptom. Everybody wants to be organized, but it never happens. It never happens. Uh, reject. Reject your darn name, Salsa. How dare you? How dare you? Symptom? Oh, synonym! I... It looks similar, Stefan. I quickly glanced and was working on this. <laughs> I went, oh yeah, he means symptom, because hoarding is hoarding's a disease. That's why I instantly thought symptom. Because I, I, my brain just finished your sentence for you. So you wrote it wrong, Stefan. Why did you write the write, write the word wrong? I don't know, man. You confuse me with that. You totally meant symptom. <laughs> Streamer does not read chat. Exactly. Wait, who are you again? <laughs> oh, good times, good times, man. If 
only my chat would read chat. Oh, hello, corpse. I just kicked a turtle chat. Look, we're kicking turtles today. Man, we love the environment. By the way, go solar, go green, chat. So I can get more turtles. Remove your plastic, go back to steam engines. <laughs> oh, dead turtles. Great times. And you know what? Screw it. I think I am. I think I'm going to claim this area. He built the house. I'll take it. It's a cute little place to pollute the world, shot. Yeah, yeah, why not? Save me the effort. It's going to be my home away from home. Oh, I didn't bring my claimer. <sighs> Wait, he must have a claimer, right? Did he put it away? Come on, come on, tell me he has a claimer. No, he left it in his inventory. I have to walk all the way back. <laughs> okay, I gotta walk all the way back. Bring down the price of TDS, you'll not regret it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I won't regret it in the slightest. Oh, I can't imagine streamers. I've, I've been to some streamers, and there, there's some nice streamers out there. But I've been to some streamer streams where, like, TTS is, like, one channel point. And it's like, dude... Dude, like, seriously, dude, how do you not get spammed 24-7? And people who have, like, their stream redeems, uh, like, TTS for bits redeems at, like, one cent, like, one bit. And I'm like, how do you just not get spammed 24-7? It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> you want a reading challenge? No. No, thank you. 2,000 word essay, like, you already have it ready, Salsa, I know. You have it ready. For the price of one bit, here's my thesis. Enjoy for the next, like, hour. <laughs> I believe it, man, 100%. Oh, I need these claim papers, and then I need that, and then I need... Uh, do I bring more hewn logs with me? Do I have more hewn logs? I don't think I do. But I have a lot of logs, so I can just turn them into hewn logs. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Oh, wait, I don't have many logs. What happened to my logs? Oh, yeah, I gave a bunch to Budgie. I only gave him, like, 40 logs anyways. I gotta go murder some trees, chat. Specifically the Joshua trees, wherever possible. Let's go with another 200 hewn logs, and then, yeah, that'll be fine. Did my settings change? I just never fixed it. Ah. Ah, we fixed it. Okay, that makes sense. Can your TTS read Mandarin? My TTS can read... Oh, wait. There's two T TTSs I have, uh, Stefan. I've got Snowbot and TTS. TTS is Twitch-based. Snowbot is me-based. Like, I, I've got that with my, my AI voice thingy. My AI voice thingy can read multiple languages. I don't know about Twitch. You can test it out. I, I'm not 100% sure. That one Snowbot Snow, might be I able to read. Great importance that I, Snowbot, must now let you know. But I didn't turn on Snowbot today, so I need to go turn him on. Snowbot, we're taking over the world. He's ready. Reading challenge, indeed. My thesis on why Sword Lance is a good and how close the Adrock is to our hearts is also... You know what? As an academic... <laughs> first and foremost, as an academic, we do not, um... We do not accept... your proposal. And thus, your proposal will be rejected and not allowed to be run in our schools. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's also, it just, it's not my, I'm just the messenger. <laughs> 
Don't shoot the messenger, man. Oh, no. This is why I don't like it, uh, Stefan. It can't read everything you've written. It doesn't like the file thing at F21. God, I gotta diagnose this. I can just refund it. I'll try and fix the one thing it's upset with, but it might just find a new thing to be upset with. Because it doesn't like commas or um, like apostrophes or stuff like, I don't know. The, st the streamer bot thing is weird sometimes when it comes to Twitch reading out other languages because other languages have different uh, alphabets. Even though it supposedly can read Mandarin. Supposedly. Yeah. Timeout will fix it too. That could work too, Drazus. It could. We could get rid of Stefan. <laughs> uh, streamer bot, where are we? Um, mm, no, not that one. Where the heck is he? Streaming AI stuff. Oh, it's in a... Yeah, yeah, there it is. Oh, my God. Uh, it's... it's, it's coding errors is F. F reads. What do you mean 1059? File does a pass self reading errors. Exceeding IO text with self open mode R. Encoding errors as F. Returns F read. Char map codex can't decode bytes. In position 17. 17 it didn't like. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's not a bullet point. That's an actual character. Yeah, no, I'll just refund it. <laughs> I'm sorry. If it has a problem with 17 and you brought like 100 characters, dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So when I say it can read Mandarin, it can kind of. <laughs> and maybe like put it in English in Mandarin. Because, you know, there's a way to do, um... TTS? Oh, no. Oh, this TTS is different. Okay, so I've got three TTSs, chat. Um, this is the Peepo stream TTS. I don't think it knows how to do that. So I will, once again, refund. Just try that salsa. I'll try that. Save, minimize, force. It doesn't like it. Wait, did I do the right one? I swear I did the right one. What's your problem? Why are you still saying? Position two. <laughs> You gave me two characters, and it hated the second character. Just, if you have anything in Mandarin, or just don't use Mandarin characters. Just use English characters. Your TTS can't read those? No, 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 the TTS can read those. No, 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 I'm saying Salsa's second character. The one that he put in. I don't know what those two characters are. But... It, it can't read. Wait, am I going the wrong way? Where the heck am I? Oh, I went the wrong way. This way. Refund? I did refund. I did. I did. Play the one on Discord memes? Okay, I can try that. I can also try salsas again. But this will be the last one I try for you, salsa. I, I don't trust my... I don't trust my TTS. I mean, he can do other languages, but... He does have issues. He's not perfect. Because there's a coding... Yeah, he doesn't like it. He doesn't like position 19. Wait, what? 
You didn't give me 19 characters. How many freaking characters did you give me? As someone that can read Mandarin, did Salsa put a swear word in? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Okay. Google, um... Oh! Oh, really, Salsa? That's what you wanted it to say? There's a reason why I like to use Translate before you guys try and send funny things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only good kings... Uh, yeah, sure thing, Salsa. Sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See if I trust you again. <laughs> Play the one on Discord? You got one on Discord? In memes? Oh, okay. Is this like the ones where languages are... Uh, whatchamacallit? Yeah. Oh my god. That's what you were trying to do. Mm, it's, it's those tongue twistery ones. It's she 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 Yeah. Exactly. Like that's what I said. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> oh, it's I I love those ones when it's um all oh, the ta 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 the cat. Oh, pet the cat. Yes, of course we get to pet the cat. Yeah, I know. Are you getting tired? Oh, she did the blink. She did the sleepy blink. Oh yes, you are tired. What a sook. Easy to say, but writing's another challenge. Oh yeah. Cause it's like English where there's like so many different words. That sounds similar. But you write them differently. And then even English people don't get it right. So when people go to other countries and are like, oh hey, can we make this fun tongue twister for you? And it's like, it's a funny YouTube video. But then at the same time it's like, oh dear god, they can't they can't do it either. <laughs> no one can do this. It's the worst. Was this guy trying to build a bridge? Fancy. We'll take over it. You don't know the four tones, it won't be easy. Oh yeah, like that's the other thing. When I mispronunciate other languages' words, I do a wonderful job of ruining it. Because I was not built up to be the right tonage for people. Not in the slightest. And thanks for the crash sound effects, Trico. Thank you. I didn't crash, although I do get slight... Um, I just read what happened. I stole their bank account? I mean, there was nothing in there. But me taking over this place... I stole their bank account. Cool, I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, I closed their bank account. Okay, I read it wrong then. I read it wrong. Oh, it was closed because you don't have access to their bank account. I thought it said I stole it, and I'm like, damn. If only they had money in there. Oh, dang it. I almost got away with it, too. More money, more money, 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 money. But yeah, grew up with Finian, so it's easier writing over the challenge even for man mainlanders. Right, right. Understandable. Supposed to be a poem and nobody speaks like that? Yeah, it's, it's the it's the extent of language, it's not the normal. And that's where it gets funny. Okay, how am I doing for size? Am I going four spaces down here, possibly? One, two, three. One, three, four. I can go this way. Whenever I'm claiming land, it's a little janky. Yeah, let's go this way. One. Two. Three, four. Okay, and then we put you back here. And then we just build this place out. Oh, wait, what kind of room does this um, steam engine need to be in? Oh, 
We will find out. Outside? Are you kidding me? Water input. So we need to buy some piping. Chimney pipe must have only one open end outside of all of the rooms above the object and with 10, 50 bucks. That That's so easy. What kind of power can I do? I can do logs, yes! I mean, I would never chat. I would never have to worry about these things. How do I get water input then? I live right close to the water. I need mechanical water pump. Fix it. The duality of man. How do I get water in it? Use a pump. It's. <laughs> I would have expected nothing less, chat. Nothing less. But I'll have to figure out how to get a mechanical water pump. Does that mean I need actual power for that then? Oof. But here's the fun part. Here's the fun part. What if I made a feedback loop, a positive feedback loop? Buy one and yes. And... Hmm. So my thinking is if I can set up a pump. <gasps> Windmill genius. Renewable energy to supply my non-renewable. You have an extra one? Nice. There's a lot of windmills for sale. They're like three to five bucks each. They're super cheap. How much are you selling yours for? <laughs> Surprise you would be suggesting one. <laughs> you have three extras? Nice. I bought like 15 windmills back in the day because I made a bunch of basic upgrade fours. And I say back in the day, it was like a couple of days ago or something. Or yesterday. Was it yesterday? It was a couple of days ago? I don't remember. But I bought one of the very first basic upgrades on the server. Um, by accident, because I saw someone selling it. I'm like, oh, sweet. And then someone else instantly made two cheaper ones. And I was like, yeah, I'll go buy one. And then I had efficiency four from like early on as a farmer, so early on that my I've, I've just been out producing crops so well. And therefore, I was like, hey, this is great. I can go more higher on the flax seeds. And then I made three more. So that's how I have 20,000. <laughs> so in a nutshell, thanks for coming to my TED Talk and understanding why I have a problem and why I have 20,000 20, flax seeds. Because <laughs> I'm too damn efficient. <laughs> oh, story of my life. You know, for 10 million? Mm-hmm. I'd like to see you try. This might be easy for the AI salsa. No, it's all good, man. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Eco, eco, exactly. Yeah, I don't trust the AI um, salsa. It's not going to work. It's struggling with different characters, and I don't know which characters it hates and which ones it likes. It likes some characters, and it hates other characters. I just, I don't know what it is. So I'm just not going to touch it. It's just easier if it's in a language that is understandable. I'm trying to go for points. Hey, if we're going to destroy the world chat, we may as well make it look pretty. And, and, we might need that mechanical... Oh, my hammer broke. Oh, wait. Wait, does he have any spare? No, he has spare bits. Genius. He also has 119 spare hewn logs? Dude, this guy was ready. Don't know why he left. He was so ready for it all. Sweet. Yeah, the stockpile uh, usage was the tr problem there. Oh, uh, I actually don't need this. Oh, I don't have this at my house. Oh, sweet. I get a brand new item that I've never had before. Oh, because I robbed somebody. You know what? I'm okay with this. <laughs> he wasn't even here to witness it. 
They probably couldn't keep it up. There's also a possibility for that. I mean, the server's not been on for too long, so... It's kind of surprising that someone would ditch this early and, like, leave everything, but... Who knows? Who knows? No longer stress salsa? There's that, too. There's that, too. There's a chance it's reading traditional? It could be. I don't know. No, I meant to change to you, you silly thing. There we go. Okay. I don't want to go too crazy on the hewn logs. We'll just go to this. And... Oh, that's dirt. He made like a fire... Oh, that's his mine! Okay. Fine, I'll just leave all this here. I'll build up around if I need to. Uh, I'll put these all the way into the stock. Stockpile. Where's the stockpile? Oh, it's under the house. Genius. Genius chat, he's a genius. Let's just stall let's throw this away. Oh, I actually wanted that. Um, yeah, that's okay. Nice. Am I poor yet? No, I haven't spent all my money. I'm being a good person and staying on my economic highs for a little bit longer. Not forever, just a little bit longer until we can get this pollution sorted. It'll get interesting. All right, let's put out these lovely steam engines. Uh, which way are they meant to face? Hmm. Oh, I see it. I see it. That's the pipe to get out to the ocean. That's the pipe that goes to the top. Okay, so we need to line them up to this. This. Oh, wait, I bought nine of them. Chat, foresight and planning is not my strong point. And I'm glad you guys are aware of this. Anyways, um, let's, uh, let's try and, uh, <laughs> do that. Get bedrock? Damn, you need pipes on top? Really? You don't need, oh, you don't need pipes on top. Yeah, yeah, no, no, you don't need pipes on top. I'm also too hungry to do this. There we go. Nice. It's not Factorio. Hey, 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 hey. If you believe hard enough in your heart of hearts, it can. It can become Factorio. And we will make it happen. Okay. How many more plots do I have? I've got two more. Hello? Can you claim the plot? There we go. You're being weird, buddy. Son of a... Okay, I'm gonna go put that in the inventory. It's being mean. Sometimes this claim plot is weird. Logs, go away. Thank you. Oh, it was already claimed. I was just being laggy. Hey, some devs. I really found out fond of just launching a game. It's overwhelmingly positive already. Hey, that's good to hear, Apoth. Welcome, man. Yeah, overwhelmingly positive games are nice. It's good to hear communities are enjoying things. Um, is my stockpile... It's not in this zone. Someone completely can do something about that, but I don't care. We move you out of the way. We move you out of the way. Oh, but that's with the stockpile. Uh, I could move you and you. Yeah, that works. 
Oh, wait. That's a stockpile. Fudge. This is a very... It's a badly positioned base. It was nicely done, but positionally... Okay, where's the thing that lets me... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, this has worked every other time I do this. I'm trying to just move it. Did I change my settings? Is that why? Control is dive and sneak. Skid steer is not changed. Gods, you went to beds about you? Hey, that's good to hear, though. You got some rest. Well, welcome to the stream, though. Hopefully it was a good rest. Control left. I am control left clicking. That is the issue. Control left clicking is not working. That is very weird. Toggle cursor. Interact. Use tool. I was looking when you start now, I can't find any position. Your back's killing me. Oh no. Oh goodness. What can help is um lying on your back with your knees up, bent. So like flat back with knees up like that. That that stretches and releases tension in your back. It's a very good way to do it. You tried it? Ooh. Didn't help. Hmm. Try to pillow below it. Pillow below it doesn't always work. Depends on the person. Depends on what's actually hurting you and what's the pressure. Try it face down. Did you try neck stuff? Because remember, your neck is a very important part of your back. And sometimes the neck produces back pain because it's just nerves. There's more fancy things to it. Yeah, turning it off and on again, that could work. Off and on again, I would believe it. Screw it, I'll just pick up these plots. As long as no one's here to swoop in and steal them. There we go. No one's here to steal my pollution makers. Nice. Now it's a red deed. Nice. Different colors. Sounds cool. Okay. I think I'm going to do it two length the entire way. How much more space do I have? I've got a lot of space. Nice. Got that D&D game in a few hours? Oh dear. Well, you take care of yourself. Yeah, I don't know, man. Um, Drink water. Just, I don't know, try some gentle... Just be gentle with it, though. Don't be rough. One less, one less painkiller? Nice, that might help, man. But whenever, whenever you're playing around with back stuff, you gotta be very gentle. Especially if you're waking up. Gotta limp downstairs to grab it. <laughs> dear. Oh dear, man. Don't want you falling apart down the stairs and everything, man. You got three hours of sleep? Hey, congrats, Ulrich. Three hours is not the worst. But, um, hopefully you get more next time, though, my man. I feel bad, and I feel worried for all you guys who keep saying all these scary things. Like, three hours of sleep, back falling apart. You gotta take care of yourself, boys. 
definitely have to take care of yourself. Uh, okay, did I forget to do... No, I didn't forget to do anything. Okay, good. Zero's asleep, I need to go to bed. Oh, dear Trico, please do take care of yourself as well. Don't be like my chat. Just please get some sleep. Don't ruin your back. Do good things. Uh, is this the one I'm looking for? Yeah, that's the corner I'm looking for. There we go. It's called getting old, you know how that's like? Hey, 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 not yet. Not yet. Maybe slightly. But not completely. You have so much to work to do here. I know, managing a town must be very, very hectic. Must be very busy. I'm glad it's your job. <laughs> Ooh, secret chest. Oh, it's a rock stockpile. Ah. I see. Secret chest underneath. I mean, when it's your claimed land, dude, there's nothing to hide under there. But nice secret chest. Getting part of community helper on the server. Oh, really? Cool. Congratulations, man. Hope that works out, and I hope... Um, you actually get some sleep, though. <laughs> that sounds like a position that won't get you sleep. I don't know. but the, Coming from an outside perspective, I could be incorrect. Or I could be correct. There's, there's two ways of looking at it. There we go. Every single rugby player I met over at age 25 has something in their legs, which is concerning. Oh, yeah, no, don't play rugby, dude. Please don't play rugby. Holy crap, don't play rugby. <laughs> That's coming from an ice hockey player. I know, I know the hypocrisy is a little bit high. But at the same time, just don't, don't do it. It's like netball. Don't ever freaking play netball. Don't do it. It's a horrible idea. The amount of women, so many freaking women I know, and I've heard of, because I know, I know many women, chat, so many. Um, netball, they just ruin their ankles. Women who don't want to be able to walk ever again can totally go play netball and they'll be fine. A bit late for that in my experiences also. <laughs> no. Where was I before you got broken? I don't know. I have binders full of women. I didn't say binders, but I didn't not say binders, chat. That is also true. Also, I built too far. Okay, I built good. Did I do good this time? I need to build up to here. Nice. Although we know the ones that live in Canada is definitely real. Exactly, exactly. The Canadian women are always real, child. They're real to me. And that's all that matters. Okay, did I have this right? <gasps> I could have been putting them closer together. Are you freaking kidding me? No, no. Did I space them too far apart? I'm here trying to save space. Oh my god, I had them spaced apart. 
How's the pollution? Just getting started, my guy. The pollution's looking really bad for the world, though. And I haven't even started. I need to go double check it. What's it actually at the moment? Oh, it went down! Oh, people aren't driving the cars. Okay, it's down to 95 instead of 100. So it went down like five points or something because people aren't driving their cars anymore. It must have gone to bed. We need to get those numbers up, chat. Those are rookie numbers. Okay, I can fit one more. Okay, we put it over here. Uh, point to click. One, two, three. They're beautiful, chat. They're so freaking beautiful. Stamp mill. Route 66, you beautiful, beautiful man. How many more are you going to be selling? Blast furnace? He's not selling anymore. How about that other place I was buying from? Yeah, yeah, adorable shopkeepers. They're selling another steam engine. They're selling a shipyard too, which is pretty cool. Um, what's the thing that I needed? It was a water pump. Water collector. No, that's not it. Mactabellus, it's totally about saving the world. I just never said I was on the side of the world. <laughs> Water collector works as well by that. Ooh, okay. Oh. Route 66 is selling them. That's better. You won't need the pump anymore. Are we the bad guys? No, we aren't. How many do I need? One per thing? Or does one supply all of them? Just one? I love that. I love it. Also, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try and make this like a cool build chat. Oh my god. I'm gonna be a horrible person. I'm gonna like try and hide this to a certain degree to make it look like a cool build. So I'm gonna go buy some more building resources. Uh, let's put you away. I was also making some more hewn logs anyways. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Also, this is ugly. I need to make it look more uniform, so I'm going to go and move it maybe a bit more south. The only thing Route 66 is mentioned is cars. Yep, I think that's the reference they're going with. Also, Americans have a lot of roots. Like, Route 66 is, re is real in um, America. Like, they have root everything. So, it's a reference to probably the movie and or old-timey-wimey stuff. Yeah. I love how you can hide it while streaming it. And when I'm, like, currently the third biggest eco streamer technically at the moment, even though I'm not really streaming eco for eco sake just yet, but... I did notice I like I went to check eco streams to be like oh is there anyone else I could like learn off of and stuff and I checked and I'm like oh wait my most recent eco stream was like the third most watched on Twitch I guess not many people are streaming eco at the moment so that's kind of nice <laughs> you stream here and there as well yeah I, I did notice that you had a stream as well Trico I think nice uh wait am I claiming or unclaiming oh I'm unclaiming that's right take that off Take that off. Okay, we're good. Snow is famous. Oh, this is not really, but it's by default, chat, which is the best way to win by default. <laughs> right now, the only one streaming Eco. Yeah, it's not a super popular game. It's more of like a not a situation. What's the word? Seasonal game. 
So there are a handful of like bigger people who play it and or stream it. But they play it seasonally. So they'll touch it for a bit and then they'll leave it for a bit. And then they'll play it for a bit. And it's just a bit, a bit here and there. World champion right now. Hey, I'll claim that. I'll claim that title right now. Third largest eco media influencer. <laughs> I'm an eco consultant. Thank you very much. <laughs> tell me about your eco problems. I won't be able to fix them. I will tell you how to ruin them, but I won't tell you how to fix them. So I'm the best eco consultant you can have. <laughs> we will learn how to pollute the world together. It's great. So does the market corner, you should charge a tax on a stream. <laughs> Only the people not in my settlement. I will charge a tax to the non-settlers. So you guys get lucky. You get you get first dibs. <laughs> oh, this game is great. Lots of geopolitics. Literal geo and politics. It's perfect. Enjoy your gaming, going to get some sun. Oh yeah, no worries. Please do. Please do enjoy the lovely weather. Uh, right now, for me, it is winter, which is still lovely weather, but there's no need to go outside. <laughs> I've got a nice, cool situation inside. I can bundle up at night and I'll be set. Yeah. That's just my Wi-Fi and mobile bills. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the only thing I am. Um, that's the only thing I demand of my... Uh, anti-pollution my, my pollution people wait spilled food no longer wanted wait what also i have a windmill in my tiny stockpile oh he gave it to me for free you sneaky you sneaky you wanted to be off the books you wanted to be off the books trico isn't that right thank you very much for the windmill but i'm pretty sure you want it to be off the books that's why <laughs> you don't want any of it traced back to you if I get caught. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> You're in the stream. The stream's recorded. They know who you are, man. <laughs> if they come looking, they'll find. What's Eco? Okay, so Eco, for those unacquainted and those just along for the ride, Eco is basically Minecraft that is gotten complex. And complex in the way of environment. So Eco stands for ecology. But most people uh, view Eco as an economy game because the ecology side of it is kind of like mediocre in terms of its impact. And their dev devs are trying to make that increased. But it's Minecraft on crack to a degree, yes, where you are built around a gigantic ecosystem that is impacted by everything you do. You can pollute the environment, you can kill all the animals, you can grow more. Well, you can't really grow more animals until 1.0 comes out. Um, what else can you do? You can build up your houses and you can go into the side of eco where it's uh, economy where you can trade other players. But the main goal simply is this. You wake up on a planet, a meteor is going to crash into it in a certain amount of days, depending on the server settings. You need to band together with everybody by building up an economy, extracting resources from the planet to destroy the laser and save everybody. But... You all have to work individually, but to collect collectively as a group. So it's like, it's capitalism to a degree. It's Minecraft capitalism, but with eco ecology on the side. Industrial Minecraft, yeah. And um, the trick is to beat the laser without killing the planet first. Yeah. Destroy the meteor, yeah, yeah. You destroy the meteor, not the planet. Eh, kind of. Well, I, I'm on the side of the meteor, okay? You need to hear the little people's voices sometimes, chat. The ones inside your head. And sometimes listening to them is okay. Especially when they sound like a meteor. That's good. Art gallery's been expanded. You want to make another painting? Sure. Sure. We can... God, do I make a painting of all of my pollution? I'll do that. I'll make a... I, I want it to be secret. But it'll be my, like, dangerous secret. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll make... I'll, I'll draw a photo of it all then cover it kind of and then when people rate the painting they're like oh that looks cool wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute that's a little sus it'll be fine it's, it's the perfect crime chat if you do a crime out in the middle of the wood in the open where everyone can see is it truly illegal 
Yeah, that's how that goes normally. I'm yeah, I'm sure that's that's the statement that I wanted to go with. Yeah. <laughs> uh good times. Okay, let's get this wood pulp back and let's get this chair into my house because this might actually spruce up the place. I get 16.9 XP passively from my house, which is actually pretty good. 17.2! Look at that! Is this the face of somebody who's going to destroy the world chat? Does he look shifty at all? Is he a little jittery? Is his eyes looking away from the camera? That's just the signs of a very well-liked and well-mannered man. Nah, he's fine. He's fine. He's just, he just had a bit of caffeine this morning. He's all good. He's not shifting his eyes. Nothing there. <laughs> Supplies are there. Oh, thank you, Trico. You're too kind. I will take those and bring them back. Make a beautiful photo for us all to enjoy. Uh, also, I was making more hewn logs, so I need to keep making even more. I'm going to make this place look beautiful and inconspicuous. But being conspicuous at the same time, of course. <laughs> Wait, how is that not continuing? <gasps> I forgot to import from... not my fireplace. Ew, no. The tiny stockpile. And my powered cart. I don't know as much wood as I thought I did. That's fine. I can either buy some more... Oh, I forgot to put woods in there. I can buy some more chopped... Cheese are, like, super easy to chop down. My bed's a fire hazard. <laughs> Sitting next to the... F the lit fireplace. Yes. It is a slight fire hazard. Oh, I was also meant to go get the other thing. Yeah, no, let's do the painting first. Um, and then I've got to go run down to the store to get... Um, oh yeah, from Route 66, that's right. And whilst I'm over there, I could get that 10th steam engine. Yeah, I could do it. 10 steam engine sounds good. That's what, 200 pollution? I'm just doing my part, chat. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> and that's the funny part, that's on top of everybody wanting to, do, to progress. That's everybody just going, hey, I need a steam engine for this. I need a steam engine for this. And I'm going, don't worry about it. Your steam engines will be full of steam and water in no time. No time at all. That's the way you look at it, chat. Look at it. The total pollution in the world's 100. I'm just adding 200 on top of that. Which is being buffered by a minus 500. So I'm not even polluting the world above the buffer. That's fine. Add mechanical pulse so we can use that produce power. I'll add you over to you. Hey, if you wanna if you wanna steal power from my power plant, that is perfectly fine. It gives my power plant legitimacy. And we can have insane power. You can start selling my power. That's fine. I'm just I'm just the humble person providing power to the world through capitalism. <laughs> it's beautiful, chat. It's absolutely beautiful. How do I want to do this photo? Oh, I could, I could sit back here. Oh, that is a beautiful photo shot. Uh, can I build a little bit further? Ooh, I could, and then it would include the bridge. That's a beautiful photo for sure. Uh, let's take you. Uh, hammer this out a bit. The building mechanics are slightly janky in this game. Because it doesn't like... You see how it, like, jitters? I don't like that. Okay, how are we looking? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Added this trick to you when it says to me, just set up a shop, buy crushed coal and wood. That'll work. That'll work very easily. Okay, right, let's set up the easel. Wait, does the easel include itself in the photo? Or does it green screen itself out? I might have to build it to the side. 
There we go. There we go. And then I can take the photo like this. That's better. That's better. Wait. Do I have to have this stuff in my inventory, or do I just... Yeah, okay, that's better. And then we go with the aspect ratio of 4 to 3. No, 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 my reference is not captured. Wait, how do I change that? Oh, here we go. Zoom out. <gasps> you can zoom out? Oh my goodness. Let's do it like this. It adds a lot of the beautiful sky in the frame, so you ignore the fact that there's giant steam engines here. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, you wanted me to get the 10th one? Oh, sorry, I missed it, man. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. It still looks great. Oh, look at that. That's a masterpiece. Do I do, make it settle? What's settle? Oh, there's different ways to... Can I hit... Oh, it gives it a neon look. Cool. So if I discard, do not create a picture even when discarded. A copy of which will be saved on your computer. You need more paint if I do that. Oh. That's right, I am out of paint now. It's fine, it's fine. I like the look. We can also just do it again and see which one looks better. We may as well have a try. Because I didn't know there were so many settings. Like, that's really cool. It really gives the incentive to try and, like, build a cool base, build a cool bridge. Stuff like that. Take a photo of it and then just, like, save it on your wall. And it saves to your computer, too. So, therefore, you can just, like, post it on Discord or something. Post it on Instagram. Yeah, the one canvas you can reuse. Oh, that's good. That's good. I didn't want to waste too much. Ah, I needed to grab logs from home anyways. Excuse me. Oh, five paints. Wow, you are being very nice and generous. Thank you, man. I will make one photo. Won't want to waste the paints, but we'll have a check. Logs burn fast, makes you have a lot. Oh, that, that should be easy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, worst comes to worst, there's a lot of crushed coal and coal out there. Actually, there's not as much coal, but there's a lot of crushed. So I can always just make a trip with my lovely, fancy car. Oh, it doesn't pollute enough. But I can take that with me to go get more coal. It'll work out. It'll work itself out. I can't wait to see what industry will do to the game. I've heard industry is really bad. Because this is just mechanics. Where is it? There it is, mechanics. Industry is meant to be the one that really pushes it. Industrial refrigerator. Uses lots of power. Okay, so it's not the things you have. It's the power generation. It's the oil? Ah, yep, that makes sense. Yes, yeah, the oil. Oil will pollute as soon as you draw it out of the water, I think is how it works. Yeah, scary stuff. Okay, we want to get it to Sobel. Okay, we got it on Sobel. No, I did that wrong. I wanted to get just the bottom of the dock. It's a bit more of an evening shot this time. What does it look like in Sobel? Okay, I'm being such a master painter. Ooh, it highlights it a bit. Ah, oh, it, it gives you more contrast. So it's a high contrast image. Interesting. Cool. I like it because the, the steam engines, they look like trains. They look exactly like trains. 
And also, it did a really good job on the clouds. Yeah, good choice, man. Good choice. All right, let's bring those back home. And once again, I did forget to bring my logs. I'll just go home and grab some more. This time I won't forget. Logs are there. Uh, anything else I'm forgetting? Oh, I did need to leave the windmill here. Yep, that's okay. I always use it if you haven't noticed, lol. Wait, what didn't I notice? I might not have noticed something. But I haven't... Oh, I noticed your favorite. Yeah, it was your favorite. No, I didn't notice. I I didn't understand what the differences were with the, the photos. But I did notice other people's photos look different than mine, because mine looked more like an oil painting, canvassy style, because it's just the basic one. And then I saw the people's photos that looked a bit more vibrant, or like this and that, and I was like, damn, they got good shots. But I didn't realize there was a, a different filter, because we're all about filters these days. All the cool kids. So yeah, understandable, man. But a cool addition to the game. Okay, those hewn logs are doing well. I didn't even think about buying some hewn logs. I keep forgetting that I have an economy. Gotta use it. Um, I'll just put them back into here for you, I think. That might make it easier for you. Because you know where to put them. I, I'll just leave that into your capable hands. Um, oof, gotta put the paints. The paints on the ground. There you go. Game is eco, the <laughs> gamer forgets he has an economy run. Hey, 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 it happens to everybody, okay? I'm sure it happens to everybody. I'm not the first, and I won't be the last. Just whoops, I forgot to spend money. You give me plus three rotation. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Does that give a reputation to the character as well, or just the painting? Because I know there's a reputation system in the game that is based around... Yeah, well-regarded here. I'm at 13.5. It's both! Oh, that's nice. I don't know what it does, it just tells people that you're liked. Is there like an actual practical application, or are there laws based... Oh, you could do laws based around it, right? You could say you can't do trades in my town unless you have a high enough reputation. I'm pretty sure you could do that. You can do laws about almost anything. Hmm. But I'm not sure if there's any other, like, actual applications of reputation. Other than, like, the cultural influence thing that you're trying to do with paintings. To, the more influence of culture means the bigger your city gets. Because we know that. We figured that one out. Because we struggled on our last server to have enough space. <laughs> that was a pain in the ass. Okay, how do I want to do this? I have a cool idea. That could work. What is this elitism and this is the free market? Hey, 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 hey. We're allowed as much elitism as we want, okay? You can't stop us. You can't force us to quit. We will do it as much as we like. With no judgment. I have a cool idea. I'll make this into a train. Slightly. We'll make like a train build. I don't want it to make it look too good, because then it'll in, bring some popularity. But we want to make it look interesting for a reason. Okay, let's do that. What other options do I have here? I've got dock supports, dock pillars. Interesting. Yeah, but the train sounds like a cool idea. I could put dock barrels at the bottom, could I? Oh, it has wheels! Okay, okay, that's pretty cool. And then all the smoke coming out the top would make it sense that it seems like it's a train. GB, thanks for tier one gifted to Slim. Much appreciated, man. Thank you so much for the support. The lovely generosity as usual, GB. Very much appreciated. 
Uh, what if I built inside? Ooh, ooh, I like that. Ah, okay. That's pretty good. That's got a bit of a train vibe to it. Spaced out wheels. What's going on? It's called Sutterfuge, okay? And I'm, I don't know anything about it, so it help me out, chat. <laughs> no one's stopping the pollution train. I think that's what we're trying to get at. Okay, okay, that looks pretty good. Now, how do we make it look good on the next part? What is a dock pillar beam end cap? Oh! That's so small. But it's good. I like it. I like it. Uh, where do I want to put it? Underneath here? Yeah, that looks nice. Mm. Is it better on the outside? Maybe. Let's turn to work. No worries, GB. Thanks for popping by. Appreciate it. Enjoy the lurk. Do have a good day at work and take care of yourself, man. Yeah, I don't like them under here as much. It's not bad. I wish these were on the ground. be like upside down so I can make like tracks underneath Dog things are cool, but tricky. I also have another idea. If I did roofs down here, could it be good? I'm too hungry. We'll solve that problem. What if we went with the roof side? keep looking at it. We'll keep looking at it. It's not horrible. Mm, dock sections. What about this one? Ugh. Ugh, not that. I don't hate the ramp blocks, but where would I put it? Oh, that's nice! That's very nice. It can barely be seen. It doesn't even look like it's missing. The end piece of the ramp. Okay. That looks all connected. 100% on that, 100% on that. Now it looks seamless. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. You have two more engines? Oh, this train is going to be long, man. <laughs> it's going to be beautiful. Uh, what else can I try and make the most of? Ladders? I could probably do something later on with that. 
I want to use these dock things, but they're feeling a bit weird. Yeah, no, we fixed the bottom bit. We need something to stick out. So I think, as much as it pains me to say, this actually might be an okay play. No, I don't like it. It just, it just doesn't work. No, I think we've done good here. We just need to figure out what we want for this side of it. Uh, we could try... Do we try columns? Ew. No, no, not columns. How much oops? Uh-oh, what oops did you do? Wrong chat. Did you chat in general? Oh, <laughs> getting a bit scary there. Mechanics crazy. Disregard. Wait, what's happening? No, nobody's getting suspicious. We're good. We're good. We're good. It's fine. So expensive, so crap. I mean, it's authentic, but oh man. We already have other people for the cause, chat. They just don't even know it. They just don't even know it. Okay, those roof cubes are very similar to the wall cube things. I'm confusing going back and forth. That's all good, man. That's all good. Okay, the walls don't look great. Because you can see the thing. That looks good, though. What's a dock support? Oh, that's the little one. Yeah, 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 that doesn't work. Uh, floors are a bit more rounded. I don't hate that. Mm, but they're a little bit less seamless on the floor of it. Ironically enough. And then there's roofs, but then what happens when you put a roof on top? Or I put a different block on top? Don't roofs just convert to flat? Yeah, they do. Okay, okay. What happens if I put a normal block on top of these roofs? Does it screw them over? It doesn't. Okay, okay. Now the choice here... Seems right. Oh, thank you, Trends. Appreciate it, man. We will add these to the train. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We'll have to get that water thing eventually, but this is this is more important. Uh, you sit here. Uh, and then we need the floors. There we go. Nothing stops the pollution train. It looks good though, doesn't it? It's great. It's also pretty insane. That's a lot of engines. I wonder how much it was to make these engines, dude. I just spent money. I don't even know how hard it is to make these engines. They they deal with those problems. Choo-choo indeed. <laughs> Nothing's stopping us. It's not that hard? Okay, that's good to hear. It sounds like it's just a bunch of iron. You made it before? Nice. Okay. Which one do we like, chat? Let me put the walls up. So I think we're going walls for the second level. Oh, my hammer's broken again. Fudge. Okay, let's fix that. Okay. From a distance... Oh, I need to put a few more of these in. So we can get at least a little bit of a vision. Let's have a look. The conductor, conductor of the train is looking great. From a distance, what looks more train-like? Hmm, I might have to build it taller. Because that left side melds a bit too much. Looks a little bit too basic. 
Because it's you can't tell if it's a wall or a thing. Need a flute for the conductor? Yeah, exactly. What if I change the material? Material? I'm only using one material at the moment. Hewn logs is all I've got, but at the same time, I'm getting different colors from that. Oh, <gasps> wait, what if? I like that better. I do want to hide the engines, though. I do. Okay, there's the top pipe connects to one pipe leading to the front ones. Nice. Just shows the front one as smoke. That's what. I, that's a good idea. I like that idea. But I'm going to be honest. I like that back one the more than the front one. We definitely... We will get the smoke. It takes. Once it's all running, we will definitely get smoke. Okay. So if I like that back one, how do I improve upon this? Oh, uh, do I have 45 corners? No, I don't like the corners. It's okay. It's an idea. I'm trying to thinking like an inverted roof, but I don't know if that's gonna work. Hmm. We definitely have opportunities for the chimney stack later. But it's just figuring out what I want from this. Dock platform with that could be maybe for the top basic top platform doesn't seem good oops I jumped too high <laughs> all right let's try this Gave me an idea to build out, but I don't think I want to build out. I just want to go straight up. Oh, that looks good. That actually looks good. It almost looks like a window, kind of. Because of the shadow as well. Watch, this is looking good. Okay. Um, What sort of flat piece do we want to put on top of this? Hmm. We already know that the floor rounds itself too much, so I think I have to go flat cube. What if I go next roof? I'm surprised that our fourth iteration is the one that worked out the best, but that makes sense. Oh no. It takes up the whole block. How do I fix that? No, there's no way to fix it, is there? Because the next blocks I put have a giant gap. Crap, and that looks so good, too. What if I made it one block higher? Maybe we just bite the bullet and make it one block higher. Because we are trying to make sure this thing's tall enough. Ratio is a little bit off, 
to the degree that it felt with the wheel size. It still works though. It just doesn't hide the chimney stuff. Uh, actually, here's the real question. I know what I can do. I know what I can do. We bring this wall out one, and then we build on the inside of it, right? Wait, does the chimney have to come out of this square? Oh, wait, how tall is this thing, chat? I think I found an issue. Okay, that's as tall as it goes, okay. Which means we're gonna need pipes across the top, which means it needs to go up to this height. Yeah, it's like a train house. It is. It is. It's going to be really cool. Right. Yeah, I bring up the wall one. Okay. We figured it out. We figured out the mistake, and that is okay. Luckily, we didn't do the whole thing at once. We just have to bring up the house, the, the wall one. Which gives us flexibility, gets us to walk along the inside if we have to fix anything. But we have solved our issues. And the iteration is going to look beautiful. So then we bring this, this section is beautiful. Bring that out one. Build behind it a certain section of, I don't care what it is, it's going to work. It's going to work because I've got another things, no other thing that's going to work. So it's, it's this has to work or it's just... It's never going to look beautiful, but I'm sure of it. Okay, you're good. Let's just copy you out front. Uh, we want you to be here. Perfect. Then we need... Oh, it's meant to be the last one. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Then we went with normal. Normal pieces behind. I went with flooring. Does flooring matter for behind it? Probably not. No, we're depending on others. Exactly. Go over the biome, train like a moving warehouse. That'd be really cool. That's what they're hoping for past 1.0. The devs are saying the trains are probably not coming in 1.0, which is depressing to think about. But they said they're still going to try and do trains after 1.0. So I will trust them, and I'm keen on hearing how it goes. Need to eat some ribs whilst we're doing this heavy, heavy work. Okay, let's go for our roof tile. Wait, what? Oh, because I ate food, it reset my thingy. It's annoying. A lot of potential? Oh yeah, for sure, man. The fact that they just brought out boats in this most recent update, it shows a lot. And I'm very keen on seeing where it's all going to go. But if they could fix that darn auto thingy and it'd be so much better. <laughs> it all jitters whenever I try and get to near the edge of something. It's so annoying. Oh. Okay. That looks good. We just need to move it forward. Then the trick is, how do I hide the back of it? I have more space. So I had to move it forward because I didn't have any space to work with without it screwing up or not connecting properly. So from there... Uh, I'll probably put a solid... Oh, I could put a roof block. Actually. Yeah, we could do roof. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, my hammer keeps breaking. I am so inefficient at building. I'm all, not even wearing my inefficient my efficiency shirt. No, my efficiency backpack. I'm wearing my carry everything around the world backpack. There's a backpack that I have that reduces your calorie consumption by 10%. Which is awesome. Like everything you do, apparently. It's supposed to be using with like only tools, but it helps with running as well. So like everything's a 10% discount. And I'm all for it. Is there PvP? Uh, in terms of market comp competition, yes. In terms of fighting actual PvP, no. No, the game is based around co-op. To a degree. Think of it like Minecraft PvE. Except it's not, because you're not fighting monsters. You're fighting the world? I don't know, what's, what's the comparison? I don't know what the comparison is correctly, but there's no PvP because you can't die in the game. Only the world dies. So either you all live together, you all die together. But in the process, you can become rich. Or you can aid in the death of the world. Plants versus economy. That's what it is, Stefan. It's plants versus economy. I love it. <laughs> Nothing encapsulates it more. Okay, let's run this across. Uh oh, I'm running out of hewn logs. No, I need to go get more. But hey, we have our iteration. We just need to maybe add some front bits, some back bits, and then need to fill in the inside of it. Uh, how many more logs do I have? Oh no, I've got plenty. What am I worried about? I've got plenty. I did a lot. I still need to maybe bring some more from home, but it's okay. Okay, next iteration. We figure out what to do behind this. Okay, there we go. Sheesh, that is janky. I like it. I like it. Um, I wouldn't hate having a bit of a fold at the bottom, but there's nothing I can do about that. All we need to do is just fix up the back of it. One day snow will ban you, exactly. Happily murder you to stop pollution, call it hostile takeover. I, I believe it. I believe it. Okay, how do we do this? We probably go, I'll try the roofs again. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Because it's not just a simple house. It can't just be a simple house. Having that strut in the middle does add a bit of flair to it. What's another option we have? I could go with... Roof roofs? Yeah, that could work, possibly. Oh, I like that better. It's shorter. It doesn't feel like it's a continuation. I like that. I like it. It feels like it's rounded a bit. It'll look different when I continue the roof over to the other side slightly. <gasps> Wait, I just realized a problem. Oh, I need to go up one more again. No! Wait, 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 I have an idea. Oh, but it leaves a gap. Crap. Darn gaps, I need to get fill this stuff. All right, let's see what that looks like. Mm. 
That doesn't look so great. That looks okay if I didn't stuff it up somehow. Okay. Okay, wait. Hear me out. Why don't we... Try Dock Filler. I know it's not great, but Dock's is like flat toppings. Seems okay. I mean, I probably have to rotate it. Yeah, so it's not like ugly across the grain. It's got to be along the grain. But then that doesn't assist the side look. Dog toppings? No, no, not snow toppings and dog toppings. We just got to top this thing correctly, somehow. Dog ramp corners. No way. Ramps. That just might work. Okay, let's have a look at it. Let's have a look. Do I have to build them individually? Because it won't build... Yep. Okay, okay. We'll give it a chance. Let's put more of the dock filler. Which dock filler do I like better? I think they're all the same. Yeah, they're all the same. We'll just go with the, the thinnest one. Now for the moment of truth. I like it, it feels different. It's not just the continuation of the black, that seems too bland. It does look a lot better. That that dock ramp is good. I can't think of anything else that's better, but I know what we could do to make it interesting is we could add little bits on top. Like, we've got all these leftover corner bits and stuff. We can spruce it up. We can even spruce up the sides of the train to make it look like it has windows, like, even though it doesn't have windows because we don't want anyone seeing inside of it. But we can spruce it up, but I, I like that so much better than this little left bit. I, the thing is, what I really, really, really liked was that little slope, the mini black slope there. But I can't, because I need to cover the thing behind it, and it doesn't let me make it look beautiful. That's the depressing thing. So that didn't work. But we found an alternate solution that did work. And that's what matters. It's annoying to do because the, it won't tessellate very well. <laughs> but that's okay. We can live with that. Because this this piece right here, this silly ramp, has to be done individually. But I can make it more simpler by doing this. Uh-oh. Did I screw up? <sighs> Where's the pipe gonna go? I know. We let these guys go down one more. I can't rechange the outside of this because it's going to look ugly. But we sink them into the ground. We let them go down and level. Which then annoyingly means I have to deal with the piping on this side. But it's fine. I can make the piping go along a line. I can build this out fatter. It's going to be a fat train, but it's fine. 
It's fine. I can't. I don't want to change the design now. The design looks beautiful. So we cannot. We've got to commit. Cannot abandon it now. We've gone too far, chat. Too far. And it's too beautiful to stop. Stone hammer broke. Again. Of course, of course. But it's all worth it. Luckily, I have plenty of limestone at this lovely base. And I can eat some nice ribs. Perfect. Oh man, if I build this thing to look too good, people are going to notice. <laughs> but I can't do a half job, Chad. If we're going to pollute the world, we're going to do it the right way. Okay, that's beautiful. No, 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 no. You janky. There we go. Oh. Wait, what? There we go. I don't know why that was being janky. Okay. Getting onto the roof is actually a little bit trickier than expected. But we did get lucky there. <gasps> Wait, it does work as a line! Okay, never mind. We're set. This actually saves me time and effort. And it's beautiful. Oh! <laughs> jumped into the water. Okay, now how are we going to do this? I want to rotate you that way. And I want you all the way here. Nice! Look at that! It's coming together, boys! I just have to redo this whole middle bit. Oh, wait! No, it needs to be over one. Whoops. Because I need to account for the pipes. Crap. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Let's pick it up now before we make the mistake. I almost forgot about the pipes. And it'll look better as well, because then the steam's coming out the exact center. Yeah, 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 yeah. It all, it all falls together, chat. This was all completely planned from the beginning. I'm just a master of disguises, thinking like I don't know what I'm doing. It's all gonna be beautiful. Oh no, the worst part is, I just remembered. Is it culture or is it actual money that the admins give out for builds that they like? Because I saw someone the other day, somebody's like, Oh, your bridge is great, and the admin gave him something. It's culture? If I get culture for this... <laughs> oh, it's gonna be horrible. It's gonna be absolutely horrible. The admins would approve. Alright, so what am I doing? I'm going down, I need that, I need this over, right? Yeah, I need it to be this far out. Okay, okay, because then we've got one, two, three, the space, and then the wall. One, two, three, the space, and then the wall. Perfect! That's 100% perfect. Only thing I need now is some sand, because I didn't realize I built it too close to the coast. I mean, I did realize it. I did it on purpose, so the pipes could be really close. I didn't have to waste too much pipage. Um, maybe we could sneak some pipes down into the water so nobody notices there's pipes coming out of the train. It's for the town as well? Nice. Nice. So, sneaky snow is always sneaky. But sneaky snow might need a little bit of sand. So, hopefully people are selling sand and I can grab some. Um, oh, wait, I forgot to... Oh, yeah, I need to put it through the middle as well. Yay, we need to lower that by one. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, I know what I'm doing. Totally. 
and I'm saving on wood planks because I'm putting this on sand because this doesn't need I would feel chimney pipe must have only one open end what do you mean chimney pipe must have only open one open end what's like that mean there is only one chimney pipe on top of it oh I put a block above it That's what it means. Okay, I panicked because I didn't I didn't finish the build. Okay, it's all good. That's why I said connect them. Yeah, yeah, all good. Thank you. I I am on board with it. I just pan panicked for a second. Water's fine. Outlaw. It doesn't need to be on any sort of ground. Perfect. Perfect. And then the infinite train of destruction will be ready. Oh, I did a stupid. That's not new. I wasn't meant to put blocks here. That's where the pipes go. Okay, I thought I was doing good. I did not do good. Okay, what am I forgetting? To do the wall correctly. That's what I'm forgetting. Perfect. Then I need to do the bottom bit and everything correctly. Okay, we're on we're on board now. That's the wrong thing. That's the tool storage. Good, good, good. Perfect. My food is doing well. I'm keeping up with everything. We have piece of you. Yeah, that's why I need more sand. This is going to look weird sitting over water. But that's okay. It's going to be the sandy train for our lovely Sandy Shores Desert. It's just it's just going to fit perfectly. <gasps> that's why I want it flat behind it. Because it's going to expose what's behind here. Mm. Mm. I have an idea to solve my problem. That solves my problem. It's going to be a longer train. Wait, no, it doesn't solve my problem, does it? It's going to cost more, but the price of fashion is worth it. Hmm. The price of fashion is always worth it. I knew I wasn't crazy. I am crazy, but I'm not that crazy. Okay. So if we change the design, well, not change the design, but we change this design to going forward, but leave a gap in between each one. We can then put water pipes to go up along the side of the smoke pipes. Or down, why not down? Genius snow. You can just go down with the water pipes, then you're not spending as much. And you can go through the sand. 
And I gotta make sure it's not sand. Because if it's sand, it'll crumble underneath the pipe, so it'll go two spaces down. Oh god. I'm making this more complicated than I have to. But it's gonna look pretty, so it has to be complicated. Okay, I know what I'm doing. That means I don't need to buy sand from anyone, I could just move the sand that I have here. Perfect. And that means the iteration's better. And also means I can start making, like, cabooses and cars. I can start splitting up the design slightly. How am I gonna do that? Because as much as this looks like a really good train, it's all one piece. That's the real trick. How do I segment? Oh, I know. I know how to do it. How many do we want? We want four? Four is a good number. This is why we have corners, baby. Where is it? 45 degrees. God, I'm a genius. That's beautiful. And then I can fix it for the roofs as well. Because there's corner roofs in the game. Oh my god, that looks so freaking good. I can even leave a gap between them. Nah, I probably shouldn't. Um, I'm thinking of leaving a gap with a piece of... Okay, I need to test something. The reason why I want to try and think of a gap... I look so good, Snow Self-Esteem. Hey, I'm allowed to have some. Self-Esteem's good for you. Every now and again. Uh, where's the flat piece? Do I go walls? No, walls doesn't cover it. See, I was worried about covering that flat bit. No, no, there's not much in here that does it. The ramp, kind of? No, not really. I might just have to go with the inlet and just have the assumption that there's cars. Yeah, nothing here is going to give me what I want. Unless I go full blockading and make it actually separate. But then that reduces that, that screws over the design. Oh, it might open up the lookings towards the piping, though. Okay. I'll see how that goes, but no, I do like the uh, the look of this very much so. That looks amazing, and then I'd have to shuffle this over. Oops. One, two, three, four. And then I remove you and I remove you. And then we're back to another car piece. It's looking good, Chad. It's looking good. I just have to solve the one problem of how do we hide the piece? Yeah, that looks so freaking good. Will the piping be screwed over by this situation? Let me do a test. Mm, 
Doc Pillar Beam? Yeah, Doc Pillar Beam is probably very similar to the piping. aesthetic to it. Intrigue, aesthetic. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's it's not the worst thing that could be poking through. Steam would be worse. Is there any way I can cover it up, though? Maybe. Maybe I cheese it by getting rid of these two. pieces. Okay. Do I like it? I do like it with the separate a bit more. Crap, I'm liking the separation. Okay, wait, wait, what if... Is there anything I can put in between here? Yes, there is. Kind of works. It's not perfect. Because all I need is that center area to be invisible. Like, like not... How do I do this? How does it look natural, but also hiding what we're trying to hide? Dock corners could work. Leave it open? I could leave it open. I know. It, it's, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Yeah, that looks weird. That looks very weird. What if I did it inverted? Oh! Oh! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if I did that above? I mean, I'm thinking of fashion, I'm not thinking of functionality. Give me a second. God, I gotta stop thinking of fashion. I need function, I need function. But that looks so good, I can't pass up the opportunity. Oh, I missed the timing on it. Damn it, that looks good. What have I done? What have I done? I'm actually turning it into a train. What am I doing? Chat, stop me. Wait, wait, maybe there's a way of saving this. Yep, that's one way to stop me, chat. Thank you. You know, I'll just build it further into the ground. Screw it. Screw it. This is looking way too damn good. Oh my god, this is looking so good. <laughs> I gotta stop. I gotta stop while I'm ahead. That looks so nice. I'll just build it further into the ground. Screw it. 
And I'm gonna get a lot of sand in the process. Okay, I'm happy. Requires extra effort, but the effort's worth it. And I'm even gonna go with the, the up bits here as well. Actually, am I, or is that going to look ugly? That looks weird. No, I don't like that. Nope. That middle bit looks weird. If only there were half pieces for this. I'm really asking a lot, aren't I? Okay, that's good enough. The fact that it slopes inward is good. It has got the nice little fringes on the sides, which makes it look very fancy. That's good. I'm okay with that. We'll have to work around it, but it's fine. It's fine indeed. Uh, that also means I need to go with solid. Oh, wait, it's flooring, isn't it? Yeah, it's flooring. Point and click. Drag it the whole way. Come with me, buddy. Come on. Good. Uh, which then means I need to get rid of you. Chat, what turned out to be a funny idea has turned into a masterpiece. And I'm not that surprised. I probably should be more surprised. But it's going to be beautiful. It's just going to be so dang beautiful. And we are going to enjoy it. So yeah, that's what this game can do to you. <laughs> Turn war crimes into beauty. Eh, it's every game we play. Just not everybody can appreciate our beauty. If it works, exactly, Ree. If it works, don't knock it. And get paid for it. I'm going to be getting paid for all this power generation as well. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's going to help the, pol the pollution, the, the people, the, the three P's of success. Pollution, people, and profits. Can't have one without the other. In the slightest. Okay, so that's beautiful, that's beautiful. Uh, what else am I forgetting? Oh, yep, the middle section of here. Uh, one, two, three, four, which means I need to get rid of you, you, and you. I need to cycle you guys around, which means I need to copy it on the other side, of course. One, two, and then I rotate you. One, two, three, four. So the Battle Brothers look like the first person view? Exactly. It's just the right amount of war crimes. Looks exactly the same. Welcome, Nezar. Good to see you, man. Hope things are well. We are building a pollution train. It just makes sense. It just doesn't make sense. Don't question it. It's perfectly normal. It's just normal eco gameplay. <laughs> oh, and it's starting to look so beautiful, too. One, two, three, four. And then we clean out you and you, and then we're done for this section. Sweet. One, two. I'm too hungry to do that. Well, I need some spare ribs, buddy. Spare ribs always solves hunger problems. Perfect. Now we need to switch to corners.
Uh oh. There we go. One, two. Oh, there's a little bit of a lip in here. Oh, that's fine. No one's going to look up that lip. I need flat pieces. We'll go flat the whole way, then fix it. That should be fine. 11 more. Oh no, I'm running out of blocks. Well, this is a monumental project, so... I gotta be more careful, chat. And also, we gotta hide the evidence. <laughs> no one can tell there's 11 steam engines in here polluting the environment if they're all in my inventory. <laughs> it's the perfect crime. Uh, should I take all this wood back with me? Yeah. No? No. No, we'll leave the wood here for the moment. No. Big brain moments, exactly. I'm holding all of these steam engines. It's the safest way to transport them. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's lemon. I've got a big backpack chat, it makes sense. Brent Lay, thanks for the resub at tier one for six months, man. Much appreciated. Welcome to the stream, man. Glad you're enjoying. Half a year indeed, half the anniversary. The other half will just it, it's it's the second six months is always faster than the first six months, man. No issues at all. But welcome, welcome. We're building pollution train and uh getting away with it. Completely. Sevi asks if anyone needs a mechanical water pump. Well, <laughs> now that you ask. Nah, I just want the cheap one. The cheap one should be fine. I'll we'll just have to find one eventually. But more importantly, we will try and... Oh, wait. I should cut down some trees. I'm a fool. Chop trees first snow, and then we're good to go. Hmm. Yeah, these cacti are pretty easy to chop. Yeah, they'll fit in the inventory. Clickbait is not the dolphin game. Fake right. Good afternoon. It is not the dolphin game, but it's still it's still good afternoon. Infernal. Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome, welcome. Don't worry, we're gonna kill all the dolphins, so there's nothing to worry about. Oh my goodness. There's more people buying steam engines, chat. There's more people. Another admin's buying steam engines. Oh, this is beautiful. And here's the fun part. It's just going to get worse. That was a long time ago. Hey, it's long time. Not a problem. Not a problem. Well, don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll kill even more dolphins, okay? You know what? I'm sure there's a few left. There will be a few left. Not after us, though. Did you ask anyone to eco the dolphin? They wouldn't know what you're talking about? Probably. Probably indeed. Uh, let's go with storage and let's try and turn these into. into. human logs, please. Yeah, we're making a very big project. There we go, shift click. I was wondering why it wasn't working. Yeah. If you can't get a mechanical, buy a normal one. Yep, that's the way to do it. We've learned it firsthand, and we'll do it. We'll do it again. Where is. There we are, 97. 97's okay. I told you, chat. I told you. Route 66 is pumping out steam engines. It's not going to be long. And this is a big world. I can totally believe that small worlds. Very easy to pollute. And here I thought it was going to be hard to do pollution. Man, was I wrong. See, the trick is, chat... We just need to wait for the right moment. Actually, sooner the better. No, 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 no. If we turn them all at once, it'll be suspicious. 
It'll be very suspicious. So we need to turn on like one at a time, or maybe two at a time. And then just keep them running. Yeah, no, no, we can't do it all at once. Way too risque. But how beautiful is that looking so far? That is looking so beautiful. Oh, I love it. All at once, Trico. Oh, God. Give the admins a heart attack. Yeah, that's the great idea. I'm sure they won't mind. I'm sure they won't notice. <laughs> oh, it's going to be great. Uh, let's roll that to there. That to there. Thank you very much. Okay, could you dip that? You silly thing. Doesn't like to cancel when I want it to cancel. Okay, so we've got that, that, and that. That's looking beautiful. And then we just need to fix up the roofs and stuff, and we're good to go. Is there an otter on top of my train? Go away! I said... Okay, he listened. Good otter! I mean, totally house trained and everything. Sure. He went away. <laughs> Not the way I expected him to, but who am I to complain? Okay, we got our roof corners done. We now need roof sides. Uh oh. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, I need to do the end here. I knew I was forgetting something. There we go. Now we need the corners. Uh, which is this one. Now we need the sides. Beautiful. Nice. Let me deal with the dock ramps. Oh, I forgot to delete these. I was like, wait a minute, I know I'm doing something wrong. I know I'm doing something wrong because it doesn't seem right. I know, that sounds obvious, but it makes sense, chat. Oh, wait, I needed the dock corner. Oh, God, that's beautiful. Oh, absolutely beautiful. The only thing I'm missing is the little fringe on this side. Eh, eh, I wish I could jump higher. Ah, son of a biscuit. I have to build myself a miniature ladder or something. I swear I know how to jump. There we go, got it. Oh, when you say everything makes sense, hey, hey, hey. It, it kind of makes sense. It's good enough. It makes enough sense. And I fell. Yeah. There we go. Construction hazards, chat. They always get you.
Nope, that's not where I wanted you. Oh my goodness, can you just be easy? Thank you. Uh, we need the side. There we go, all the way to here. Actually, you know what? Screw it. It's probably easier if I just go the whole way with the side and then take it out like I do with the other pieces. Yeah, that's that's easier. That is so much easier. Okay. Yes. Starting the expansion of the house and business note. That's gonna take a big break. No worries, you man. You take care of yourself. And enjoy a nice little break. Because supposedly you need sleep too. Supposedly. But sleep is for the week, so. We will try not to be weak here today, boys. We will be strong. <laughs> we will not give in to the temptation of sleep. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. It's going to be a masterpiece. For evil. <laughs> That's what I love about this. Like, we're going on about how beautiful we're making the train, but we're doing it for evil. It's the only way to do things. Building an arc to a house of two everything you make extinct. Exactly! And we'll take it home with us, and no one else is allowed. No one's allowed in. Oh my goodness, my hammer broke again. Not again. I already said alligators are going first. That's, they're on my hit list. Anything after that is just a concession prize. I don't think I was going to get much further than the alligators. <laughs> but hey, one can dream. Just remember, if you take out all the animals that, with some global warming, you know, then you get all the prizes. <laughs> uh, let's go for these two. Uh-oh. Um, ooh, ooh. Pixel hunting is tricky. But we got it. That one was easy. Easier than expected. Why was it easier? I don't know. No! Pixel hunt this. There's one pixel that it works on. Oh, for the love of God. And I keep clicks. I keep missing it. Did I cancel it? No, I canceled it by accident. Oh, that was frustrating. These angles and these little pixels, man. Train heights a bit for hobbits? Uh, for the moment, I'm digging out the base of it. So I'm, I'm going to be digging it deeper for everything inside of the train. So it's for hobbits at the moment because I'm trying to get the design correct. but it will turn into hobbits with the basement. Okay, that's beautiful. Let's rotate here.
Oh, I didn't do this one. Nice. Did I miss any here? Nope. Miss any corners here? Nope. Nope, we're good. We're Gucci. And it looks beautiful. Look at that. Look how freaking good that looks. Holy crap, chat. That is nice. I screwed up over here, but other than that, the, the, the tessellation. We have the tessellation. And all we need to do is just copy and paste. Well, if the game had copy and paste, I would be on board with that. But regardless if it doesn't have copy and paste or not, I... Oops, I screwed up. Oh, that's fine. I can always fix the screw up. I forgot to go over the fourth wheel instead of into... I accidentally went into the fourth wheel. <laughs> Rookie mistake. I know, I know. What do you expect? Okay, that's looking good. Uh, oh, that's a grasshopper. Nice to see you, buddy. Nice. Snow up and I almost destroy the world. Hey, who said I woke up? <laughs> I'm still keen to go to bed. Oh my goodness, it's already almost one o'clock in the morning. I can't stay up too much longer, but the fact that we have this down pat shot, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be gorgeous. All right, let's clean up the middle because this is what we need to do. And then we just need to change. We need to get the sand. How many levels below this? Two levels? I don't know. I don't know how many levels below I need to go, but this this train ain't moving. It's just for show and for destruction purposes. Wait. Did I do something stupid? Oh god. One, two, three, four. It was meant to be five. Ah, I'll fix it. I was like, wait a minute, that looks a little small. That doesn't look symmetrical. It's fine. <laughs> fine. It's fine. I forgot I extended it one size. The snowman's brain is slowly switching off for sleep. But I cannot fail. I cannot fail my destructive needs. And this world's demise is stuck into my two snowy hands. And our lovely mayor hasn't ratted me out yet, so we're doing well. We're doing well, chat. So I need to get rid of you, 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 and you. So everything on this row. Damn it. Alright, it's not the end of the world, but once we fix this, it'll look better. It'll look back to normal. Still looks great. Like, there's nothing wrong with this build. It's wonderful. But I did measure it slightly wrong. There we go. Just extend it over to one block further. Okay. I can easily do that by standing up here, though. Easy. Easy! Alright, let's do this. Uh, let's eat a little bit. And I fell off, but I was also trying to go in fix my hammer. 
and also use the point and click one. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We fix you, and we go over. And we're set. I need to build better stairs. I changed you to a line fill, thank you very much. Okay, that's good. That's good. What's a coyote doing on my train? Get out of here! How do these animals always find a way? Stinking nature finds a way. Yeah, yeah, you run off. This train's here to kill you all, not add you on board. I'm not building the ark for you guys. It's just for me. I'm not sharing. Sharing's for people that don't want to get zapped. Eh, I guess that's most people. They say drinking water is good for you, so just giving extra water for the world. Okay, good stuff. Uh, then I'm missing... I can miss the corners, but I'd rather go for the flats. There we go, that's good. Do I go over one more? Oh, fudge, I might have to go one more. Yeah. But not salt water? Hey, hey, hey. Who said you're allowed to be picky, Re? Drink up your water. And we got nothing to worry about. Oh, yeah, I meant to go two across. Uh, I'll screw that up again. Come on, come on, Snow. You've got your tessellations, you've got your brain working. you got your symmetry. Symmetry, good. There we go. And now that's a one. Good, good. Portable steam engines. Ooh, that's a thing. I wonder how much power that uses. Anyways. Well, we'll worry about the details later. What's important is the pollution train. Okay, that's good. Oh, this is so easy. Once you get to jump around your own creation. Oh, it feels so good. Okay, uh, I need to change you to go here. Good. If I don't fall off, we're gonna have a Gucci time. Gonna have everything sorted. Good. Did I forget about you? I did. But I didn't. Exactly. Nice. Slight lag, we're good. So now teach us to how to drink water. Don't worry, don't worry. In time, you will know which water to drink and which ones not to drink and uh, how much to drink. In time, your life will only really revolve around water. So, it's, it's a learning process for us all. I mean, when I say us all, I mean everybody else. <laughs> Not a problem for me. I'll be sailing long gone. Buying stocks and boats. And hydroponics. And <laughs> miniature desalination portable plants. So I can uh, survive on my houseboat of victory. <laughs> How about yellow water that's lukewarm? Well, that one's lemon flavored. Maybe. I, I am legally obligated to not dis disclose that type of information. It's an NDA. Um, but you'll find out soon enough. Ah, oh, son of a biscuit. Oh. 
But what if it was frozen and turned into snow cones? That's where the true question lies. Because yellow snow is better in snow cone form. <laughs> okay, we're doing the finishing touches. I just need to get the wings up as well. Because it looks a little bit basic without the wings. Yeah, the wings look so much better with it. There we go. Beautiful. It's a little bit wide. It's a little wide, chat. But you're not really caring about that when you look at it from the side. When you look at it from the side, it looks so good. Oh my. <laughs> we've created greatness here today, chat. We haven't finished greatness, but we've created it. And that's all that matters. We're on the road to amazing places. And those amazing places include a lot of pollution. But that's okay. That's okay. We just need the front and back to look pretty fancy. Um, what I can also do, which I am considering, is we can do things for windows. Mm, it's not looking like there's many options for me. But I'm thinking like... Oh my goodness, that looks nice. Is that better though? Ooh, I don't know if that's better. Hmm. What's the alternative? What if I go here? Oh no. Oh no, I'm out of wood again. It's bad to demolish everything. How dare you? Instead of seeing this and this one, they're the same thing. All oh, one's upside down. Mm. The upside down's worse, that's for sure. Ladders as windows could be interesting. You know what? Ironically, I thought it would have been weird. But it's not bad. It gives it a more homey touch. It's, it's not bad. I might think of something better. But for the moment, both options are okay. Plane is okay. I mean, all three are kind of okay. I still think that we should do something. Something small. Very minute. Like, nothing more than these two. Nothing too crazy. But I like it. I'll go get some more hewn logs from home. Actually, I should bring some wood with me. Oh, actually, let's take up desert desert trees. Nice. I am intrigued when I wake up. Not waking up. I'm not going to do this when I wake up tomorrow. Probably going to sleep in a little bit. Um, after hockey, when I come home for lunch and stuff. Log on maybe a teeny weeny bit before the stream. I'm going to check how much pollution's on. Even without starting up the generators. I think I'm going to go to bed tonight without putting the generators on. We're just trying to finalize the build as much as possible. 
But for next week, we will definitely be having the generators on. <laughs> it's going to be beautiful. I bet you by this time next week, though, um, they might actually be in industry. Industry with oil drilling. So my impact is probably going to be very minimal, so to speak, but like 200 ppm, chat. Wait, because um, our lovely mayor got me an extra one, 220 ppm. I mean, okay, think of it mathematically. 500 buffer from plants, 25 from animals. So technically it's a 475 buffer. 220 is half the buffer. Practically. And then, in order to actually start having bad pollution, it's 340 above that. So it's it's pretty good. We have plenty. Plenty of more room to grow. Plenty. Also, where's my leftover? It didn't pick up any of the pulp. Well, that sucks. I wanted the pulp. Okay, fair enough. It's gonna be difficult, aren't you? You darn cacti. And yeah, building out of the public eye. I'm worse than the asteroid. <laughs> hey, the asteroid kills everybody. I'm just upping the waterfront property. Okay? When you reduce the amount of properties that are waterfront to like maybe a small couple miniature islands, then those prices go up. And as long as I buy the peaks of mountaintops and I keep that as prime real estate, I get to either keep everybody off my property or sell it at an exorbitant price. Chat, remember this game is about eco, economics. Not ecology. <laughs> it's all about that moolah. We gotta make that money. And we can't do it just sitting around doing nothing. We can't just be bystanders. We have to be makers and shakers. And if you want an economy that works for you, you gotta build the economy the way you want it. <laughs> oh, it's great. Ooh, ooh, actually, no, that's kind of ugly. I think that's gonna be too fat. Ugh. Yep, that's too fat. That's way too fat. If there was a skinny version of this... If only there was a skinny version that was like half the size. See, that's nice if it was a single, but I think I do have a single. <gasps> That looks stupid. No, it looks like I cut up the. It looks like I cut up the car into four little small slices. Looks like a. It looks like a train turned into a birthday cake. No, 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 no. I wanted these to possibly be horizontal. But I can only rotate it around the top axis. Fudge. Dang it. No, I mean that was a good idea. It just can't be rotated the way I want it to. Crap. Uh, and then you're hanging off the edge, which sucks. You're small. No, 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 I think I've lost it. No, that's off the middle. Alright, I think that's it. I think there's no other cool things I can do. I'm gonna be honest, I think the stairs is the way to go. I'm not the stairs, the, um... The ladders. It looks good. It's a minimalist. There's only three of them. I could alternate. I like both. I'm gonna be honest, I like both. So what if I... Eh. 
Everybody loves oscillation. Everybody loves alternation. Uh, we go with the over, right? Is the over the under? It's the under. It's going to be longer. The train's going to be longer. But uh, which one do I like better? Maybe it was better with an empty one alongside it. So it's three. I don't know. Something feels off. else I can do. There's the corner, there's the roof corner. Okay. I think we have to go with the three. Second cart from the left is off the top. Second cart from the left, that means it's this one. Off the top. Maybe it's just the angle that you're looking at, but all the carts should be the same. Don't think I'm missing anything, though. Do let me know if I am. I said nothing. I see every cart's the same. <laughs> Thank you, Ree. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's just try this. Yeah, three three colors oscillating, three three types. Maybe the you know what? It might be the it might be the ladders. I don't know, it just, it doesn't fit. But I have a stupid idea. That is a very stupid idea. Why did that not rotate? Wait, I wanted it to be horizontal. Snakes and ladders, I know, right? Preposterous. This isn't a window, but it simulates a window. Because it's indented. It's also me lagging. Considered eels and escalators. Ooh, I do like eels. And I do think escalators are pretty cool. Okay, I am really lagging. Server? I think the server's telling me to go to bed. Server, you good? It's rare opportunities that I do get issues. Let's just exit to main menu and come back in. Oh, I just want to fix up the design a little bit and then I'll go to bed. I'm not going to be able to finish. I need to do a lot of sand work, and then we need to put the engines down in the ground and use the train as a cover story to it. But we're almost done. We're so close to finishing the design. I just want to get those windows right, because the plane cars are okay. They're not bad, but just like the roof, we can do better. We can do better. So... I think that those indented walls as fake windows could be pretty cool. I just need to stand back and see what it looks like. Hmm. Your 
crazy and I've seen someone to go such lengths. <laughs> hey, come on, man. It's worth it. It's gonna be worth it in the end. When we're all swimming on waterfront property, it's gonna be totally worth it. And the people who have been in the previous season, which was season 10, because we're on season 11 of this server, the people on season 10 were like, oh my goodness, it was a small world. We let it think. We covered it with water. And I'm like, you know what? This is a big world. How about we do it again? <laughs> I'm just assisting the process. That's it. And I'm doing it in a way that no one will suspect it. If no admin thinks of looking inside my train. Perfect plan to sell the lumber? Exactly. Exactly. It's the way to do it. Make all the boats. Save the people to floating islands. And off with a seawall, too. We could make some lumber seawall, something protective of the team. If you can make something efficient and buildable, we'll buy it. Unfortunately, I'm using human logs, so it's pretty basic. But I'm sure I'll find a use for the lumber. Okay, let's take a look, chat. No. You can't even tell it's an indented from a distance. God, it's so flush with itself. Watch. What if I did it incrementally? Oh, what I remember what happens when you do it incrementally. Use the hills that leave them with no choice but expensive lumber. Exactly, Budgie, exactly. Or they look at my creation and they're like, you know what? We could do you we could do lumber for this instead. Give them ideas, because everyone likes building with bricks and stone. Give them the good old-fashioned lumber treatment. Bring it back to the good old days of wood. And that's me speaking with a person with a stone house, because I didn't have a good chance of getting a lot of trees early on. <laughs> you know what my final offer is, chat? Not oscillating, but two cars apiece. Two, two empties, two spikes. It's pretty good. <sighs> Unless Budgie gets me a cool little lumber thing that could maybe add it to the edge of this, or maybe a painting. Mm. Glass? No, but glass is not good. You know what, I might have to try lumber. If I put lumber walls in, it might be a different color. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, some co some wall pieces, yeah. Every type of mat has different blocks, and they also look different against each other. They interact differently with the blocks. It's not like Minecraft where a dirt block is always a dirt block. In this game, it's more complicated than that. They do different things. They look so different. Oh, I missed a piece. Of course I did. Did I miss any other pieces? No, we're good. We'll have to oscillate this a uh, few more times because we're gonna need at least six cars. At least. And if we keep collecting more steam engines, which we might have to check the pollution and the... Um... Oh no. There's more. And a steam truck! Yeah, it's not that much, though. It's only 0 0.2. But it's 400 bucks. It's not too bad. We could drive around in our truck promoting pollution. But look at this. There is six, seven more steam engines. Before I log off, I, I have to, I have to. That puts us up to 18 steam engines, chat. I have to do it. I need to make the train long. God, I have to do this so badly. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. It's going to be awesome. 
Oh my goodness. Truck around with the steam engine. Exactly, exactly. Uh, maybe I put like the truck in front of it. <clears throat> and I just sit in it. Because the thing about, the st uh, about vehicles is if you just sit in the vehicle, it uses fuel. You just have to sit inside it. Yeah, what purpose does the train have? To um, destroy the world. <laughs> as we know it. That's all it is. It also is there as a cover story. And it's there to look good. And if the feds come around, they'll just see a train. They won't see the evil machinations inside. It is genius. Utter genius. And I'll get culture for it, too. Because if the devs like it enough, not the devs, the admins like it enough, they'll promote it and be like, hey, look at this beautiful thing. Maybe take a photo of it. But nobody knows the deep, dark secrets inside. And nobody's going to question why I have seven to 18 freaking steam engines. No one's going to question it. No one's picking up on the fact that I'm just buying them all. It's fine. Maybe they think I'm going to resell it if anyone's actually paying attention. They'll be like, oh yeah, he's totally buying them up for like an eco economics resale. Yeah. Yeah. Clearly a hacker. <laughs> exactly. And and I'll 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 stop firing the train for one million dollars. Yes, yes. The government will have to pay me to save the planet in order to turn off my machines, my death-defying machines, my death-creating machines. The government will have to pay me a million dollars. There's not even that much money in circulation. I will totally bankrupt the economy. And then some. Or, you know, destroy the world. Probably one of the two. <laughs> oh, this is funny. But it's also going to be very beautiful. Like, that train idea, the, the design we've gone with, it's really nice. I actually like it a lot. No one's bought anything for me since I've been gone. I'm so poor. Oh, no. Are you in a high flux economy, Budgie? Are you feeling like the world is on your shoulders? Wouldn't you just want to get rid of all the world? And your shoulders? Then come on down to Snow's Pollution Train. We need you to somehow scrounge enough money to beg for more steam engines to pay to add to our steam engine train. Sign up today. <laughs> buy my lumber, you maniac. Hey, I've got enough money. I could buy some lumber. I, I could. I could. How much money do I still have? 2.2 grand. Oh, I, I splurged today and spent 500 bucks. On steam engines. That's that's it. 500 bucks. Wait for me. I'm going to go sign up to stuff. <laughs> we will wait. We will definitely wait. I will be very happy with your cooperation. Also, am I going to sneak under these guys' noses and buy the engines? Whoops. Oh, no. Were you guys wanting those? Oh, I need that water collector, though. Sweet. I almost forgot about that. Portable steam engines. Those are expensive. I'm just going to use the easy ones. I already have everything built for it. Okay. See ya, suckers. <laughs> oh, wait. Where's the rest of the steam engines? I'm up to 14. Titanic Industries is... Oh, that's not far. Adorable Shopkeepers is... Oh, that one again. Okay. I know where I need to go. Uh, I can get up to 18 steam engines, I think, now. So that's... Math. 3,600. 360. Oh my god. That's gonna be beautiful. I swear the admins will panic if I put them all at once. I have to do this smart chat. Because every time the admins log in, anybody has anybody logs in, they'll see how much has changed in terms of pollution. They've got to. So I've got to be careful. Okay. Where is Titanic again? Ah, oh, it's a bit further. I thought it was closer. 
We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But I'm keen. Keen to see how this goes. Hi, Titanic. Didn't realize that was your name, but I've been here before once. Thank you for the three steam. Wooden transport ships. Ooh, that's cool. Steam truck. Very cool. Wow. I like it. It doesn't pollute anything, though. That's disappointing. But thank you for your cooperation, dude. You don't know how valuable you are now. To the pollution empire. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, look at that cool car. Uh, it is faster. It's just not as fast as running, I don't think. Running is always the fastest. I've also got speedy boots on, which increase my running speed by like me like 5% or something really crappy. But it does make me a little bit faster running around. So I will not complain. Any little boost is a boost. And to think, all of this would not be possible if I wasn't a farming baron that ripped off the entire world. <laughs> If you treated your farmers better, we wouldn't be in this situation. Oh man, that hydroponics thing. Plus also the amount of farming that I did was... Those fields are a bit too big. But they did very well. Getting like a thousand papaya from every crop reeled is... Is a lot to flood the economy with. So the cooks are doing well. They're just not buying enough for me. And and the thing is, I taught a lot of people valuable lessons. The valuable lesson is don't keep infinite at your store. I taught that to a lot of people. <laughs> if you're buying an infinite supply of something, I, I will burn you to the ground and sell as much as I can to earn money. This economy is not stable, so I will earn as much coin as I can. And then now use it for ill-gotten, not ill-gotten gains, but maybe slightly ill uh, practices. Yeah, that, that's probably what we'll call it. Not that I will um, completely admit it. <laughs> oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, that's right. This is the guy I bought stuff from the beginning. Do you have any more left over, buddy? He's got one. That puts us up to 18. Wait, has he got one more? No, it's still out of stock. Dang it. Bye, Budgie, you slave driver. I'll buy some of his stuff. I'll go home and spend some money on Budgie. Make sure that Lumber can be a nice little addition to my, you know... Weapon of mass destruction. God. 18 already. That's going to take up a lot of space, which means I'm going to need a lot of hewn logs. I guess I could make some of the cars lumber. Yeah, I might buy his lumber. How much is he selling your lumber at, Budgie? If it's, like, anything under a dollar, that's pretty good. 1.5? Ooh, 1.5, though. That's kind of expensive. For my building tastes, that's going to clean me out. I'll buy a little bit. i got to keep saving money for the machines. How much could I do for one car? No, 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 it's not your fault. It's not your fault for the lowest that you can do. It's the fact that I'm going super cheap with my world destruction build. 
I'll buy a handful of it for the moment, maybe like 20 pieces or something, and see what I can do with the builds. See if there's places and parts of the builds that make it look better. I'm sure it's got a place in my build somewhere. Did you do milling as well? I'm pretty sure you can do flaxseed oil, right? Did anyone buy that from you? What if you can sell? Is anyone buying it? I think there's a decent number of lumber in the world, so that's a tricky one to try and get rid of. But the flax seeds should be pretty easy. Oh, everyone's making loads for cheap. You need to be level 3. Yeah, that makes sense. There's got to be something within your two professions that gets you at least a little bit of money that's consistent, that people need. There's got to be something. I was able to exploit all the millers by selling them flaxseed. I was able to exploit the shopkeepers of um, cooks by selling them a bunch of random food bits. There's got to be something you can do. Millers are starting to make a bit of color. The colored product stuff. But I don't think that's in a high high demand. But there were a few options for it. Hmm. I still think oil is not a bad thing to go for because it's used in cooking too. And it's going to be used in some more mechanical things. Oil is a good one to go with. So try and maybe get up to level 3 if possible. Even if it's selling for cheap everywhere. There might be a cheap way of you making it. Because remember, remember. What you need, Budgie, is you need a basic upgrade 4. Or whatever the equivalent is for your for your industry. To make your efficiency better. It, costs, it makes your resources cost like 50% less and stuff. It's insane. That looks cool. The mayor's been making the town look pretty nice. All this brickwork and everything. Fancy. Uh, what am I looking for? Sweet. Let's go over to Budgies. I don't know if lumber is... Oh, I might have to... I'm no longer a member of Logistics. I'm no longer a member of Trucker Level 2. Well then what am I? I was never a part of the Truckers. That, I've seen that message on a lot of people. What am I a member of then? Powered cart, wooden cart, farms, wooden cart, homestead, personal account, federation. I, I don't know. Thank you for kicking me out of the trucking company, even though I wasn't really... Oh, my, I might have been capitalizing off the trucking, maybe. Maybe. Maybe the admins didn't realize certain things. I didn't join trucking. I'm confused. All right, let's go and grab some lumber. Inventory's full. I thought so. It's the same slot. I don't play with lumber much. Oh, you got colored powder. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'll come back for some lumber. It's a demographic? Oh. I thought it was part of the profession, like the trucking profession thing. And I'm like, I never joined it. So it proved to be weird. It's when you buy and sell for stores. Yes, yes. I was gaining some free cash from buying and selling to stores with the trucking stuff. I didn't know why. I was happy to get free stuff. But I never did it. Never, never understood why I got it. Oh, by the way, I'm at 18, um, Trico. <laughs> I have 18 engines now. Which is 360 pollution ppm when set up. I need to buy iron pipes eventually. Forgot about that. 
I'll deal with that later. That's not an important thing right now. I've got a full inventory. But 18 is looking pretty good. And uh, for the moment, the design's looking nice. I wasn't so certain about the windows. We're going with plain, but I would like to check out and see what lumber looks like from Budgie. So we'll have a look at that. Yeah. And this is just the start. He had, see what I told you? I told you. I'm creating a false uh, demand for steam engines. There have been 18 steam engines built that I have stolen from the economy to make it seem like people need more. So they're going to keep making them. Until I have no further use of them. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think I'm just going to keep going crazy with it. <laughs> <laughs> we have our gold shot, and as long as the nobody finds out, we're good. Making the machine from Fern Gully? Yeah, just the infinite train. People need steam engines? No, they don't. What are you talking about, Tigran? They don't need them. They can use their old engines. You're wrong that you create an artificial demand. I'm creating a not I'm not creating a complete artificial demand. I'm completing I'm making an artificial inflated demand. Is what I meant to say. Apologies for the wrong terminology. An artificially inflated demand, which I think I said earlier in the stream, but I might have, I might have not. But the point is, they, they'll seem like there's an increased demand, and they'll just keep making more and more and more. Because sometimes, when you're going to these mechanical places, they'll create up to a certain amount. They'll create up to like five. And then they're like, okay, I'm fine. I don't need to worry about resources too much. Don't need to worry about too much of anything else. But if they're creating up to their certain amount and they just keep, keeps getting bought, keeps getting bought, keeps getting bought, that's an artificially inc increased demand. And therefore, they're going to keep wanting to make more and I'm going to keep wanting to buy more. But I'm not using it for good gains. I'm using it for ill-gotten gains. Slightly. Slightly. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's good demands. Let's put this in the storage for the moment. We'll hide it in here. And let's go grab some lumber for Budgie to see if we can finish up this design. And hopefully the lumber solves the problem. Hopefully. Hopefully it looks beautiful. Trying to think what I would want the lumber for. I think it's just the windows. I think that's just all I need fixed. And maybe like the front, the back, maybe like the the, the main train in the caboose. So it restarts in 30 minutes. No worries, I'll be out of here by then. Gotta get me some sleep. Oh, someone's setting up where I left my old place. Oh, you have fun here. I didn't want to pollute so close to town, so you're fine. You have fun. Yeah. Actually, how much money does Budgie have? I feel bad for him. You bought yourself a $90 car. And he's not really trading much. He has 226. Okay, he's not that poor. He's a little bit poor, but he's not that poor, chat. Let's buy 20 lumber to see what it looks like. There, that's 30 bucks for him. Actually, I'll buy 25. We'll see what it looks like. Ooh, it's a little pasty. I wonder if there's a dark lumber, like a hardwood. There's a hardwood lumber in the game, but I don't know if that's like late game stuff. We'll see. Oh yeah, this one one eleven guy just moved into town. Nice. He's also invisible. Nice. Oh, Dogfood, welcome to the stream, man. Thank you so much for the raid. I was just about to finish up in a moment. So apologies, we won't be hanging out for too much longer because I need to get some sleep. I have I accidentally stayed up a little bit too late. But, um, why did I, okay, you can tell I'm, I'm tired. I didn't even do the shout out correctly. 
Apologies, apologies. The whole gang is here. Hey, Jesse, welcome, welcome, welcome home. Good to see you, lovely gang members. It's super late. Yeah, it's only 1.30 in the morning, so I apologize. But Eco's coming along nicely. Yes, we've jumped onto a different server because the previous server died. Nothing too fancy. It was vanilla. We've gone onto a super heavily modded server, and we're having fun. I've changed up professions to learn how it's going. And uh, the, the world is overpopulated in terms of its economy, so it's kind of flooded to the degree of... Just like, there's tons of resources everywhere. This is easy mode eco. Like, super easy mode eco. Like, you can play and get tons of resources super easily. But, in my hubris, and in my excess, I have gotten rich. That's not the problem. The problem is, I have gotten bored with life. And therefore, have decided to ruin it for everyone else <laughs> in my possession i i have um 18 at the moment they will it'll still keep getting more I, I already just bought like seven momentarily ago um 18 steam engines that produce pollution i'm gonna be making beachfront property for everybody so so much for the meteor i will be making a second uh issue for the world <laughs> and I'm disguising it in this beautifully made train. So right now, before we're finishing up today, I'm going to be trying to fix the design, because I like the spiked pieces coming out of here. I liked the... Uh, it's not very different. I liked the ladders to be like, oh, it's kind of like windows, but then I kind of didn't like it as much. So I was thinking, oh man, this lumber does not look much different to anything else. I could try this idea. Oh fudge, it's a different type of material. Alright, I gotta put it away. You can't hold two different materials at once. That's the annoyance I have with this game. Doesn't let you do it. Oh, by the way, sorry for talking so much, but uh, how was your stream, man? How'd you go? <laughs> Did you have fun today? Was it a good one? Wooden tray, what about the beauty of steel? Ah, oh, that's the thing. The steel on the inside retro. They will never know. It's the secret. The well-guarded secret. Oh! Wait a minute, this does look good. Does it look good from a distance, though? Well, kind of. Let me move it to the other one. Let's see if it looks better on this one. As a German, I have to protest windless trains carriages that are filled with pollution-producing engines. You have to protest against that specifically, Diagrin. That seems very specific. <laughs> but okay, I'll hear out your protests. Doesn't mean I'm doing anything about it. <laughs> yeah, let's put this here. Yeah, it's... Unless they're all like that. I don't know. That's a German talking about trains. <laughs> trains are great, okay? And if they help me further my goals, even if they might be slightly evil, trains are great. You can't, you can't knock the train for what it does not know that it's doing. And you know what? I don't hate... I mean, that kind of looks like a stand-up store, though. Kinda looks like a flippin' burger stand. Wait, wait. Now there's a reason I have to make it not actual windows. You can make windows in this game. Don't panic, this game's not archaic. I can't make it windows. Oh, I might make that solid, actually. Wait, that... That works. That's beautiful. I think that's great. That looks like our best iteration. That looks like small windows. 
It's faux windows. Yeah, and they're like, they're not too big. Like, it's too big over there. Kind of looks like this front of a store or something weird like that. But with the separation in the middle, it could pull it off. On the best run of Legends so far, I got the second crisis cleaned up looking at doing library tomorrow. Nice! That's pretty late game. You're probably at like day 180 or at least further than that. Maybe you're close to like day 200 or something. Nice, happy to hear it, dog food. What origin was it again? It wasn't gladiators, was it? No, that's what the vanilla people are doing all the time. Uh, you were doing... I want to say poachers, because you were doing uh, Pathfinder? Oh, Assassin! My bad. Apologies. I know someone was doing Pathfinder. Um, Day 260. Oh, it's even further. That's fine. That's fine. Day 260, 270. Not a problem, man. You don't have to rush in these types of games unless you get completely outscaled and then they have to like somehow bury your way back into the game. But no, that's good. Assassin's a fun origin. Uh, we did play it one time and enjoyed the daggery builds. They're a little bit tricky to get used to, but they're pretty fun. Yeah, the Assassin I, what is one of my favorite origins. It's one of my first origins that I really enjoyed in Legends, so it's a bit close to my heart. Because you start with a really cool character. The Assassin has great stats, super speedy, and he's pretty flexible for what you can build him into. You can really build him into a nice fencer, a dagger bro, or just like generally most things. He's a little squishy, but he's pretty good. Killing Ravel in the Woods at the start is great. Oh yeah. Oh, for sure. Rabble are deserving. Completely deserving of being cleaned up. Okay, let's put these out of the way. There we go. But at the same time, you can't underestimate the rabble. And that's what gets you killed. His Legends likes to make the rabble scarier. I don't know why. Because then again, the early game can have some easy points to it. So Legends are like, you know what? Let's make it more difficult. Thanks, Legends. Thanks. Okay, Budgie, I have need of more lumber in due time. Not a lot of it. Oops, I screwed up. That was meant to be walls. But we have found that lumber is actually really good at fake windows. So I need 12 lumber per car. 3, 6, 9, 12. Yep. Perfect. And then as long as chat doesn't wrap me out to the feds, uh, no one will notice that the inside of the train is hollow. And it's going to hold our glorious steam engines, which are going to be very lovely polluting. But they're also thematic. Because these bad babies are gigantic, but they're steam engines. So the train needs its fuel, obviously, it's not going anywhere, but it's, it's, it, it needs fuel. And therefore, it can produce smoke. And the smoke will come out the front of the train to make it look like the train is alive. It's going to be perfect. And seeing as this train isn't going anywhere anytime soon, it's going to need a lot of engines studded throughout the middle of the train. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. No one's going to worry about it. Also, I probably need to do this side, but it's fine. Uh, this is beautiful. I am very happy with the design. Look at this. Look at it. It's beautiful, chat. Oh, I need to fill this hole. And I fell down a hole. Ironic. Uh, let's take one more of you and fix that here. Okay. I'm very happy with our design. It looks great. It's tessellating well. I can't complain. We'll just have to eventually build a caboose for it whenever we stop building the train and eventually build a locomotive at the front. I don't think it's going to be easy because those barrels for wheels, if you haven't noticed, they're just floating barrels for like docks and stuff. <laughs> We're working with what we've got here. Okay, we're trying our best. Uh, I don't find any ways of getting bigger wheels. So maybe I have to go with like square wheel things. I don't know, it's gonna be weird. 
Maybe I, oh, I could just get normal wheels. There's wheels in the game. Don't know how I'm gonna make it work though. Also, ironically, I was thinking of bringing like a steam car and putting that in front of the train. It's super small in comparison though, but maybe, maybe. But once again, dog food, once again, thank you so much for the raid and glad you guys are able to come over and say hi before we finish up. I do have to go to bed though. I've been, I've been postponing it. It's almost two in the morning and I got to go to hockey today. I need to rest up. But I'm very happy with our progress today and uh, our lovely evil machinations. I'm keen on seeing where this goes. But uh, once again, glad to hear your run's doing well. Day 260 is quite a feat for people who are newer to the Legends mod. So well done, well done indeed. And I hope do hope your boss runs go well because that is always a tricky part, and it's always a testing point. No matter how fun you're much you're have fun you're having on your games in Battle Brothers, no matter how good your team you think it is, the, the, the bosses will test you. It doesn't matter which boss it is. It'll test you to a certain degree, and it'll be tricky. But I do wish you well when you do get into those fights. And since you said you were going after, uh, who is it again? The library? Yeah, library tomorrow. Ooh. I hope you have ways of dealing with skulls and resurrection. Actually, wait, you've got a you've got an assassin. The assassin could totally go after the the thingies. I don't want to spoil the fight. Don't want to spoil the fight too much, but you probably already have done it before. Yeah, you should be fine. Assassin usually builds up a pretty good team. Anyways, I wish you best of luck. Thank you once again, Raiders, for coming along. Thank you, chat, for coming along and enjoying our crazy stream and um, my evil machinations and deep, dark thoughts. But we'll have a lot more fun with this next week. I might maybe do some progress updates during the week if I do get a bit more work time on this train. Worst comes to worse. We do a Discord stream, maybe? Or maybe I do an extra stream on Monday or Tuesday or something. We'll figure it out. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Because uh, I think a week might be a long progress for the server, because the server is progressing really quickly. And we kind of want to push that pollution up a little bit quicker. We'll see how it goes. But I will see you guys tomorrow, which is today, technically, for XCOM. We're going to continue that run. And I will see you guys Saturday with no delay because there's no Bucks party this Saturday. Just don't quote me for that. There shouldn't be anything this Saturday to delay our lovely Battle Brothers stream. And Sunday, I am i don't know. I don't think I'm getting called in. Let me just double check the roster, see if all the see if the goalies actually showed up for one of the teams because I'm on one of the team's rosters. Did they tell me if their goalie is going to be there because he is unreliable? And therefore, it opens up the opportunity. Uh-huh. I might have to keep that option open. Yeah. Well, I'll probably know by tomorrow, because they'll bug him on Friday, which is today, tomorrow. But for the moment, it's not looking like he's on for yes. Which means Graveyard Keeper might get interrupted or delayed. Not the end of the world, because that's our casual Sunday stream, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Anyways, I'll let you guys know what happens. It's fine. See, Snow doesn't want to play hockey. No, 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 I do want to play hockey, but I don't, I don't get a say. I'm the backup. And therefore, the backup gets told what to do. <laughs> he doesn't get to, like, force things to happen, which is unfortunate. Unfortunate indeed. I wish I had the more power. You know what? I should build a train in real life. Ah! Once I'm rich and wealthy. We'll build a train, chat. We'll do it together. <laughs> and with that, I'll send you guys with a lovely raid to look after the community. Support our lovely streamers. And, uh... Yeah, let's see. Let's see who's on at the moment. <laughs> Build a party train to Poland. It'll work. It'll work. Everybody can come aboard the pollution train. Poland's only the first stop. We'll go to many other places. 
spreading our love our absolute love nothing else okay let's see if anyone's online at the moment it's actually pretty dead at the moment wow it's very dead on twitch at the moment this is must be dead hours why why is it dead hours Let me just go double check. All right. Well, worse comes to worse. We go raid a bigger streamer. Oh, okay. Quick 24 hour stream, catch more viewers. Yeah, that that could work too. Yeah, all right. Snacks and model railway for P.O. Box. Oh, come on. Okay. Hear me out. As a kid growing up, and just as a person, model toy railways, or just even like actual model railways, so freaking cool and awesome, but so expensive. I had some sort of train stuff growing up. Trains are great. But obviously snacks are great too. Yeah, they could be uploaded in the YouTube videos. You never know. You never know. I might have to join them on that. But, um... Let's see. Yeah, okay, let's send you guys out to a bigger streamer just because um, there's not much happening at the moment in the world of our world. So we'll push ourselves and get you guys to something fun. If I spelled that correctly. Sweet. Okay, so T90 is on at the moment, and they're doing a Age of Empires 2 quarterfinals. Age of Empires 2 is always great. I'm not that amazing at it, but it's a fun game. So most of you guys probably know it and enjoy it as well. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. I need to go to bed, and I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy the lovely raid and the lovely tournament. I always love watching casted tournaments. I just love it. Twitch is one of the best places to watch gameplay and tournaments. That's it. It's perfect. AoE when? God, I'm going to lose so badly if I ever do AoE. <laughs> but one day, we will we will be doing AoE one day. That is on the calendar. It's on the to-do list. The to-do list. But maybe I need to practice a bit. <laughs> Have a good one, chat. Catch us later.